happy to have you here. Um, yeah, this is uh, Otherworld's Ghost Town that we'll be playing. We're gonna have Zach checking our audio, making sure that we audio are level. hearable, listenable, watchable. <laughs> are we good? Yeah. Okay, cool. Good, good. Not like uh, it. Because a lot of times when you ask people watching if you're good, it's like, yeah, it's, it's fine. They're like, yeah, it's fine. And then you listen, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, just like, no, we, no, we need to know if it's good, not like if it's, like, manageable, you know? Like, AKA yeah. the one time I wasn't here for a stream and it sounded like garbage. <laughs> Early on, like. Oh, are you talking about the video review thing where it was just like, <sighs> like. Oh. I wasn't here for it. It was like. There's a lot of times in the early streams where. It, so, in the early streams that we did, I had, a, I had bought a mic. And I didn't have it properly set up, so it was still going through the laptop for like four months yeah. without <laughs> even using the mic that I put in. Oh. Hey, we just what we learned. Is. Yeah, we learned. That's why you can't wait until you're ready. You have to just do it because if you wait until you're ready, you're going to realize Seriously. there's a lot of things that you're not, like, that you're going to mess up on, and you're just kind of like wasting your time. So you need to go out there, mess up over and over and over again, feel like a failure. Uh, want to to give up on everything and you then pick first. yourself up. And the get way to success is fail. <laughs> yeah, the only way to succeed to succeed is to fail thousands of times. Is that why I'm doing so well in life? Yes. <laughs> and building up to be your best girlfriend. Yes. Uh, Hopefully, she's not 21 and has five kids. Now. Okay, so uh, real quick, we can go ahead and introduce ourselves. I am Vincent the Baker. I am the creator of Otherworlds, Legendary Spell Slingers, and our new card game coming out on Kickstarter soon called Ghoul Team, um, and some other things. And I am going to be the, the world master, as we like to call it. I'll be running our campaign today. To my left is... Uh, Corey, also known as the guy on the left. Yeah. And then we got... I'm Zach. Rachel. And Abby. Yeah, and uh, today uh, these will be our four main characters being played. So we, uh, you want to introduce, sure. you want to introduce, uh, introduce your character's name and a little bit about your character. Drake says bingo. Did you already get bingo. You didn't get bingo There's already. No we got no fucking way. bingo already. I haven't guessed. I call it hacks. You haven't guessed. I haven't said something stupid mm. on stream. Mm. I haven't. Um, well, I think he has to say something stupid, and we all have to laugh at him. Yeah, I don't exactly. think we've had a big outcry of laughter at him so far. Ha ha! <laughs> we, not singularity. But I've also had some laughter. Mm. Sup, Stumps? Hey! Hey! Hello! Hello. Uh, Alright, so I'm trying to think of how to introduce. My character's name is Pierce. I'm a boy in a cactus suit. The, cac the cactus is que uh, questionably alive, and also questionably not alive. <laughs> I just thought his Pierce name was is just Cactus fine. That's his, that's his common name, is that's Cactus Kid. Yeah, that's his surname, actually. They call me Cactus surname. the Kid. Cactus the Kid. <laughs> Alright, so you're Cactus Kid, aka Pierce, aka Cactus Kid. I am a, a blazer. A what? Blazer. Like the jacket? <laughs> you spell blazer with an I S or a Z? A Z. <laughs> You do? Yes. Fuck! <laughs> did you just spell blazer? No. Be no, he did like act like the jacket. Okay, yeah, fuck it. it well, if I did like two Z's, Z's, then I might get sued by a porn company. Blazers? <laughs> um, I am a... Uh, how do I say my... my uh, race Dandrick. Name? Dandrick. I'm a Dandrick. Um, I like to, if you look at my character photo, um, I have something hanging out of my mouth all the time. People think it's a cigarette. It's not. It's candy. And it's like a Twizzler. Yeah. Yeah, because we fight kids here. <laughs> <laughs> True. Wait, is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I didn't know if we were done or not. Okay. My character's name is Edison, and uh, she is an elf welder, and she likes to make a lot of cool things. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, my character's name is Arabella, and she is... Uh, a priestess, sort of? A very superstitious one. Yeah. Alright, well there you have it with that. Now real quick, uh, I, I don't have many announcements or many things to go through, uh, which is good, because we can dive right into our story uh, pretty quickly. Um, but real quick, um, no questions this week, because I forgot to post about that. Oh, That's okay. Uh, 
two is goal team will go on Kickstarter on Tuesday. So super excited about that. That's assuming nothing goes wrong between now and then, which is a, a possibility. But uh, I think I think it will go live on Tuesday. So I'm happy about that. Um, also, speaking about things going live, we had a new album drop this Sunday <laughs> oh. or today, um, which is our uh, lo-fi album uh, inspired by video game music. And uh, it's a lot of fun. You can listen to it for free on YouTube. Uh, you can listen to the whole playlist. Uh, and it's almost 30 minutes long, so it's a, it's a good time. And it's what we'll be playing a lot of times whenever we're just chilling, playing board games. And, and what's stuff. the name of the album? It's called Songs to Roll Dice To, which is uh, largely credited to Corey for coming out with the name. Hey. Uh, we kind of bounce names back and forth, so that's what we stuck with. Uh, largely voted on by patrons. Now, there ended up being a tie in the votes. Um, but I had, like, I had, like, I was kind of like committed to that one at that point, and there's a tie, so I just wanted to go. <laughs> so, <laughs> songs to crit too. Oh, that was my oh, choice. I, that, I didn't that, like that. One. A, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Well, well, I know that I know that you and I think the original was like songs to chill and roll dice too. Yes, yeah. that was the original one you came up with. Long, um, but the one that got the votes was the songs to roll dice too, and uh, songs to crit too. And I was like, well, I know Corey and Rachel didn't really like the songs to crit too, so I just I was a tiebreaker in that one. So I don't know. Uh, it just reminds me of crits. Kind of reminds me of like it could be replaced with like songs to shit too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, could they? Oh man, this is like the most <laughs> mellow shit I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, so. Or you get really intense, like boom, ta -ta -ta -ta. I mean, I still kind of. I, I was actually the one that came up with that name. Uh, so it's songs to shit too. No, it's songs to. Well, actually, yes, but and songs to crit too. Uh, so I kind of went up against my own name there, but I, I I think I like songs to roll dice to the best. So. Uh, I think it's a good middle ground too, you know, for everything. Anyways, uh, there's that, and then I'm a little hesitant to say this because I'm I'm scared this will be taken away. Um, but as far as what I can tell, uh, as of like two two nights ago, I looked on our YouTube channel, and it appears that we've been approved for partnership. Yes. Yeah, so here's that we're now a YouTube partner. So I mean, how do you get paid? So it means that it we means should we be able to release monetize. another JoJo video immediately. Yeah, it, oh so, so yeah, they're now <laughs> allowing us to monetize our videos. I monetize the JoJo videos now. Oh uh, yeah. And I haven't checked to see if like that's gotten anything so far. <laughs> we made five dollars. But um, it's exciting, and hopefully that sticks. Um, I basically found the contact page on Twitter, and I uh, tweeted them about it. I did that months ago, and they didn't really help me. But I also gave up on messaging them. So this time I was like, I'm gonna try something new. I tweeted them every few hours, like constantly. <laughs> and, Are you there? Are you there? Yeah, no, I, no, I would say hello question mark and like hello question mark, and I just kept tweeting at them. And they said, okay, well we're we're gonna like forward this to someone because they said, oh well, what what have you tried this? Have you done this? Have you done? And I was like, yep, 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 yes, done this, done that. And I'm like, oh okay, well we're gonna forward this to someone else. Uh, and then I was like, did you hear back from me yet? Did you hear back from me yet? Did you hear back from me yet? And they never responded to me, but I just eventually checked on my page and I got approved. So <laughs> they like, just give it to him. Yeah. Fuck, he's gone. <laughs> they're, they're like, Jim, please, it's the 40th time of her the shit in two days. <laughs> yeah, so uh, take that as you will. But that, that seems to, uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, it sticks and, it, and it's good. And that means that we'll be able to uh, rightfully make at least a little bit of money off of our YouTube videos. So. Yay! Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be nice. So, one thing though, remember how I sent you that thing from Mr. Beast? No. No? no? So, Mr. Beast... Does anybody... Do you really watch Mr. Beast? Yeah. Are you 14? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should check Yo, out I gave his people a million dollars. That's just like every Mr. Beast video. <laughs> yeah, but then there's all the copycats because he did it first. Okay. Well, so he, the reason I say this is because yesterday <laughs> He did a video, he released a video, and we signed, I had you try to sign up for it, where he would give a channel of million oh, subscribers. Oh, uh, yeah, that was like two months ago. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I did sign up for it. Yeah. Though. But no, we, I don't think we got picked, because no. I did not hear no, from we Mr. Did not. Beast. <laughs> no, we didn't. You, you would see us uh, no, I guess from Beverly could... Hills be like, we made it, guys! Fuck <laughs> 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 no, we ain't moving the bed. That's, that's just expensive. Expensive. <laughs> If we won, <laughs> if we won, we would have to say, we got a beast infection, yo. <laughs> hey, a million subs, we would have gotten a cold play button to put on the wall, and the silver one. Make yeah. money, because then YouTube can't do shit. One, one day, one oh, yeah, day. And I thought of a fake, uh, well, a real a real fake sponsor ad mm -hmm. read, just so we could do a demo reel, based off of uh, Lipton's Cup of Soup. <laughs> what? 
I don't know what that is, but okay. You've never uh, heard of cup of soup? It's a no. soup you put in a cup. You cook it for two minutes. It's delicious. Well, it's all right. But listen to you and make it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not the same. Hmm. Anyways, it's exciting. If you have any ideas for something we should do, because I feel like it'd be fun to do like a celebratory stream at some point. We do it on YouTube. We don't normally do YouTube streams. We just do that one for fun. I'm still voting that should be the karaoke video. Our they don't have a. Uh, our first monetized video should be immediately we should just demonetized. Sing this music. <laughs> Adventure. <laughs> I don't think we can. I don't think we can stream Twitch things on YouTube. No, but we can do our own karaoke. Maybe. To this. We just need a karaoke machine. It doesn't that expensive. No. Yes, so, though, we're, currently, yeah. though, we're doing we'll good. Though, all of our there. all of our videos. No, that was a high end Can be monetized. None of them have copyright claims. So, so start watching, fuckers. <laughs> now, I will say there. I think there might be too many ads placed at the moment because I, I didn't realize this, but by default, if you monetize a video, it will place like twenty ads on your video for some reason. Twenty ads. Well, you know, so so Abby and I, Abby was listening to this podcast that I was listening to. Like she was just listening to it by extension of me listening to it next to her, and literally this this uh, podcast had like twenty ads play in the first nineteen minutes. No yeah. joke. So one a minute. And and so for our longer longer videos, I think it did that. And so I got to go in there and make sure I remove because I'm I'm not trying to flood people with ads. I was just thinking, like, maybe an ad at the, the beginning. And it depends on the length of the video, but, you know, just to have an ad at the beginning or something. Not, I'm not trying to flood people with, like, 20 yeah, ads. Because, I mean, the channel does perspectively get paid by the ad views, but it's one of those things where it's, like, you've got to kind of debate when, like... Yeah. Yeah, when it's, like, really annoying. Because I think most people are like, hey, I'm fine with watching an ad to help out this channel. I, I mean, I know I am. And then, um, like, the sponsored ad reads if you actually get sponsored, but that's a long way away. Yeah, Plus, yeah. we're still looking at you. <laughs> Uh, Manscaped, you know, what's up? No. no. This counts as one of the dumb things. You can add that to your bingo. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Manscaped pays good money. Hey, we didn't all laugh, so it doesn't count. Oh, okay. That's true. But um, also, we had a we had a ton of fun with our um, Dragon Con stream that, that we did was on Friday. Entertaining. Um, mm -hmm. We covered a cosplay contest, which was rigged because the person who should have won didn't win. Um, Who's the person that should have won again? Uh, the cen Centurion chick. Or yeah, it like oh, looked okay. spot on and yeah, it had yeah, all yeah. this detail to it. Um, we watched like fencing. Yeah. And there was also that um, triggered Drake. There was like singing, <laughs> and uh, and also Murph dropped a hundred bucks for Zach to make out with Drake. Uh, really? Yeah, he did. He gets, did we clip it? Wait, what? <laughs> Please tell did me. You actually, that should be a Twitch for highlight. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely post that. Everybody Wait, did they? <laughs> for $100. Honestly, well, it's funny, I think I threw it out for 100 because because I think he made the joke, and then Drake's like, I would do it. And I was like, all right, someone drops 100 we'll do it. Murph's like, 100 donated. Whoa. Yeah, so. And Zach, Zach got flooded. He, he walked behind the couch and started taking off his clothes like where he's like sweating. <laughs> oh, wow. God damn it. Wait, 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 his mouth was that good, Zach? Like... I'm not hearing you. <laughs> I guess you'll have to watch the stream to find out. All right. Yeah, with well, no time stamp. What's the time yeah. stamp? <laughs> but it's, so so that's worth checking out. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we might have to do more of those types of streams in the future. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Indicated OnlyFans. <laughs> I didn't actually, that, actually, that was one of my shirt ideas was banned from OnlyFans. <laughs> mm. It just says banned from OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. When okay. I create my OnlyFans, don't worry. Yeah, you won't have any donations. No, I yeah. will. Those gay guys love me. Um, also, real quick, uh, we have a new... Um, I, I hope they're activated, because I didn't double-check to see if they are, but we should have new Twitch alerts that people can donate to when we play Other Worlds uh, Ghost Town specifically. I really hope they're uh, um, Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, I see it. Okay, cool. So one of the options... Whoa, that's a lot of money. Yeah, so one of them is that, that, that people can... Um, Donate to, to make like a ghostly, like ghastly sound for like a, a terrible presence. One is that, like, so the air is so uh, infused with alcohol that it can start intoxicating people. Yes. Uh, so that's something that can happen. <laughs> uh, and then there's also um, a stranger appears and challenges someone to a duel as like a thing. And every time a new stranger appears, the strangers get stronger. It's time to. <laughs> uh, and then the last one is the screaming cowboy angel. Uh, which, which is my favorite. <laughs> which is a team buff. But... Oh, no, wait, it's. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah that, that or the cat are like the perfect like. <laughs> cat. Yeah, you didn't see the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You had me going there for a second. You had me going there for a second, cowboy. Hey, cowboy. No. Hey, cowboy. Hey, cowboy. Do you want to grab the miniatures? No. We don't even know what our miniatures look like. I mean, did you find a cactus one? Also, you get some... No, we don't have a cactus one. I wish we did. Uh, if you can find one, that'd be amazing, though. Um, He's going to make one. So, for your themes, we forget, we forgot to give you a theme. Uh, do you want nail thrower as a theme? Nail, nail thrower? May throw what? up to one nail per tier level at range equal to your strength and dexterity. It deals one piercing damage per nail thrown. Additionally, once per day, you may roll 1d6 and fire that many nails. So it just gives you a piercing. Like, if they have, like, armor, you just, like, nail them. <laughs> That's really funny. Or you can hold off on it for now. And what's the other one? Well, I only have two on here, because this is not This is specifically for other worlds of ghost towns. The other one is Stranger, which most people don't know you, know your background, and they can't perceive your motives or intentions, even through magic. I'm means. going with Stranger. Okay, cool. Because that makes more sense, because, I mean, who's going it's, <laughs> it's really funny to be the cactus dude that nobody he knows here. <laughs> I don't even know you. You're my brother. Brother! Alright, well I'm excited to start this, guys. I actually took an hour and a half to set up a brand new playlist for Otherworld's Ghost Town and the My Hero Academia RPG. Because when, we're, when we we're playing My Hero Academia last time, I was thinking, like, man, I don't have any new music. It's all like the, the, the classic Otherworld's Adventure stuff. So I want to have like a unique vibe to it. Um, now with that being said, I, need, I do need to get used to this new playlist. Uh, I might end up playing the wrong thing at the wrong time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, how does our help, um, our defense calculate again? Uh, your defense is going to be your toughness plus half your dexterity. Round it up? Yep. So, to me, and then armor? Uh, your armor will, is based off your, uh, toughness. Uh, so what's your toughness at? Six. Six, so you're gonna have two armor, I believe. I think it's four. Well, I have six tough. I have five toughness, and my armor's four. Unless there was something we added and subtracted and divided by two. Let's see. Tough uh, armor goes by six toughness, eight toughness, ten toughness, and it goes two, four, six. Right. So, and I think both of you should get two. So make your okay. two. Okay. Good thing is that. And then health is boosted off of. Um, Okay, so based off of what your skill tree is, which is all tankiness, you're getting massive boosts to your health and not your uh, astral stuff. So you're going to get um, plus three, six, nine. You get plus nine health, yeah, so you're going to be 21. Oh, yeah. I'm stronger than Commander Armor. Hmm? I'm, I'm uh, healthier than Commander Armor right now. <laughs> <laughs> which, by the way, I thought of the uh, idea for like, his armor. <laughs> but, uh, the reason is resolve is so high, like his resolve is jacked up high, is his resolve is how he projects the armor. Like his sheer resolve creates really the armor. Yeah. So that's why it's so tough and he's so tough, as he believes he's that tough and it's just like recursively okay. like, I like that. You find my character? No, I wasn't looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when I thought of that, I was like big brain just whoo. No, that's cool. I like it. Um, it's like an idea in Warhammer, the goblins, yeah, uh, or the orcs, they, they, they believe their gun shoots faster, so it does. Kind yeah, because they're actually highly, um, they're, they're like, they, they have a, a lot of like telekinesis kind of stuff, but they're very dumb. So they don't actually, they're, they're not aware of like how to apply their telekinesis, but part of it is if they, since they believe their gun shoot faster, it actually makes their gun shoot faster when they shoot them. And they believe that if their vehicles are red, that they'll go faster and stuff. Even, like they'll just paint their vehicles red and make them faster. Have you picked on yours? <laughs> oh yeah. We all. Have yeah, I really wish I had a, a cactus one. Oh no, it's you. fine. I'm gonna just see what you got over here real quick. Yeah, yeah no without taking the same amount of time. Like so go ahead and put the intros while I'm doing this. Uh, I don't got too much um, to say at the moment though. Um, there was something else I was gonna say because I forgot. Should we say what next stream? Next. Oh, did you want to show our character models on stream? Oh, well, sure. You guys can put your uh, character. I think someone hit this, by the way. Um, by the way... What about next one? Why do I keep forgetting? Oh, yeah. So, so we're going to be streaming Grim Slingers oh. tonight, though, which will be fun. Okay, yeah. Uh, we're looking around 8 p.m. on that. So just stay in touch with the Discord. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be unlike any game we've ever played. Uh, it's going to be a co-op experience, and we're going to be going to the Forgotten West. So it's going to be a very, like, Western-themed day. Next week's stream is going to be a little special. 
Yeah, next week's stream is going to be Zach's birthday stream. And he's going to be running his first ever Other Worlds campaign. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you're going to a racetrack. And it's going to be based in Other Worlds oh, Adventures. Thanks. So. I'm also bringing uh, racing shirts for you guys around. Racing shirts? Mm -hmm. Crew shirts, I have. This is going to be interesting. What? Is it really going to be based on... We're doing a thing, too, where I have this high-powered uh, gun. Hopefully it still works. That we're going to shoot Zach with anytime someone subs. I will say this. It's, it's, it's shot in the face. face. It's in there. I will say this. If I get shot in the face, I'm leaving out of this fucker. We're going to have you put glasses on. No. That still doesn't help. <laughs> There we go. I'll go with the uh, Hulk. Yeah, yeah so that'll be, that'll be next Okay, week. for right now that'll work. Who's is that? Mine. The only thing I can find oh, do you need a like plastic bed? Gun that looks like a shotgun. Oh. Yeah, we're going to need to find some better miniatures for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We can go through that like on a well, like uh, Thursday during the hangout. You know, we could use that to drive our uh, new YouTube, newfound YouTube monetization. <laughs> you guys want to see upgraded uh, models? <laughs> yeah, at least. Uh, like, subscribe, <laughs> and watch our videos. Comment below. Send me wishes on my birthday. Don't even don't even comment. Just question Zach on everything. <laughs> my father does that. So why? why Wait, why would they send you wishes for your birthday? Like birthday wishes. Oh. Like, yeah. It's their... like I wish for this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Then I can be like, well, good for you. I wish for a million dollars. It's not happening. <laughs> All right. So you guys ready to begin? <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. You never right. said what did not want to be in. What? So Zimbabwe money. What? I'll give you a million in Zimbabwe money. So like five twenty bucks. All right, guys. So our adventure begins on a world called Dorigan. Dorigan is a is a desert planet. Uh, it's filled with. Um, a lot of dead and undead. <laughs> um, not not the number one place for people to want to travel to. Um, it's uh, but you know it does have some opportunity. It does have a lot of freedom. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can even get away with that people would probably never know that you can do. Because um, uh, a lot of the place is fairly lawless. But there are some sheriffs and you know deputies trying to maintain order. Um, but this crew of uh, misfits is going to um, kind of one of the craziest uh, areas and, and uh, one of the most um, darker darkest of lands uh, they've been in, so you guys have been invited here by uh, two people a couple named Stella and Sebastian um, you're being brought here because there's been an occurrence of murders happening over the course of several nights and they need some help trying to figure out who is causing the murders or what is causing these murders. The sooner you can piece together this information of who or what it is and how they're doing it, the better and safer that this little town will be. Now this town uh, used to be somewhat better, but over uh, the last few dozen years, it's become more and more of a ghost town until Stella and Sebastian came in, started renovating the area, and things have now started becoming a little bit better. But, so, so we've had people move in and stuff, um, but with these recent deaths, it's starting to, to make things pretty bad again. So Stella and Sebastian need your help in order to figure out what's going on. So... Uh, as uh, some information on Stella and Sebastian, uh, they both have white hair, and then they have uh, p uh, pink eyes for their irises. Um, and then there's an interesting kind of like kaleidoscope sort of design in their eyes. Wait, are they siblings or like married? They're supposed to be married. Oh. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, yeah. Is this a small town situation? <laughs> are we in Alabama? <laughs> no, we're in Oregon. So Sebastian is well dressed. Uh, he wears uh, he's wearing all black and white. He looks like a proper gentleman. Um, and Stella is also dressed in a similar aesthetic. Um, she also you, you notice that she also has a violin. So you, you think that maybe she likes to play the violin, or at least that she enjoys the violin. Um, so. You know that, um, 
So you're on this con uh, continent called Bascador, and it's the largest continent on Dorgan. It consists of four distinct regions, divided between the north, west, east, and south. Legend tells of four brothers who carried a lantern and took it to each of the corners of the continent in search of the oasis, a relic that would bring with it infinite water. Each of them failed in their journey. Legend says that they all failed uh, to do so because of different vices, bringing forth the eternal sands, an everlasting drought without much water. Uh, you guys are, are currently in the south of the continent, uh, which is Lemure, uh, which means deliver us death. Uh, the worst and most detestable region. Uh, legend has it that the wayfire, wayfinder who traveled here gave up nearly immediately due to his vice of alcohol. The land since has been thick with intoxicating air, murky swamplands, and bad creatures. Uh, so, the uh, town you're in is named Samura, the ghost town. Uh, a town that had become ruined after a giant and chaotic event took place. The survivors stayed and died, while the others tried migrating across the sands and also died. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um, but, you know, since Sebastian and Stella have uh, arrived um, with them, the ghost town has slowly and, and steadily been rising. Uh, inside the ghost town, there's a few places that you guys can check out. If someone wants to write this on paper, I can give someone uh, some uh, notepad. If you want it legible, don't give it to me. <laughs> so, did we all meet each other on the trail, or is uh, we going to... Uh, right, you're going to be writing now? Okay, cool. What was your question? I said, did we all like, meet each other in like another town, or where did we... Where I said that you guys are going to meet up here at Stella and Sebastian's. Okay, at so we bar. might be either here or in different places. Uh, we'll kind of make that up as we go, right? Yeah, um, I'm assuming for the most part, most of you are meeting for the first time here. Okay. Um, meet at the bar. Well, actually, they run the bar. Yes. Right? Out. So yes. All you gotta do is breathe, baby. <laughs> yeah. no, no, we're wearing masks all the time. Your business is, like, really going under, because it's like, why masks. bother? <laughs> we have the mask. So, their, their business is called Sunken Spirits. That's a good one. And it's ran by Sebastian and Stella. It's the local bar. Then there is silversmith, silversmiths, silversmithing. Silver smithing. Silver. Try saying that three times real fast. Smithing. It's, uh, ran by a guy named Desmond. Desmond. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> There's uh, the Saints Chapel, ran by Haynes. He also run a underwear factory. The oh. church for the wicked to seek righteousness. Wait, Saints Chapel run by what? Who? Haynes. Haynes, the underwear company. Okay. <laughs> then there is the Odd Outfitter. Odd Outfitter. Owned by someone named Atreya. Atreya. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, she's the local seamstress. Okay. And then there is the Three Billies. Three Billies. Owned by Billy, Billy, and John. Owned by Billy, named after Billy and his brothers, Billy and Billy. <laughs> okay, so the Three Billies. Yeah, but unfortunately his brothers are long gone. But Billy keeps running the general purpose and mechanics store the best he can. So both oh. his brothers have died. Okay, uh, just the one Billy. Yeah. Is he the oldest or the youngest? Or the middle? You don't know yet. Oh, okay. I got Which my money. Which is still his name Billy. <laughs> is it B I Y B I E B I I O? Uh, then there's the Black Lung Distillery. Ooh. Black Lung Distillery. Okay. Uh, and then there's a lot of locations outside this area. Wait, who is that owned by? You don't know yet. <laughs> but there's the neighboring town, which is called Deadwood. Okay. That's what I get called in bed all the time. Put that on the bingo. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rachel didn't laugh. Yeah, but she's busy writing. Yeah. I don't know. Well, oh, like, I uh, they have a bar <laughs> called uh, the Purple Ghost in Deadwood. Ooh. Purple Ghost. Is that Purple. a competing bar in a ghost town? Boy. Ghost. It sounds like a club, so it's like just a regular bar. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Land of Graves. Land of Graves. Yep, it's just a great it's a sad place. They sell it's a creamery. They sell butter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's a uh, Gunset Plateau. Uh, Gunset. 
Some of these are really Six. clever. I'm gonna give you props. Right. Right. Thank you. Three. Appreciate yeah. it. So. There's a uh, smash mash marsh. Smash. <laughs> There's the dead ass desert, dead which is what you guys desert. had to travel through and almost died getting to this ghost town. Dead. We dead ass almost died, you guys. <laughs> See, I like to think that we were following the uh, <coughs> the Dorgan Trail. Okay. <laughs> I like that. The Mallow Moors. Mallow. Only two more after this. Moors? Or Moors? Moors is in uh, M O O R S, almost like s'mores. But M O R R what? No, Zach. M O O R S. It's like a type of swamp. O O R S. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh. Uh, then there is Gerenstein's Gallows, the hills where Mary Gerenstein was hung in the town uh, when the she town descended right into so other fast. shit. Gerenstein's what? Gerenstein's Gallows. Basically, when the, this town went under, uh, they hung the mayor, and then they, that's when everyone started dying. And Ooh! Horrible. We know an okay, unexpected then, amount of this What's the last one? Yeah. Uh, Wicked Weird Peaks. Wicked... Is that like Hooters? Wicked Weird. Yeah. Damn. Nah, mostly, I, that came up with the name because of Abby. Wicked Weird. <laughs> Wicked Weird <laughs> what? Peaks. Peaks. What's the difference? Better. So a lot of this information was provided to Whoa. you by being locals and or knowing uh, and talking with uh, Stella uh, Sebastian. And all this is in Deadwood and not the town that we're in. Because the neighboring town is Deadwood where all this is in. So what's the town that we're in currently? That is uh, Lamore, which is... Um, Lamore. Yeah. Okay. Hit him Oh, sorry, no, that's the continent, oh, or the area, or the, the region here, we're in, sorry. Oh, it says it's D, uh, No, it's uh, Samura. So Samura. it's, yeah. Like Western country as that's the uh, Murray. So just the same, Murray. just with an L, yep. or an uh, S. Okay. Now, granted, for uh, Deadwood, like, the, the gallows and the weird peaks and stuff, that's not necessarily in that city, because that's just kind of like wildlands, like outside the cities. Yeah, wildlands. Um, it's wild. <laughs> Welcome to the wildlands. So, what's your first impression of everything? It's I went dead straight, ass. I went straight to <laughs> damn it. I go straight to the bar. Wait, do we even know each other? Yet? Nope. 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 Okay. So, questionably, I mean. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and have your introductions. Everyone, make a uh, initiative roll. We're gonna see who arrives first. I don't even know what my initiative is. Ah, oh, shit. I forget. Yeah, how do you do oh. initiative again? Yeah, I forgot to give you guys an issue with it. It's <laughs> dex and something else, right? right? We're just going to have you guys make a dexterity roll since we haven't done your initiative yet. Okay. I have initiative. Six. I got seven. Okay, we'll just use your Yeah, I have your initiative. initiative too. Okay, well, if you have your initiative, use it. Oh, wait. It. Yeah, that's right. Oh. My bad. Thirteen. <laughs> okay, what's your initiative? Twelve. Twelve and 11. yours is eleven. And yours... Okay, so we're just going to say that yours is 15. like eleven since that's like, those are both eleven currently, but we're, we're going to need to double check that afterwards, after this. After. All right, so twelve. Okay, anyone got higher than 12? 13. Anyone got higher than 13? Anyone got higher than 14? Alright, what are your 15. numbers? I got 15 too. Oh! <laughs> okay, okay, so you two both show up together. Uh, so you both are walking there, and you see each other right outside the door. Um, describe nope. to each other what you see. No, wait, is this at the bar? Or is this Towards the bar, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have no idea what I see, because I don't know what Rachel's character no, 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 no. is like. What does she see? What do I see when I look at you? Oh! Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> um, a, a very short person in a priestess robe with cropped dark hair. Right? What kind of hair? She has, she has oh, two cropped. horns because she's a best. Oh, yeah. Two horns. And oh. Tana's candidate. Okay. Now, are they? Are she's they wearing like a like, priestess outfit. Are they around uh, range like double or like a bi? No, they're, they're like they're like double. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah, it's the double. Which is interesting though, because she's wearing like a priestess uniform, but she has that semblance of like a double. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that's like so cute and metal. Thanks. Um, <laughs> so cute and metal. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I strive for. You see Edison and. She's 
like maybe around my height, but she has like a pixie cut, mint green hair, and like a tan overall. And then she also has like some goggles for her um, welding kit. And then she also has like her, um, I guess her blowtorch strapped across her back. Huh. And some like heavy <laughs> combat boots. Okay. And Maybe she's just kind of like hot. She's just <laughs> like, oh gosh, why am I here? I'm a welder. I don't know why these people call me, but my business can use this money. So I'm like, I'm just trying to get through it, but I'm also like, Are you like a model that does welding? Like when you say she's hot, like, <laughs> like you're like, oh gosh, I don't know how I got here, but she's I've got hot in all different ways. Okay, so wonderful. Yeah, basically. Hot in every way. Hot in every way. Hot and ready. Yeah. Just like you're like, you're like five. You said she's your height. You're like five foot three. Yeah, five foot three. Five foot three. It's like short, but like not too short, I guess. Yeah. And Abby's character's probably like four foot eleven. Probably. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, somebody shorter than me. <laughs> Best yeah, their their race tends to be shorter. Um, okay, cool. So you guys seem to, you know, hit it off pretty well in general. You guys walk into the bar. You see Stella and Sebastian there. Oh, and, no. uh, I thought I was going to be there. You see Sebastian goes, Welcome. Happy to have you here. Sunken spirits. Uh, yes. Um, so I got a call that uh, I was needed here and that you're going to give me some money. Um, did, was there like anything that you needed me to fix? Uh, I have my welding kit ready. Um, what, what, what but of do? course, but we uh, do have some more distinguished guests that shall be arriving soon. So ah, like a plumber and a electrician, maybe uh, some remodeling here. Try more of a cactus and an outlaw. Ah, you're into some interesting things when you're looking for guests. Yes, well interesting problems need interesting solutions. Ah, oh, shit. Mysterious. Um, I'm just gonna go sit over there. Do you have water or anything? I'm, I'm parched. Uh, but of course, let me get you some water. And then he uh, walks back to get some water for you guys. And then Stella walks up and uh, she's like, Hello, I hope that my, uh, my husband is not bothering you. No, because they look the same. Make a dexterity stealth check to see if she hears you. <laughs> <laughs> dexterity uh, stealth? Yes. Do I have? And nope. Can you hand me the skull, please? Yes. By the way, uh, I she, got nine. <laughs> if she hears you, that means you lose money. That doesn't necessarily mean that. Oh. Uh, you lose oh. relationships. <laughs> oh, yes, about that. Um, <laughs> we're, both, we're both from, um, let's just say, a certain area where. A lot of us look similar, but I promise you that we're not related. Oh. We've taken the, That's a relief. Oh we've, my we've taken the 23 and me, and we're <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it's the 47 and me, because I have 47 chromosomes. What the fuck are you on about? That's not what the kid's called. <laughs> I know, but that's what theirs is. They're alien. Aliens. Sebastian walks over and he says, <laughs> does. Here's your water, ladies. Uh, Thank you. Clink. Clink. <laughs> Now Cheers our guest should be business. arriving uh, anytime soon. Uh, so you have the next highest. So uh, thirteen. In comes uh, Blazer. How do you open up the door? Do you just like what kind of door is it? Is it like a like an old style saloon? <laughs> you know it's a saloon style. Yeah, yeah. saloon style. <laughs> I just poof. <laughs> okay. Clean, clean, clean. Because I got the spinny things on my boots. Wait, yeah, I got boots, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I, I have boots. Right. <laughs> 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 forgot, forgot I got to boots. I wear shoes. <laughs> Golly, I can't even barefoot, but I put these things on me. All right, make a roll real quick. Oh, you get a one. He has his slippers shoes. on. No. Uh, oh! God, 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 no, no, no. Yes. <laughs> you just have like these little shaky things that can make the boots sound like this. All right. Ching, 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 ching. So, so, so you've been you, you're really looking for some odd jobs. You've been out of work for a long time, and you no longer have any shoes. No shit. This is too real for Jack. Right now. Fuck. <laughs> Life is real in this game. Over Dude, that guy forgot to wear his shoes. <laughs> I didn't forget. They're on my back. I forgot to put them all in the difference. <laughs> <laughs> clean, clean. Are people talking in the chat? Huh? I'm sure Zach would, and sorry you don't feel good. That was towards Drake. That was from way long ago. Oh, I'm sure that you also would for you. That's fine. We're yeah. gonna fix the story. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'm watching this, don't worry. But anyway, so what do, what do you look like? Uh, I'm tall, skinny, I got a vest on with a cape and a cowboy hat. I got something sticking out of my mouth. People think it's cigarettes, it's not, it's always candy. Well, how would they know that? Because it doesn't look like a cigarette and it's not lit, unlike me all the time. <laughs> okay, and then uh, it says, uh, okay, so Sebastian uh, looks at you and then Stella walks up and says, Oh, hello. You must be Blazer, right? Yes, I am, Missy. All right, well, it's a pleasure to have you here. I'm sure that uh, you're going to have a fun time. Here is uh, going to be your your crewmates, your companions. Uh, it's best to get to know them. Well, how's the ladies? Yo, so are you supposed to be the plumber? Plumber? Ah, oh, shit, uh, I forgot. I, I got it. I got a shotgun that can fix a toilet by breaking it more, but... Oh, wow. You guys really did not vet all of us, did you? <laughs> Everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses. I thought we were uh, here to make some money. Same here. <laughs> Wait, so what is like your business exactly? <laughs> uh, let's just say I'm a little bit of an outlaw. Ah. Ah. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Outlaw. Aren't uh, you a priestess? Priestesses, you're gonna. We love everybody. That's the the way of the light. Oh, interesting. <laughs> while, they're, while they're talking, I'm gonna try to sneak in through the window and like just like interpose myself behind them, so I'm like there the whole time. Like, I'm really okay, nervous. make a dexterity stealth check. You guys make a wisdom perception check. I'm not using that black dice. Perception. You said dexterity. Ooh, I get a. I get a I plus. Get I get a uh, plus d six. Thirteen. I got the same thing twice. Uh, okay, seven, eight, nine, ten. And by the way, Rachel, if you were wondering if you should use a uh, like a southern accent at all, you don't have to because your character's not from this world. Uh, so, but, I mean, you can if you oh. want. If you wanted to acclimate I, to, I, to I, like, I, okay, does so, mean I'm supposed so what to. So what do you do? I mean, you don't have to necessarily because your your race uh, has a tradition of not getting along with his race. Which Wait, is oh, uh, sorry. which is very oh, which is a lot white more which <laughs> which is very much the southern like style like they, they're the ones with like a lot of that southern accent so yours doesn't so you don't necessarily have to have that now with that being said part of your backstory is you're raised by someone from his race so oh, yeah. you're not gonna have hard feelings towards uh, that but you might not have that accent but that's oh, up to you okay. and what did you roll Abby I got nine and what did they roll um well. I'm just First of all, it sees if I got nine, nine, I so got thirteen. So they all see so, sneaking so, in. Yeah, everyone yeah. sees you so sneaking. Literally, it's kind of so literally, this. everyone sees like on the left side of the bar, like the window slide open, and a giant cactus like shimmy through and like try to like eh, 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 lumber its way over to stand behind you. You knock something over. You knock like, over like, I'm, like I'm like looking, by, I'm looking at the window to make sure it's closed, not looking at you, and I like stand there like. Huh. And I'm doing the exact same. I'm just like watching you holding my glass, and I'm like, Who, "Why did you?" And and I so and so, and so what, what are you see is probably like a probably like six foot one cactus. And then you're like with a, a little with child. A, of... With a sombrero, with a little like dangly bits on it, and like it's got a smiley face on okay. top of the cactus. How old is your character? Uh, you don't know. Like, but, is it a but kid? like but like it has like a breakaway like seal thing on the face and they're like sticking its head through is like like a shock of like uh probably like blonde hair and just like a young like teenager kid. I is this feel... allowed? He seems underage. What in tarnations are you? Oh here age doesn't matter when it comes to work. Ah, child labor. It's effective. Like and there. cheap. And I mean he's he's old enough, look at him. And it is cheap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ha! <laughs> he's, he's had his fair share of uh, employment and, and work, isn't that right? And your parents, they're, they're supportive of this? My parents are dead. Uh, better, ah! better question is, why are you a cat? Why are you in that cactus suit, boy? My name's Pierce. <laughs> okay, that don't answer my question. You can call me Cactus Kid if you like. So you like? Okay. I'm wearing a cactus. <laughs> okay, then. Do you need a water? Do you need an adult? Sure. 
here. So which one? It could happen. I'll get a different one. You look really thirsty. Cactuses can survive an amazing amount of time without water. Me, on the other hand, I'm quite parched. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, like, the cactus, like, the, like, arm of the cactus, like, boom, like, lift up and the hand goes and then just closes back and then, like, he just, like, has, like, a little, like, be right back sign and you just hear, like, him uh, drinking it. Like, you hear him take some steps down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it's a it's a whole like thirty second ordeal to drink this thing, and then you see the water come back. It's like, thank you kindly. You're God's welcome. One fancy suit you got there. I will give you that. It's a cactus. Anyway, what are we doing here? I have more questions than nothing right now. You see Stella? She like kind of hits Sebastian on his arm and is like, "See, I told you they get along just fine." So, with that being said, she approaches you guys. Um, we're here to discuss the current mission that I have set forth for you guys in exchange for some payment. Um, of course, uh, if you have you know gotten a letter to come here, you've seen the briefing of what's been going down. There's been a sequence of murders uh, happening, uh, and we're not sure exactly what's causing it. We figured with your very diverse set of skills, you'd be able to not only figure out what is happening here, but also be able to put an end to it. I got an idea. Somebody's killing these people. Yes, that is, uh, that's what was in the letter for the briefing. Case closed! He's so smart. Let's start drinking. What's your intelligence at? Uh, my intelligence? Five. Okay, so... So you should know better. Yeah, you should. What's your intelligence? Five. What's your intelligence? Two. What's your intelligence? Zero. I just okay. want an excuse to start drinking. <laughs> excuse me? What's, what's your, a, what's your a, wisdom? I'm a big flat uh, zero. Five. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, because you rolled so well. Yeah. I just want to start drinking. That's it. But but in all honesty, what, what, what have the murders been? They've been shot. They've been stabbed. Give us something here with that. Well, clearly they've not been here. <laughs> Thank I'm glad you asked. This town's empty. So here's the information we have. I saw just a minute ago. So, I'm going to run you through the list of the recent murdered victims. Mm -hmm. First, we, um, we had a, uh, someone named Prella Glumdell, who's the daughter of Charles Glumdell. She's a half-dandric, half-human female, 16 years old. Then there was a man named Jason Orne, 42 years old, human. He worked in law enforcement. Then there's someone named Isla Caldwell, daughter of Jerry Caldwell, human female, 16 years old. And then there was Michelle... Wilson, daughter of Vernon Wilson, human female, 17 years old. Hmm. Were they all murdered separately or in the same area, relatively? They have all been murdered in different areas of this town. Well, there's a slight pattern with this. A slight one. Three of the victims are females, human, and under the age of 18. I think for sure those three are connected. The other one, not too sure of. Unless he was trying to protect someone. Make an intelligence investigation check. Now, out of curiosity, does anyone have investigation as one of their skill proficiencies? Uh, no. I got ten. Okay. Um. <laughs> um with that, uh, you do think that there is definitely some sort of connection when it comes to that. But it is odd that there's that, that Jason one there, because that one is a, a bit of an oddity when it comes to these deaths. Were they all in the similar locations or settings? Are they in the swamps? Are they in the land? Are they in houses? That's good that you brought that up, because oh um, they've all, like I've said, they've all been in this ghost town, but they have all occurred at night. Hmm. When the suns are down. Sun, there's multiple suns? Oh, golly. Not, well, you know this. Yeah, know. You should know this, because you live here you're intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> There's 14 suns. It's a no, never-ending cycle of hatred. <laughs> no. It's always hot. Hmm. Hey, this is Shine On Harvest Moon. The what? Shine On Harvest Moon. <laughs> Are you... Is that the song? Yeah. Okay. I was trying to figure out what is Daddy talking about. I imagine there's just like a guy in the background playing the piano. Yeah. Will you cut it out, bring. <laughs> no, it's one of those like wind-up pianos where it just like oh. automatically <laughs> plays. Well, so wait, they've all happened at night. What about location-wise? They've been spread out through the town. They've been near the woods in town, like. They um. You guys got a bathroom? It's a good question. Um, not the bathroom. Sebastian, help, help show him the bathroom. And so Sebastian walks to the bathroom. It shows you where it's at. 
Uh, but then he leaves you. He, he leaves you your privacy. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. uh, um, Stella tells you that uh, Prella died out uh, kind of on the edge of, like, uh, almost, like, to the way of the mar like, where the marsh is. Mm-hmm. But uh, Isla, Michelle, and Jason have all died inside the town. Um, and they all died within, like, 10, 15 minutes of their home. So none of them were at their homes. They were all outside, relatively, but still in town except for that one young lady. Mm-hmm. Now we do have a list that's been we we gathered up all of our townsfolk, and we've talked about this as a community to try to discuss what the possibilities might be of what could be causing this. And so we drafted up we drafted up a list of possible creatures that this could be. So I wanted to hear your theories on this. Well, what are the markings of their deaths? Well, um, there is, there, on some of them there have been claw marks, mm. uh, and there's also bite marks. So, But we, not on all of them. On all of them. On all of them. Yes. Double check. Or at least some sort of slashing and piercing. Mm. Um, this is what the town has come up with. It could be a werewolf, could be a vampire, could be a banshee. A spirit, a human, a dandric, a dandan, or a cactus man. That really narrows it down. Down to a lot of things. Well, how about this? <laughs> Do you still have any of the bodies, or they've been all been buried? Um, well, they have all been buried with the exception of Prella, who's our most recent victim. Are we able to go take a look at her scars? Yeah, of course. All right then. All right. So. Uh, Don't we have to wait for the cactus? Meanwhile, in the bathroom, is there any cleaning supplies? Yeah, there's some cleaning Chemicals, supplies. anything like yeah. that? I'm uh, stealing them. Sh- uh, st- okay. <laughs> That's part of your pay, actually. Uh, uh, right, uh, cleaning chemicals in your inventory. Yes. Well, I think that we can release a spirit, because as far as I'm concerned, Bite marks and claw marks on them from a spear, I don't think would happen. Make it an intelligence investigation check. Thanks. We'll start narrowing down some of the clues. Intelligence. Eight. Okay, when it comes to the spirits, uh, you know that the intelligence of the creature can vary, uh, and, you, and you also are aware that uh, spirits remain in the realm uh, because it can't leave, because it, it holds on to something so integral to its being that it won't allow it to move on to, to the afterlife. Um, but you're unable to come up with anything else at the moment. Alright, when does the cactus kid come back? Okay, well, he comes out. out. Yeah. Oh, he's back? So now you guys go and check out. Yeah, I was just waiting for you to be done because I don't really care about this part. So. Alright, so you, uh, you're now viewing Prella's body and you see her parents standing there. Uh, looking over her body, and you see that the the mother's crying, and the dad's trying to be stoic and not cry, but it's pretty tough. So where'd she die? <laughs> Don't be proud of her. Uh, she she and, died and, right, right from that home. Uh, it's so hard for me to jump. It's so weird. It's so hard for me to jump into a southern accent. <laughs> <laughs> so hard. She she died right outside her home. <laughs> it's so hard on my little heart. Right outside. Can, can you like mark it? Well, we're not at the home. Anna, Annabella, Ar- Arabella, Arabella, Arabella. <laughs> Would you mind talking to the family so we can get a closer look? Okay. You are a priestess. At the body or the home? The oh. body. <laughs> we we have a priestess here. Can you please, can you please uh, say a little prayer for our little prella over here? Sure, I can. Hopefully she can move on to a better place. Canada. Okay. Shut up, Zach. Canada <laughs> doesn't exist here. Now, with, with the light religion, mm-hmm. who is it that I'm praying to? We have to, just, we have to talk about that later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> the light maker. My beer's Johnny the light maker. <laughs> Please 
grant abundant blessings on this poor. Yeah, you just say something. You don't have to address it to some, something in particular. Just do a dear lordy, please. And, and, and. Or you don't even have to say that. You can just say that. Okay, I walk over and I, I say the prayer. Johnny the spirit maker okay. should yeah. absolutely be the sure. religious person. Here. Oh my god. I say a little prayer. Okay. Can you take them away so we can take a look and what? they can have some solace? Who are you talking to? to Arabella. Proper parents. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least that way they don't have to. They can talk to someone. And as she wipes away her tears, she's like, "Wait, you're you're one of those devil creatures." What? Oh shit. You have horns, like a devil. Yeah. I'm don't a... be ignorant. She's a priestess. Do you want her to? A devil and priestess clothes. I'm a Besk, thank you very much. Same thing. <laughs> make, make a make a resolve influence check and see if you can uh, uh, get get out of this. Uh, where where you convert her? Convert her to the devil. No, convert her to the Church of Johnny. Johnny. He, wa he walked for our sins. Oh. Johnny. Walker. What is edge again? Uh, uh, you roll two dice and then two. remove the lowest. It's really funny to see here. Alcohol, the spirit would be Johnny Walker. Um. <laughs> and then there's well, Kate no. from St. Jack. Eight. <laughs> yeah, just. I think it's just best if you get out. Okay, fine. Bless you and your daughter you anyway, ma'am. I don't <laughs> want to be in your company, thank you. I'm just going to walk up to her and be like. You're insulting someone because of the way they look, and you're saying she's a devil in priest clothing, right? Man, look at her. Well, I'm a boy in a cactus suit, and I punch her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And I don't appreciate you talking crap to this nice lady that's trying to bless your dead ass daughter. <laughs> look at her! She uh, is so tiny and cute! Okay. So, so uh, it's gonna be your strength plus your dex. I'm gonna give you an extra d6. This is like a surprise attack. Oh, surprise! <laughs> Wham! Uh, 19. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> She's <laughs> dead. Yeah, you just punch her and like knock her on the ground, and you just hear bones break. Oh! And she just thuds and hits the ground, and then you see uh, Charles look over and goes, "No, sweetie!" And he gets over in the ground and looks up. Like, get the Get the hell out of here now. Now, now do you want us no, to bless her too, or is that going to be a family funeral? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Just leave us alone. We never oh asked for nothing. Oh. Uh, I go, dear, Sorry, can, you, can you take them out? I'm going to try to comfort them, get them aside. I'm not touching them. Don't, you don't have to touch them. Just, no, them. No. Take them oh out. yeah! Take guys. them out. Take them back to the bar or something. I'll let's, I'll figure this out. Let's go. I I'm proud of you, by the way. <laughs> I'm not. Golly. Oh fuck. So we walk out, I guess. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. just Blazer there. And me and the and he, he's this guy finally broke down in tears after seeing this happen to his wife. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got to I got to this out. Or uh, what's their names with us? Uh, of oh, him and his real. wife. Yes. His name's Charles, he's a human, and his wife is a dangerous. No, 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 uh, the people we've met at the bar. Uh, uh, Stella and Sebastian. Yes. Are they with us? No. Okay, shit. Um, okay, walk over to, to him. <laughs> yes, what is it? Uh, so do you want me to get her to uh, get a doctor in here to take a look at her? Please. Yeah. How about we take her over to the couch, <laughs> over to the seats over here, I'll go get the doctor, we'll get this taken care of, okay? Right, I do that. Okay. I do that. Come back to the doctor. I know I can trust you. Hey, come back to the doctor. I go, sir. Because I'm investigating this with my team, I'm not gonna let them back in here. But do you mind if I look over her margins and everything to get a better idea of everything? The guy that walks in, he's like, well, actually, I'm only kind of half a Shut doctor. Shut up. Okay, well, I'll look at it. What was it that you asked me? I've, I've had a little bit much today, so it's kind of hard for me to remember what you just said. A little bit much to breathe. I tell him to look her over, get her some ice. If she needs to go to the hospital, take her. <laughs> ice? We don't have ice. Get that her, shit's rare, man. Get her whatever she needs. <laughs> we don't have half the shit that she needs. You see her face? <laughs> Do I need to use the butt and my shotgun to knock some common sense into you, boy? It's too late for that, man. Obviously. <laughs> Golly. Look. Just 
just help her? I'll help the best I can, alright? Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to the father. You. Doctor is anywhere on this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the map and I'm talking to him like, I don't see it. <laughs> any kind of medical help around here. I mean, I have some medical experience. Save it. For the people who actually matter. Well, I'm not, you guys aren't in there. I know! So, okay, so I talked to the to the father real You quick. guys want to go check out one of these shops and see if they have anything to buy as well as anybody to ask questions to? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel about the situation going on so far? Um, it, it feels bad, man. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I certainly don't like being discriminated against. Um, but, you know, here, in the light, <laughs> we love everybody, even if they don't love us. That's just how it is. So I, I do, uh, have pity on the family. Too kind. Okay, <laughs> no. No. I wasn't done. I'd say you were. Okay, just making sure. All right, so what do you want to do, Blazer? Well, I assume ask Father permission to look at her daughter, to look at his daughter, too. <laughs> yes, but only you have my permission now. Don't worry. The others are gone. You know, I'll make sure. I'm going to take notes on everything, and we're going to figure out what happened and who did this and get her out, okay? Also, uh -oh. uh, I got a, I know you're kind of on a little mission at the moment, but if you could do me a, little, a favor, I can pay you some money. What's that, sir? I need you to get me the best shotgun you can find. I can definitely try to find one, but why do you need one? Don't tell me you're going to try to kill those, my comrade. I just need some insurance. I'll see what I can do, alright? Alright. All right. I'll pay you well. Okay. As I hide away my shotgun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, I then go, they leave, take the mom to the hospital, or to a real doctor, I guess. <laughs> he thinks there's a real doctor in this town. <laughs> I just want to hit that guy with my shotgun at some point. Please make him come back. I look, I uh, uncover her and I look at the wounds everywhere. So where are the wounds? Okay. So, uh, make a wisdom medical check. Medical. Do I have medical? I do. Does anyone here have medical? Oh, if you're after? Yes. Oh, oh, I do. Okay. Ooh. Uh, ten. Okay. So... You're able to find some uh, claw scrapes on her, and you notice that there was a claw to her throat that, that must have been what killed her. So what? Yep. Hmm. So it's a human claw to the throat. She's no. half human, half danger. Oh, she's my own kind, too. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, man. Hmm. So this is interesting. How big are... How many, is it just one claw mark or several over? Um, there's at least three that you can tell. Definitely some, definitely some kind of wolf, possibly like creature. Three. Mm. It looks like there's no other wounds besides maybe her trying to a struggle or something. Yeah, there's, 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 some, there's evidence of a struggle there. Mm. Uh, make another intelligence investigation check on me. Think about maybe it being a wolf or a werewolf. Um, you know that, that their intelligence can vary, but you can't really, you don't really deduct anything else. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we're going to go to you guys you, so that you want to go to a, a store or see what you can find. Yeah, and just ask questions, I guess. Okay. What store would you guys like to check out? We have Sunken Spirits, Silversmith, Silversmithing. Uh, Saints Chapel, Odd Outfitter, Three Billies, and the Black Lung Distillery. Do you have any preference there, uh, Arabella? Arabella. Arabella. <laughs> um, hmm. How about we check out Silversmith, Silversmithing? Sounds good. I, I think I really enjoy that. So we walk on over. Okay, 
Do I rejoin them at this point? No. No. Okay then. You aren't invited. <laughs> yeah, you decide to stay with me. I decided to get in. All right. As you check it out, you see that this is the place run by Desmond. He has uh, long black hair. He looks fairly uh, like early twenties, uh, which is a bit surprising. Um, he he looks pretty uh, pretty attractive. Um, and uh, <laughs> well, happy trails to me. <laughs> I don't know what's hotter in this desert. <laughs> <laughs> Since I'm not going to do a refill this time. Anyone need a refill or anything? Oh, okay. thank you. Well, hello there and welcome. Happy to have you at my store. <laughs> Hi. Uh, does oh, he have um, any, like, equipment or um, just, like... Of course. What are you looking for? What do you sell? Well, I sell the best weapons and the armor around. Any supplies you need for your deadly travels, you can come here and I'll help hook you up. Alrighty, do you have um, any small guns? I'm sure I could find something here. Alright, find me your best one. Alright, well if you're looking for something that can be concealed, I have this very nice Derringer. So you can hide it under your sleeve, have it pop out, catch enemies off guard, shoot them right in the face. Might be up your alley. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna reverse engineer that myself. I'm like, oh, cool, and then I give it back. Thanks. Oh, so you're gonna like, so to reverse engineer, you're gonna need to like take it apart and like, look at it and see how the mechanics work and stuff work. Oh, crap. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, so you're gonna buy it from? Yeah. Did we get paid? Oh yeah, I have a thousand. How much is it? Maybe five hundred. Awesome. Um. You know, as like a, you know, fellow um, crafter slash businesswoman, I understand, um, you know, these things cost money. Mm -hmm. um, Indeed they do. Do you think you could maybe knock off like 50, 50 for me? Sure. Awesome. So that, that's, that's 450. Sounds correct. Awesome. We also have uh, poison daggers. We have uh, revolvers. This one I like quite a bit. It's called the Fork Chop. It's half axe and half spear, like a pitchfork. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. A pitchfork. Yeah, with axe blades on the sides. The Fork Chop. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Interesting. What's it called again? The Fork Chop. You're going to love my nuts. All I'm thinking is the freaking... We also have a wooden crossbow. Land. We, oh, have, land. Uh, <laughs> we have some important supplies, too. We have dune goggles. For if there's like a, you know, desert winds blowing, protect your eyes. We have duster hats, bandages, leather gloves, canteen, canteen. antidotes, medical kits, and rope. Oop, got the pinky time. You got any hammers? We have a little tool. It's a hammer. No, hammers like the weapon. Uh, I'm afraid we don't, unfortunately. How much is a medical kit? Uh, you can get one for me for, uh, you know, usually they run about a hundred, especially here. You know, things are pretty scarce, but for you, I'd, I'd give you one for fifty. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'll take one. Thank you. I got money saved. Very well, made. So, like, do you make weapons? Yeah, I've, uh, I've made all these weapons, for the most part. And you don't have a hammer. I want to make a hammer. I'm, I'm more into, uh, more into precision. You made an axe... That's a spear, and you don't have a hammer. Well, that one I didn't make. That was one I got. That There was a civilization that used to use these all the time, and I thought it was a cool sort of antique. Well, if you let me use your workshop, I, I can make him a hammer, and we can split the profits. Okay, but um, we'll split it 60-40. Which way? Me 60, you 40? Me 60. Mm. My workshop, my tools. And your materials, it makes sense. I'll do it. <laughs> well, um, I do have one other question with her helping me out, kind of like and stuff. Um, I can have this here, and uh, the like arm flips up, and again, I hand out like a, what looks like a pistol, but it's a modified, like really, really thick barrel. This here is a grenade launcher. Oh, where'd and you watch where you're putting that thing. <laughs> uh, it needs to uh, needs to be upgraded. Alrighty, um, 
to well, shoot grenades. Once again, I can upgrade it for a certain price. Yeah, you have access to my How materials. How much are you looking at? What type of upgrade are you looking for? It needs to shoot more grenades, as in more than one. Hmm. Like a higher magazine count or fire more grenades at one time? Yes. Why not both? I agree with the kid. Well, you can do both, but it's going to cost you more. I mean, what are we talking? Like, what's the price points here for grenade launchers? Uh, well, let me take a look at your grenade. So, kind of a metagame question, Corey. Would you like this to have lower magazine count for higher damage as a base starting off point? Or would you rather have lower damage, more magazine count? Uh, I'll just take the higher damage initially. Okay, so you're going to have a grenade. It fires one, <coughs> one round. Uh, so you can write it here. We're going to do, uh, for your grenade launcher, we're going to do 8-1... Dash eight. Um, so we can add an extra mag. We can add an extra round. We're gonna add two extra rounds, but it's gonna cost um, eight hundred per capacity boost. And then for the damage itself, for the damage itself, we can add a plus two attack bonus there. Um, but that's gonna be six hundred as well. Six hundred for the plus two. Mm -hmm. And the uh, one is the capacity, right? Mm hmm So you're looking at 1800 for all three upgrades. I'll just do the six for the damage to boost it to the 10 dash one dash eight. Okay. All right, and that's how much for two of us? Uh, 600. So 600. that would be grenades. So we're gonna do uh, 400 him, 20 you, 200 you. Hmm. I don't know how to do 60, 40 off the top of my head. <laughs> For 600, it would be, uh, 300 would be half, so we'll just say, like, 350. It would be, uh, 360 and 240 you. Okay. Alright, 240. Alrighty, um. Alright, and that's gonna take some time, that's probably gonna take, like, an hour for you guys to do. And then mm -hmm. what about the hammer? Uh, well, as that's going on for the hour, uh, did you want to sit there for the hour as... Edison is crafting with Cactus Kid. Did you want to go see what Blazer's up to, or did you want to do something else? Um. Well, I mean, I'm not going to stay while they're crafting. I'm just paying them. Mm -hmm. I'll wait yeah, for my parts and so, so Edison. So are you staying with Edison? Or are you leaving Edison and Desmond alone? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Arabella. Arabella. Yes, I'm getting better at this. Uh, Arabella, uh, while they're working on my stuff, you want to just like go look at another place? You look like your mind needs to settle a bit. There's the chapel. Okay. Oh, I, yeah, I saw the chapel coming in. You want to go uh, see Johnny, I guess, is the spirit's name? Okay. Oh, Johnny, you guys go check out the chapel? Yes. Johnny. <laughs> We're going to go pray to Johnny Walker. He's one of the four... God, so Johnny, Jim, Jack, and Jose. Jose. As, he, as he's speaking to you, you, go realize he knows, you realize he knows nothing about this. I didn't say Tito's, but that's even better. The gospel is like, it's oh, sweet that he's trying. It's <laughs> sweet that he's trying. All right. So you walk into the, the chapel, and you see, a, you see a man sitting there in one of the pews. He stands up and turns around. He has a black-rimmed top hat. He has uh, mutton chops. Uh, he's wearing a uh, fancy attire. He looks to be—he looks to be in his uh, late forties. Uh, he's not as lanky as Abraham Lincoln, though. He's—he's oh. kind of more uh, thick, like broad-shouldered and stuff. Uh, he also looks a little bit more disgruntled, I'd say, than Abraham Lincoln tends to look. Oh. Um, he goes, "Well, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors." Hi. Is it o is it okay that we're here? Yes, it's okay. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I just, uh, I've never seen a, a Basque wearing uh, priest outfit before. Kind of took me back a bit, but please, oh. miss, you're welcome here. Posture check. Thank you. I know not everyone. Uh, Posture check. Who's asking? No, that's. Dumps. Oh, he did the thing where he. He was down the field, so. I know not everyone uh, might take a liking to your kind, but. It's okay here. How Much really appreciated. It's just one time to fix it and then you go back to what you're You're doing. a good man. <laughs> I try my best. But, you know, we all make mistakes. We all have our own issues and vices, but that's where I come here. 
try to cleanse ourselves and wipe away the problems we have, only to get more, but then to try to wipe it away again, and one heck of a cycle. Indeed. <laughs> well, uh, do you mind if I go up to the uh, the altar and say a prayer? Go right ahead. Thank you. And what about this fella? Hi, Father, Brother, whatever you are. <laughs> whatever. What do you identify as? You just call me Haynes. Like the underwear? No, there's there's not underwear called Haynes in here. Okay, well that's a relief. But hi, Haynes. And what's that you wearing? It's a cactus. Mmm. But it's also a suit. <laughs> you have a father kid? No. Not anymore. I didn't think so. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't apologize. You died before I remembered him. I'll say a prayer for you. I'll say one for him. He's dead. I'm doing just fine. <laughs> Hey, prayers aren't limited, my friend. I'd say one for each of you. Well, I mean, what about the these uh, dead people? Uh, we're here to, like, investigate and stop whatever's killing yeah, them? Yeah, I'll say prayers for them, too. I well, no, I don't need your prayers. I need to know who's killing them. <laughs> I mean, that's what you guys got brought here for, last I heard from Stella and Sebastian, right? Now, well, if you ask me, I personally think it's anything... Well... If you had to ask me, I'd say it has something to do with either a banshee or a vampire. Those are my awfully specific uh, guesstimates there, Father, Brother, Haynes, what do you know? Well, sometimes when you look towards the light, it helps you see. When I look towards the light, I just stop seeing for a while. So, yeah, that tell me... from that lack of praying. No, it's just from it being the sun. What... God, <laughs> got a long ways to go, my friend. But it's okay. I'm just saying we together has come. We've come together as a town, trying to figure out this problem. Of course, it's why you've been brought here. But um. So uh, well then, tell me about. Some people keep saying it's a werewolf, but I just want to see it. All right. Well then, tell me since you've made a, uh, you've made a thought here. Um, what's this like? What about vampires? Like, what do you know about them? I think it could be a vampire, though the biggest thing that people keep bringing up is that they say, oh, it can't be a vampire because they're not native born here, they don't live here. Some people don't even believe they exist. Me personally, I think they do. You know, in this world, I've seen many a weird things. Father, many I'm, a weird Father, things. I'm going to be straight with you. We're in a desert where the air is alcohol. Vampires are the least of my non beliefs. <laughs> well, that's what I'm here to say. I've never seen a vampire in my own eyes, but who's to say there's not going to be a vampire? Alright, cool. Well, um, thanks, I guess. Make an intelligence investigation check. Oh boy, do I have disadvantage on this? <laughs> no, you just have zero intelligence. That's already your disadvantage. Uh, three. Yeah, you don't know nothing. Nope. Didn't expect to. <laughs> my turn? <laughs> yeah. So, I will leave, uh, I leave the, uh, what was the place? What were, what were we? You're in like a like an open casket area. Oh like wow! Like put you out in the funeral? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, like where the boom bitch. The visitation. <laughs> what a <laughs> dick there you are. Um, Wait, that's where he punched you at a funeral? <laughs> at an open casket funeral. <laughs> but I mean, I guess now there's space for two. I mean, you know, yeah, right over. Oh, good God. turnover for the. No, she's not yes. good. Turn I'm making tons of money. She's turned over now <laughs> in her grave. Uh, okay. I'm to turn over because your face is not looking so good. Um, so I leave whatever the area I was at. <laughs> um, I figure I probably should get some extra supplies because I don't have much. So I go to the, was it the silver store? Yeah. So I head in there. You're still there, aren't you? Alright, so you see that Desmond and Edison are speaking with each other. They are laughing and having a good time <laughs> as uh, their small chat. <laughs> you throw your hair too? <laughs> well, I have a pixie cut, so it's like... Yeah, it doesn't move. <laughs> yeah, like, I fucking know what a pixie cut is. It, it doesn't, I don't even know what this like is. Shorter. It doesn't move. This thing's held together with white rain. Like, it's <laughs> well, she just said that... <laughs> Uh, you sort of like Danielle's hair, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. like Danny's hair. Thank you. Yeah. That's a pixie cut. 
Um, because there's different variations, but that's like the, the gist. Yeah. yeah, just like short, kind of cute hair. Yeah. Um, so I like walk in, I'm like, ka-ching, 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 ka-ching. Oh, he still doesn't have any shoes yet. No, I put them on. <laughs> I don't know. I put my shoes on in between everything. <laughs> As I walk in, it's like, oh, uh, a friend of yours. Roll to make sure they're on the right place. <laughs> they don't have shoes. I thought I had ca- carried them. No, you don't have shoes. Okay, then I'm buying shoes there, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully they're shoes. shoes. shoes All right, store. um, <laughs> shush. You can get a nice pair of boots, uh, 100 guild. Well, if I buy other stuff, will you knock the price down with everything? 100 guild, my friend. Fine. Not my boots. Boots, scoop, boogie time, people. Boots, scoop. Oh, I forgot to ask you um, for the gun that I bought. What was the damage and stuff for that? Yeah, so we're going to do seven. Where, where did I break that? Your inventory, you can uh, put oh. your derringer there. And sure. Do <coughs> seven dash one dash uh, two. Mm-hmm. And then it's uh, you can write concealed, so you know that it's hidden at all times. All right, and are we also working on his hammer? Um, yeah, I've never did the approach for the hammer. So what kind of hammer do you want to make? Uh, Doors. I can give them the specifications. Basically, it's uh, this is not going to be like a giant like, hammer for now. Like a mountain. No, no, granted, you start off with a hammer for well, your character. Well, see, I like to imagine my character just like buying his guns and stuff. Okay. So, which is where the extra thousand gold came from inside and like, oh, like okay. I, I like to imagine their thousands gone towards like their free weapons and mine. Like he's a kid in the cactus who so never bought that. Okay. So uh, are you thinking of just like a giant wooden mallet? Or are you thinking of like some sort of tech infused with it? Uh, tech infused with it for sure. Okay. I'm just trying to debate whether I want like a small like um, maybe like a spiked hammer. Small impact hammer or a large like gravity assisted like uh, kinetic hammer. I'm thinking like. Maybe for you, like a smaller one. I'm just thinking, like, it size, like I'm making it for you. Like, it's small, and then you have, like, a button where you can press where, like, spikes come out. It should absolutely look like a potted cactus on top. All right, it's going to look. Um, you hit a button and spikes come out of the cactus? Yes. Yeah. The people with it? Almost like a mace. Yeah, yeah, but the head, it's like the little three cactus, but the heads, like, compress on each other when it hits, so it, like, forms one giant hammer. Yes. So, do you want the main function of this hammer to be to. To, because you mentioned the anti-gravity thing, do you want that to be a main function, or do you want the spikes to deal a lot of damage to cause them to bleed heavily? Because it could add the bleed mechanic to people, which means that they'll keep bleeding out on their turns until they get healed, mm. which could be very lethal. Mm. Yeah, I like the bleed mechanic. Cool. It. So to get a, um, we'll call it nail the hammer. <laughs> so uh, basically, if you want a. Ha- Basically, the more money you put into it, the stronger it would be. So, how much money are you looking at putting into it? Because uh, this will be a giant, like, two-handed hammer, probably, because it's going to be a hefty one. That's what you want, yeah. Yeah, because I feel like, you know, having a one-handed hammer that does that is just kind of... I mean, it looks hilarious, but it wouldn't be, like, functional. There's, like, maces. You know, like, the crusaders that have, like, the shield, and they have, like, the one-handed mace, the ball, like, the spike ball, man. Yeah. So, like, that's possible if you want something like that. But no, this is just going to be like... Two-handed, like, war Yeah, two-handed that's war hammer with a cactus on top, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, you okay. can do it. All right. Um, so how, how strong do you want it to be? Or how much money you want to put into it? Uh, tell me rough prices on it. Just, like... It'd be easier for me if you just tell me, like, how we'll much... Do, we'll do a thousand, sure. A thousand? So you'd be looking at, like, seven dash one plus bleed damage. All right. What I'd be making... I feel like I'd be making that so I get... 40%. And if I did uh, if I did the extra 400, would that add more to the damage, or what would that do? If you added the 400, then uh, I would give you a bonus where if you uh, uh, you can spend a crit to add an extra level of bleed damage if you want. I'll so, allow for now. Okay. Because basically what bleed damage does, at the start of the enemy's turn, they roll a dice and take that much damage. And, and, and if they have double bleed, they have to roll two dice and take that much damage. Yeah, and what, do, that what do medical kits do? Um, they can heal, uh, basically you can use them to stabilize someone and heal people. Alright, I'll buy four of those since you said they were 50 apiece. Mm-hmm. And then how much are grenades for the grenade launcher? 
Um, you're looking about, uh, since you, you can, uh, he'll give you a discount on them, and you can get them for 25 a piece. Since I can craft them? Yeah, uh, well, crafting them, uh, you can buy the materials and just spend the time crafting them for, like, 10 a piece. Okay, I'll do that. So you can get it. 20. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I never, we never talked about, like, how much damage my blow torch should be, like, what the damage mechanics like that. Like, yeah. We, we, unless we're not redoing combat today, like, so. Um, for the blow torch, um, I think it'd be interesting since that's such a weird weapon that instead of it having like a normal attack to it, maybe roll more dice that's all fire kind of thing. Oh, so okay. maybe instead of doing like the 7 plus a d6, it could be like uh, the blowtorch is like 3d6s. And uh, what's the grenade damage again? Uh, it's going to be uh, 3d6 plus your strength. Is it strength or dex? Uh, well, normally it's dex when you throw a grenade, but since you're firing it from a heavy weapon, your heavy weapons go off your strength. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because I know with Dante it's dex, so I just yeah. want to make sure. Yeah, no, that's fair. If you're, so if you're throwing it, it goes off your dex. But if you're launching it from your grenade launcher, it goes off your strength. Which fits your character better, right? Because you have higher strength? Yeah, uh, no, they're tied, actually. Okay, well, either way it works, again, I guess. Alright, so <laughs> now that we got that all the way, yeah, we're just like making all these things. Cool. I still walked in. Oh, I already bought the boots. Is there anything else I can help you out with today, sir? Yeah, uh, while you're doing some lessons. So, what did you notice about the body? Like, what what was wrong with it? Or, like, what happened to uh, the girl? Well, after I got the father and the injured mother out, um, I examined the body and I saw that there was three claw marks across the neck. So Wait, sounds her. pretty vicious. Desmond, you said that you were selling pitchforks, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think that maybe like somebody could have bought a weapon like that and used it against her? This didn't look like pitchforks. This looked like claw marks. Actually, we did we did sell one recently. Um, to who? Uh, let me let me look at my records real quick. See what his name was. Mm. Let's see. I know it's here somewhere. Give me a second, guys. Patrick, the pitchfork buyer. He's <laughs> <laughs> also a star. Can't seem to afford it. He's like just in case his mom. Actually, his name his name was Patrick. Really? really? Yeah. Is this, Whoa. Yeah. Is this guy telekinetic or something? Is he there? No, I'm a cactus. Um, do you know like when um he purchased? You said a week ago, but do you know? Yeah, it was it was exactly a week ago. And exactly it was, a week ago. I think it was around six p.m. Go at six p.m. Yeah. Um. What's today's date? Like, is it Monday, Tuesday? Uh, we're gonna say this is a Thursday. It's a Thursday. They're equivalent of a Thursday. It's All tequila right. Thursday. That's the current brew in the air. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. And he was a human. So that wasn't obvious. Oh, that's right. Human. Wait, when did these murders start again? I'm not sure. And next question, when are you free? This week? <laughs> we're trying to go out on a date with him already. <laughs> Golly, no, we just got in the town. Uh, I'm free uh, free pretty much any time. Because, I mean, I, I can always close the, the shop. It's not that busy usually. It's actually been the busiest now right, than it's been back. in a long time. I just think we've been doing pretty good business yeah, together. So. Yeah, I agree. Let's go get it. You want something? I got mine. Um, anyways, where are you going to go find everybody else? I well, I'm going to buy some, some stuff before, so that way we can... Oh, getting hard on boots. Okay, what yeah. can we help you out with? Um, so let's see here. <laughs> I love how you're not part of this. You truly are a, a, a elf entrepreneur. Oh, I do worm my way into things. <laughs> now, how can I help you? Uh, let's see. I do love that Rachel's taking over the store. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. I'm like her. adding my name to the sign. Yeah, you, you've become a part owner. It's in, it's in crayon, though. Uh, let's see here. Well, I don't know what everyone else got, so I'll get uh, about four medical kits. Um, what about... showing me up with the medical kits. <laughs> Um, well, I'm the only one that has a medicine bonus. No, she has I one do. too. Oh, okay, awesome. 
Um, do they also have, do you have like potions of some sort? Sweet tart? Oh, no thanks. They're chewy. Like, can I <laughs> <laughs> that changes everything? I love how you buy that from me. You're like, I'm gonna eat them instead. Um, so we do have one potion available. What is it? It's just, uh, it's a standard magical potion. 100 guild kills you, uh, a decent amount. I'll buy an accuracy amount. Hmm. I'll pass on that. Um, what about bullets? Do you make bullets here? Bullets or bullets? Bullets. Are you here? <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just asking for clarification. Yeah, we're we... talking about from a gun or like you throw it and it wraps around people's legs. Ooh, that'd be a good one too. We have bullets. <laughs> Are they silver bullets? Let me get you some. This is the silver smith silver shot. Well, I didn't know if you already had some pre-made, <laughs> just in case. We do you want bronze bullets. <laughs> uh, I need some just in case we do deal with some werewolves. Uh, yeah, I do think it might be a werewolf up to this. Well, looking at that, we need some more information, but I'm thinking that too, just because of the claw marks. I didn't see any bite marks on the first pick, on the latest victim. So yeah. it's gonna be twenty guild apiece. Twenty guild. Are they shotgun form or regular gun form? Because that might make or break a deal. They're modular. You can use them in any of your firearms. All right, good. Because I need, because it's a shotgun I got. Old shotty. Pull her out a little bit. Mm, she's looking a little dusty. Are you sure you don't want any updates? I pull it. I was like, "What'd you fucking call her?" <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. don't take kind to that. You can't Let's... intimidate me with that shoddy gun. I can uh, make some add-ons. My specialty is uh, weapons. So, were you looking to? Unless you're doing it for free, I ain't interested. Oh, do not bother <laughs> with this guy. I'll do it, but I'll do upgrades later. We need to focus on the matter at hand right now. So I buy four medical kits. Out here. <laughs> you not want my though. money? <laughs> oh yes, with all the money you're giving our business. Better than none. This guy is what we call a Karen back in our hometown. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Uh, so I got I've not heard such a name before. Mm. Mm. Evidently, she's a. Uh, and where are you from again? Uh, bitch wheel? From the city. Okay. Ah, bitch wheel. Okay, we're going to double the price that he has to pay for everything because I don't like his attitude. And no, we don't accept coupons for future notice. Well, good thing the prices are already locked. So we got four medical kits at 200 and five bullets. Okay. So that's uh, 300 real. Sounds good to me. All right, perfect. Oh, do you have, uh, by chance, any shotguns? I literally just asked you and then you gave me an attitude. No, you asked, you were going to make an upgrade to one. I'm asking if he's selling any shotguns. I think we might have a shotgun. I do wonder, why are you looking for a shotgun, though, since you seem so attached to the one you have? Well, here's the reason. One of the uh, townsfolk I had a conversation with after a punching in the face and a deal with the devil, evidently, with them, uh, he was looking for one, so maybe you might shed some light on why they can't buy. He can't buy a shotgun himself. It's the father of the latest victim. Uh, he, he's more than welcome to come in here and buy a shotgun if he wants. Mm. I'm just curious. Keep an eye out on him though. If he comes in and buy one, let me know, would you? Yeah, sure. Perfect. And I do have a shotgun here. It's called the Hornet shotgun. If you're interested. Ooh. Fancy. It's known for its armor piercing. Ooh. Fancy. How much is that bad boy? Uh, for this, it would be 1500 Ooh, a little tight for the budget right now, but maybe later. Okay. So that would be a good backup one for med kits. And five silver bullets. So, uh, what's your name again? Mine? No. Edison? Edison. 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 I thought there was two D's for some reason. Edison, the what are you doing here exactly back there? Why does it matter to you? I'm just curious. I'm just curious because I figured you'd be with the other two. I figured you'd be no, with they're the, at the chapel. Weird cactus kid and Arabella. So, are you going to be much longer? Or? Um, I think I'm going to be tinkering some more. Alright, well I'm going to go find them and talk to them. You said they're at the chapel? Yes. Maybe that priest said would know something too. All right, as you walk in the chapel, uh, you see the, the man uh, described earlier uh, turn around and look and says, Here's we have a, another guest. Welcome. 
What brings you here? Howdy, Pastor. Well, this little uh, cactus kid thing and uh, Arabellum are, I guess, my teammates. Or my uh, mates. Are we Get there? yourself some Are we there? Was good company. Introduce himself like this? Too? Yes. Well, I wanted to know who I who I is, and I ain't no stranger yet. <laughs> I got Rachel. Say, uh, pastor, father, which one do I call you? You can just call me Haynes, it's fine. Uh, Haynes, uh, do you know of any creatures that have been, uh, like, around these parts? You know, we're here for the murders, but I want to know what kind of wildlife might be around here, or what kind of uh, monsters, better yet, besides yeah. myself and the cactus. I think that's a great question you ask. I think that there's, a uh, there's a few things it could be. I'm personally leaning towards, as I spoke with these two about, I think it could be a vampire, even though we haven't seen one or heard any reports of one in our town. I do think that vampires are something that would act accordingly with striking in, at night and using their claws. Uh, could be a banshee, which are vengeful female spirits. You know what they say. You can't trust a woman. Exactly. <laughs> Sexist. <laughs> you didn't hear this. <laughs> yeah, you didn't hear I know, but I'm just saying. Did you say that where I could hear him? Uh, yeah, he, you could hear him. I'm just saying, banshees are a whole not. I mean, you got spirits; it could be one, but banshees are a whole nother matter. Well, what about um, uh, what about uh, werewolves? Because going off. Of nah, nah, nah. I don't think it'd be a werewolf. Well, why not? It just doesn't make sense. Are they not around here? Or are they? I mean, for one, we haven't heard of werewolves either. Werewolves and vampires aren't normally a thing, but ever since these portals and people started wandering, and there's open up these new worlds that people can go to. No telling what could show up here. Well, let me ask this. Have you looked at the bodies of the other victims? You being a priest, I assume you do the... I have, the and I said a prayer for each one. Did you happen to see what kind of... Uh, to kill them, like what marks, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, they had the claw marks, it's all that across the neck. Mm -hmm. Interesting, you would know that they were claw marks before I said anything. Well, I took a look just okay. as you did. All right, did you notice anything else? Bite marks or anything? Because if a vampire to me, they probably would have had some bite marks or something. I, I saw some bite marks too. I did mm -hmm. where at right on the neck. Interesting. Alright. Do vampires have claws? Yeah. Some might. I mean, depending on, like, it depends on the lore of the vampire. Hmm. Um, at that point, I'm like, well, do you know any other people in town we should go talk to? Any other victim families, anything like that? You can speak with them if you uh, wish. I mean, but as I wanted to say, it could be a number of other things, too. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, spirits. There's all types of spirits that could linger around. Who knows if one of them have claws, or it could be a human using a weapon of some sort. Well, uh, Father, do you know of any place where uh, nobody particularly likes to go or lives from going to around here? Uh, no one likes to particularly go anywhere around here. Right, <laughs> but I'm talking about outside your city limits. Even outside the city, you got the, the desert, which I shall not name because I'm in a chapel. We've also got the marshes and peaks. Right, but any of those particularly worse than the other ones? Nah, they're all pretty bad. Alright, well if you had to pick one for a particular vampire or whatever to live, where would you pick? Well, it'd be my theory that I think the vampire's living right here in the midst of our town. Well, how do you? How many people are in the town? Mm, probably less than 100. Well, there's 99 now because I punched that one in the face. But, He's not uh, dead. <laughs> Yes, unfortunately. But anyway, assaults like people that deserve to decide. Um, anywhere else besides the town or any particular town folks that you suspect? We don't want to go on a witch hunt, but uh, you got yourself a witch. Witches ain't snitches. I think it's uh, a vampire, but. Uh, right. <laughs> any people you think that might I be say a vampire? It, I don't know. I don't want to just pass the blame and just. If you had to point a finger, though, the wagon. 
If you have to make an assessment. I don't know. I think it might be, uh, I think it might be that guy, Desmond. Desmond? Yeah, the silver smith shop guy. He wasn't always here. He, I could have swore someone else owned that, that building, and lo and behold, here's Desmond. Unexplainably shows up out of nowhere. I mean, isn't this ghost town? Most people show up from nowhere. Yeah, but he also doesn't have the accent like most of us. He also looks unexpectedly attractive where the rest of us are losing our teeth. <laughs> I mean, that's just rude. He could just have good dental hygiene. Where at? There ain't no dentist here. Maybe he brushes his teeth? I don't know, Father. <laughs> <laughs> we barely even have water to brush our teeth with. How about this? You got, uh, most of us have to brush it with whiskey. <laughs> Cactus Kid, uh, you, uh, you, you have some sort of weapon being made, right? What? A weapon being made? I thought you said wet being made. <laughs> <laughs> That's a southern accent, alright? I mean, I paid parts and services. So far, I've gotten neither, but yeah, they're well, in process. How about this? Let's go over there. We can go talk to uh, the owner again. How's that sound? You mean a sold a shopkeeper? Yes. Alright. I'll come to you. Oh, I'd hope so. <laughs> All right, you guys have a nice day. We'll see you around, uh, Hank, right, Mr. Thank Haynes. you for giving us the, the chapel space. Praise Johnny. <laughs> Peace be unto him and you as well, Haynes. <laughs> Johnny? Yeah, that's the deity's name. You didn't know? I Your thought you were around these parts. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you, are, you are right. As we, as we get You're half, darn tootin'. As we get halfway between the chapel and the store, I stop him. Okay. Alright, this is fucking weird. What is? I have a suspicion that Mr. Haynes might be more involved than we think he is. The preacher? Mm-hmm. Just a hunch, but the way he automatically jumped on to it being claw marks, even though he did say what it was. Uh, and even though he looked at the bodies. There's something, I just have some odd feeling. Sometimes preachers and uh, and fathers give me a little bit of a weird feeling. Well, that's not. You can't just make assumptions. I mean, I'm just saying. We I mean, look, to keep it up. The only odd thing is that he hates attractive people. I mean, I get it. I'm not exactly a sight for sore eyes, but Desmond didn't do shit to him. I'm just saying, but also we do need to take a look at that other fella. He said the shopkeep. A lot of people here, including myself, don't have the finest teeth. And well, the only person that I can think of to have fine teeth would be someone that's not from this part of the world. What does fine teeth have to do with their teeth? <laughs> with their next I think that the murderer has... Blazer! It's teeth. not about their teeth care, it's about their claws! Hey, who's the intelligent one here? <laughs> I'm the smart one, fucker. Right, but, but I... But give Zach the high intelligence. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Let's just go pick up... Uh, what kind of weapon were you getting made again? A hammer. Hammer. What? I don't want to know. And a grenade launcher. Oh golly. Well, let's go back over and uh, and uh, talk to Edison and see if they're done and see what else we could be doing. All right. Walk well, back in to the shop. You Got see Edison gone. and uh, Desmond uh, chatting it up, having a grand old good time. Oh, okay. uh, you two in love yet? Take my pixie <laughs> here. Once again, it's fl very barely flowing in the wind as I'm. Is it done, by the way? Oh uh, yeah, it's one of those rare wins that we get here. <laughs> <laughs> no, she she's contractually obligated to have like just enough wind to do the hair. <laughs> yes. Uh oh, cactus kid, you're back. Um, Hell actually, yeah, you uh, got my stuff. Yeah, here you go, kid. Give it a yeah. try. Yeah. All right. Uh, do we have something for him to beat up to try it out? I'm gonna take the gun and put it in this here safety pouch, which you can't see, it just disappears into the arm, but mm, you don't really know what it is. <laughs> I mean, there's a, there's a combat dummy back there that you can strike, or if you want, you can go find some uh, cactus men and beat the crud out of them. Uh, that might be a bad idea. Yeah. Some what? Cactus men. Uh, they, 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 uh, they exist in these here parts? Yeah. Well, holy shit, I haven't <laughs> seen one in years. <laughs> well, you just, what do you say? You want to go... Beat one up with your Fuck new... yeah! Let's All go right. kick its ass! Let's go! They murdered my parents! Arabelle Ara might stay behind while uh, these two go. Or you could come with us. We're gonna go kick the hell out of some cactus people! Uh, you know, 
I think the best part is they scream! <laughs> if you just stay back for five minutes so we can talk. I think I'll stay here. I but you guys have flies. We'll bring you back some of their blood, which is also drinkable. That's okay. It's very nourishing and high in protein. It only has a small chance of poisoning you. You, don't, you, you guys don't have to. Are you cactose intolerant? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't make that be the reason. They make medicine for that nowadays. No, no. You two Are go you have sure? fun. You two go have fun. Go get the cactuses, I guess. I don't know. Okay. All right, oh, I'm and you shape the head of it like a pot of cactus. He's, he I'm says just the happiest some bitch ever. I thought you would like it. I like to uh, customize my weapons. Edison, I think we have ourselves a good friendship going on here. Totally. Okay. My best customer in this town. Let's go. Alright. Only customer so far. So, is it the two of you? Those two. Okay. So, the two of you uh, go out back, uh, and you see it opens up into part of the desert. You start traveling through, and you manage to come across a, uh, a cactus man who is dragging a, a corpse with him. Uh, it might, it may be st still someone alive. Holy shit! Do you see that? Yeah. He's dragging I, a body. I, I told you these little, these little gross some <laughs> bitches. They just <laughs> kill people. Hey, yeah, just pointy fuckhead! Why hey. do you have that body? <laughs> he pulls out a little, a little spike. Like a switch blade. Just <laughs> I dodge it. All right, roll to dodge it. Okay, I make, uh, I have edge um, outside of the city. Oh, okay. It might be for non-combat rolls though. Oh, does a dodge count as combat? Yeah. Okay, then never mind. We'll see. Feel like that. Alright, um, and is it with my dexterity? It's gonna be your defense over here. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's right. an eight. Oh. Right. A total uh, after your yeah. roll? Yeah. Okay. So he had. So you take ten points of damage. Oh, eight. fuck you! <laughs> Whoa! Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> the spike goes right underneath your rib cage and you start bleeding severely. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, cactus kid. I got this. I got this. All right, cactus kid. Okay, so right now you're inflicted with bleeds. At the start of your turn, you're gonna take D6 damage until you're healed. What? Okay, wait. Where's my? Oh um, shit! You bleed pretty help? bad. Oh, no, you're at two. Oh my. No, sorry. You're at. Uh, no, you're you're at five. Oh wait. Forgot this. So my overall health is 15. Let's give her this. That's yeah. Confusing. Yeah. Oh shit! And you got minus 10, ten. And then minus three, you said. Ten, so you're at five. Ten. Okay, five. And you're you're bleeding. Correct. Okay. So uh, so I'm gonna run up to him. Get wrecked, you son of a bitch! <laughs> the hammer. Yeah, okay. I'm hitting him with the hammer. Hammer time. Right. He is uh, rolling too well. I'm just what do I? What oh, do my do? oh my god! Oh my god! Right. <laughs> How many do I roll? Just one? Yeah. You better hope you crit. Oh, no, I don't. No. I don't, I don't think, I don't think is, it, is it seven? Wait, you can use your seven? discipline. We have like. Yeah, but he just rolled like eight <laughs> crits. <laughs> oh, you're so, so with your hammer, one. do you have your hammer right down here? Yeah, seven, one, zero. Mean? Okay, so it's gonna be seven one, plus one, your strength one. plus your roll. Well, no, depending uh, on the class. Some have one, like, uh, she has one, I have three, you have three. Uh, no, it's six. Okay, as you go to strike your, your hammer, uh, throwing out your, your clip on him, he goes, yeah, and he jumps up on top of your hammer and runs up your hammer. He goes to pull out a spike, and he goes to strike the back of your neck. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, roll for defense. Mm, what buzz. are you rolling against? Mm, Just buzz. add it to your defense. Mm, buzz. 12. Okay, you take eight points of damage and now you're bleeding. Holy oh, shit! Armor. Uh, well, subtract your armor too, yeah. Alright, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wait, what's Desmond doing? So I can't go with you. I take six. <laughs> Desmond. Oh, the shot. <laughs> Desmond. Oh, did you want him to go with you? I assume that he okay, was. Okay, well, he's just, just gonna it's show just us shot, where it was. Though. He's just gonna leave us alone. Yeah, but he shot. told us where it was, so I just assume that he's gonna, like, lead us to where it was. No. Because what it was is saying, oh yeah, they're out back there. You guys went. He told you where they were. Yeah, yeah and you uh -oh. guys walked. I told you these some bitches were mean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> By the way, we're back there. Like, I'm gonna like, 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 like fling them on the ground and like pop over my uh, over my <laughs> hand and like take out the gun and be like, and now it's my turn to be mean, you little bitch. Bam. Okay, wait, Edison, you can go ahead and take an action. Okay. But you take one d six damage first. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Take All right. Point of damage. Cool. If you'd rolled like a five, a <laughs> yeah. five or a six critical bleed. Um. Okay. So I'm like, 
shit, you got a bird. And I um, burn him with my blowtorch, which is 3d6. Okay, so he's currently on the back of Cactus Kid right now, and you have to take a blowtorch. Okay. I can take it. Are you sure? I can take it. Okay, kid. Get this old bitch off me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, well, I did get a six. Yeah, so you have an 11 currently. It's a 16. Um, 16. And I'll have you add this to your wisdom since whenever you weld, it goes off your wisdom and you're crafting. So I'll have this yeah. be like a weird weapon that goes off your wisdom. Okay, you so seven. Ooh, you have edge on crafting too. Oh, well, this is a Well, yeah, when it, so just your wisdom. Oh. So plus seven. So seven, 12. 16. Oh, 16? Yeah. Oh, well. So you get six, okay. No, you got 16 there. Oh, 16 plus 7. It would be 24, too. Which is 24. You can uh, put yes. plus wisdom, or plus W-I-S, so you remember. So 23. Uh, with that, he goes, yeah! and just erupts in the fire, and, goes, yeah! and he falls off of Cactus Kid and starts rolling, trying to put himself out, but then he just becomes smoked and just tart. Like, he's just like this like little charred. cactus, charred cactus man. Charred. Is he dead? Yeah, he's he's oh. he's real dead. Well, Cactus Kid, you can still beat him with your. Bat. I absolutely am. <laughs> Rooting, tooting. Oh, and I took the hammer the shooting the bench. Uh, now you take one d six bleed damage during your turn. Now you take five points of damage. Oh shit! All right. Oh, you fucking yeah. All right, then you start mashing on yeah, the ground. <laughs> okay. Um, you Edison, your turn. Take one d six point damage. Oh yeah, should we uh, heal ourselves or? We yeah, still right? have a healer. We're out of combat though, right? Yeah, but she, but you're still taking bleed damage. Okay, okay. cactus kid. I think I might pass out, so I think I'll, right. I'll need you. Yeah, I got, I got some. Me me I got medical. Oh, okay. I'm still. All right, alive. come here. Let me patch you up. Okay. So what do I do? Just okay. a medicine check, or do I try? Yeah. To uh, do you, um, wisdom medical. Well, shit. Happy trails. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome well, to the Dorian Trail. <laughs> Alright, so eight. Eight? Okay. okay. No, no, well, wait, wait, wait. I, got, I got edge on medical, so. Ooh. Uh, Eleven. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to stop the bleeding okay. and heal you by one. Oh, well, I thank you for stopping the bleeding. Uh, that was really... Uh, now really you have to roll for bleed damage. Uh, you're welcome, now. Uh, if you'll excuse me, that's a uh, six. Do I keep rolling? Yeah. <gasps> Just like a gush of blood. Like... You better hope it's a <laughs> <one. laughs> Ooh, Eight. wow. So you're down to two. You want to use a medical kit on yourself now? You're not gonna if you don't, I mean, by the time you walk back, you're gonna bleed out more. Well, you I'm know. gonna heal myself too. Uh, that's, that's what I was wondering. It's like now I feel like, excuse me for just a second, <laughs> partner. <laughs> partner. <laughs> then you just hear like, <laughs> like you hear just like interior mechanical noises. Interior crocodile alligator. All right, three, I drive ten. And okay, so you Shut heal yourself it. by one, and you cure yourself of bleed. Then you start hearing. <laughs> And outside of this like little cavern, you see two more cactus men walking. Wait, out. do you have just edge or both like? Edge? I got edge. Oh, okay. They start out spikes. You better start running, fuckers. Yeah, you, you and your friends, you and your friends are dead. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> when I get some healing. You just wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow. One throws a spike and it goes right past your head. Oh my god. <laughs> like, oh. I run. Ooh, do you grab it on your waist? That way you can use it for How far away are they? Uh, they're about. Well, since you're dumb, you can't tell if it's between 50 and 100 feet. Alright, cool. I'm going to pull out my grenade launcher and just try it. Just boop! Okay. Oh shit. Hey! Better run. You and your friends! Fuck off! Oh, no. oh wait, I have six or less health too. So, okay, so you gain edge. On every roll, alright. So. That's five, and now I roll 3d6 plus strength. Right? That's how that works um, with your grenade launcher? Yeah, well, sorry. So with your grenade launcher, it's different than if you throw it. Your grenade launcher is just going to be the 10 plus the roll. Oh, yeah, because I was about to say that's going to be no, absolutely no, no, silly. No, no, no. But, you can, but you can roll another dice and then choose the highest among those. Oh, that's right. Okay. It's five. So it's going to be 15. Uh, it's because it's based off of what? The 10 is just static, so... Oh, 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 15 plus your strength. Alright, so 20. Okay. Uh, with that, they go... <laughs> and just blow up. You see the sands just blow up there, and then the smoke goes away, and they're both nothing. Wow. Yeah! 
obliteration. I like one tear falls out and I'm like, I do some really beautiful work. Hey, Edison. Yeah. Well made. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, so you guys head back? Yeah. Okay, as you head back uh, into the, the shop, um, the fuck? What is it? Is there anything that you two wanted to do in particular while they were gone? Well, I wanted to talk to the shopkeep again. Okay. Are you a vampire? No. Um, hold something silver for me. So, what do you make the silver bullets? Sure. Plus, it's not a bullet, it's a snake for the heart. For vampires, right? Yeah, werewolves don't like silver. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys don't know how these vampires and werewolves operate. Aw, oh, shit. Um, well, he handed me the silver bullets, so it would have affected him. If um, they followed that rule. That's just yeah. Like, um, uh, I, I got a couple more questions for you. What's your name again, buddy? It's Desmond. It's Desmond. Yes. Um, how long have you been here again? I've been here for uh, a little while. Uh, probably the last month or so. Last month? Okay. Yeah. And uh, you made this shop up on your own, or did you buy it from someone? I bought it. The previous owner wanted to retire and move, move away. Okay. Yeah. Where'd you come from? Like, what, uh, what part of the uh, world or worlds I should say uh, it's um I, I came from up north does it does it snow there like, no it doesn't okay 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 um so besides uh I'm not a you I forgot are there any people that here that you think might be might not be who they are you know might be a creature of some sort or something <laughs> yeah to me if I was being honest with you mm-hmm. I think Haynes is kind of suspicious. Well, what what makes you think that? Well, he seems very accusatory, mm-hmm. and he I've seen him snap at people with like a blinding rage. Here's another question: the victims, um, do you did had they come into your shop ever to buy something? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, the only one that has, I'm guessing, was the Jason, older, the older gentleman. Yes. Okay. But the females had never come into my shop. Okay. Well, I. That's all questions I had. If I were a, if I were a wandering man, what's a good place to go after here, just to, you know, explore the town? What's a place you like to go to? Um, if you say the chapel, I know you're full of crap now. <laughs> You caught me red-handed. <laughs> I don't like to go to the chapel. Um, well, of course, uh, I don't know. It's a great question. It, it's it been kind of uh, odd adjusting here. I haven't quite met people I could really call my friends. But, you know, that, um, that Edison is something else. Ah, that's right here. Taste. Yeah. Now, by the way... You guys can roll for wisdom perception to tell if someone's lying. Oh shit! That's just, right. just something to keep in mind if you wanted to try to roll for their intentions or if they if they come across as lying. Are you trying to tell me that uh, you are you're you're having the, the hootsie kahootsie with that young lady? That's an odd way to phrase it, but uh, if I understand what you mean, then uh, yeah, I suppose you could say that. I'll put a good word in for you. How's that sound? I think I can handle it. Well, we're gonna go. You're not gonna check if he's gonna murder me. <laughs> Hell, even in fantasy land, you're the worst. Thing you're I've like, heard. I'll take your word. <laughs> I Just trust. have her home by the See, <laughs> uh, I, I said I'll put a word in for him. Seems legit. <laughs> <laughs> She's fine oh to me. Gosh. You have to remember, I'm not focusing. I'm trying to get you hooked up. I'm trying to find out who killed this people. I know. But don't worry, you don't you, you have a suspect in front of you, and you're just like, yep, everything seems on the up and You're up. interested in this well, girl, on. and all the other hold people on. who have died are girls? <laughs> well, they're young girls, so. Before Damn, we walk- you think I'm an old crone? They were 16, 17. You'd be at least, what, 26, 27? I was thinking, like, and she's an my elf. Age you're, like, well, you're an elf yeah, too. Yeah, so ageless, could, pretty much. Well, yeah, you could be. Oh, no, that she got. You could be fairly old, probably like older, but a uh-huh. year younger. Look at that. Um, yeah, but you, I would look young. Before we walk out, I go. Oh, I got one more question. 
for you. Are you lying to me? <laughs> Are you lying? What the no, pure rat face pig nose lying? <laughs> you dirty son of a bitch. Pinky promise you won't kill anybody. <laughs> you promise you're telling the truth. Uh, I got one, one more for you, uh, just because I'm, I'm curious. You said, what was the, the reason you moved down here? You know, there, there's not a lot of people here. Were you not liking the, the city, or were you just wanting a fresh start? I was, you got me. I was looking for a fresh start. I didn't really have friends back where I'm from, and I heard that this place is full of intoxication, so I felt like it was worth a try. Plus, Ghost Town sounds pretty cool, so I wanted to see if I could help out. I'm going to roll for that. Okay, it was the perception. That's what you're rolling. Ooh. Uh, 7, 13, 18. Seems like uh, he's telling the truth. Seems like he's telling there is some truth to it, but overall it's a lie. Well, uh, Mr. Uh, what was your name again, fella? It's Desmond. Desmond. Mr. Desmond, it's a pleasure. Uh, I'm sure we'll be back because we're going to need to buy more stuff over time. Arabella, where would you like to go? Or do you want to ask him Wait, any questions? are you going to leave before we get back? Well, what else are we going to do? We need to go talk to more people. Well, they won't know where to find us. Oh, I found I found her by pure coincidence. And it's <laughs> <laughs> I'm in character, damn it. I'm the smart one. <laughs> I am the smart one. Actually, I think we have the same uh, intelligence. Yeah. What about wisdom? I'm above you now. Fuck. Um, I, I don't know. I, I guess we can. I guess we can leave. I don't. I don't know that I have anything to add. I tell him. By the way, if our cohorts come back, uh, have them. Do we have phones? I can't remember. No. Nope. No nope. communications. Carrier pigeon. I <laughs> uh, have them go to the center square and we'll meet them there. Can do. And if they got hurt, tell them to not do stupid shit. Sure. I have an instinct. Okay. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Arabella. It was a pleasure. See you around, cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> we good. I don't think he's a cowboy. I don't think that yellow belly son of a bitch was telling the truth either, because I got some good feelings about it. <laughs> I got some good feelings about you lying to me. For some reason, I just get happy when you do. <laughs> All right, so you guys go back up into the into the shop, and you guys are uh, bl have some blood on you. Look a little worse for wear. Like, well, you some uh, bitch. You didn't say there were tough as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cactus people you Desmond's raise like, up in this part? Desmond's like, oh. Guys, I need to I need to get something for you. And uh, here, ha stuff, have yeah. some bandages. And he puts his arm around you and kind of carries you closer. And, and puts starts. Who's he carrying? Me or her? Her. No, he kind of ignores you. Goes to Edison and starts. <laughs> I was gonna say yeah, because I'm a I'm a big some bitch. <laughs> He's like, cactus kid, you can help yourself at the counter. All right. On the house. Good thing I've uh, read a medical book or two. <laughs> Good thing I'm a doctor. Are you sure we should leave him alone? I think he's like a kid or something. Now let me just uh, figure out how to. Nah, he, he looks old enough. I I, I, old I got enough. this. Just uh, no one touched my suit while I'm away, and like the little like face thing pops up. It's just like a little like smiley face. It's like thanks for coming and <laughs> for happy trails or something like that. Oh, that's pretty cute. Yeah. yeah, and like the like little smiley face on the cactus is done like a like little like crying face and has like a little bandaid on it. Like it looks <laughs> with me. <laughs> that's cool. All right. Uh, by the way, um, when you guys get fixed up and feel ready for it, uh, your friends wanted to meet you in the town square the center. Sounds good. She's Lots the only one that can hear him, by the way. I'll be sure to tell Cactus Kid after we get all healed up. They, they messed us up out there. It I, looks I like it. How many did you fight? It must have been like a dozen. Um, Dozens. To be honest, just one, but he had really good aim in my defense. Oh, well, I appreciate honesty, so. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, they can be mean though. They, I've I've heard some pretty gruesome stories. Oh yeah. I think uh, actually his parents died by the hands of cactus people. So it's maybe like a tiny bit therapeutic um, for well, him. 
I hope so. That's pretty tragic. Uh, anyways, uh, where are your uh, healing supplies? I uh, just behind the counter over here, and he shows you. Oh, cool. So, so I guess I'll take that. Yeah, d go ahead. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways, so uh, you were telling me about this like Patrick person. Um. Do you know where like I could find him, or do you think you could take me to him? sometime yeah 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 his house is just right down right down the way it's about four houses down to your right all right well we should go it's it's a date to see patrick yeah <laughs> okay i guess there's not much else to do for a date so. <laughs> totally <laughs> innocent no romance no suspicion <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh well, by the way i just wanted to say yeah. you have really nice teeth everybody else here where is it? Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, I don't know, it must be genetics. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sneaky clean. Yeah. Um, and I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can be hard to find. Why are you looking at me when you said that? <laughs> it can be, <laughs> oh. be a, a rarity in these, these uh, this place. But what can you do? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Edison, you're going. I finally appear back into the guy. He's like, Edison, you're going to uh, that other place with, uh, with Desmond. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go check out this Billy guy. He seems like a really cool guy. Wait, before you can you heal? I don't know how to. I don't know how to use this. Yeah, I'll fix you up. <laughs> Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I felt awkward holding. I, I just weapons, didn't know. I can't fix this. <laughs> yeah, I, I like flick my wrist and both of my cactus hands like flip up like they're like got like a little like segment thing so they pop up. And then like, you get like a little medical cross on your forehead. Yep, exactly. <laughs> the, the face like morphs into like a red cross or like has just, like a little hat. Okay, do I, I heal just all the way? Imagine you like cover um, you look like a the cactus kid but did a Halloween of a so of a, um, you ever, take you ever him, seen take take him versus zombies? Take the time. Um, you can heal uh, using one of your medical kits. Um, well, I'm using the one that uh, Desmond provided, I guess. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, do a, another wisdom medical check. Uh, one. Okay. Plus uh, seven, so eight. Eight, and like, I had three. Oh, wait, 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 I got an edge. So, uh, eleven. Okay, so taking the time, uh, he heals you by six. Okay. Nine. I should probably watch mine. Mine's not as good. So, eight. Yeah, you hit yourself up four. I really appreciate it, kid. I, I don't know what I, I would do, honestly. Probably not help myself out that much. It's okay. Everybody needs somebody to take care of them at some point or another. That's true, partner. Partner. <laughs> Well, uh, happy trails on your exploration for this, uh, vampire banshee thing that Mr. Haynes says we're possibly looking for. It could possibly be Mr. Pretty Boy, but, uh, I'm gonna go over <laughs> the billies. Alright, I have a theory about this pitchfork, guys. Uh, we'll have to see. Alright, yeah, well, so you, uh, yeah, so just you keep me posted. You and Desmond go to check out Patrick. Alright, and I and tell him if I'm not back by, like, sundown... Yeah to come looking for me. Hey, Desmond, are you going to keep her safe? Of course. I'm going to roll to see if he's lying. Okay. <laughs> what do I roll? Uh, wisdom perception. <laughs> what if it's like... Do I actually have perception? Uh, no, I don't. So, three... Ten. Um, it seems like he's telling the truth. Like, he doesn't seem to want to cause harm to her. Cool. He can. wants the fucker. Cool. And I carry on. Okay. So, and you want to go to Billy's? Three yeah. Billy's. Okay. okay. Did you guys want to go through Billy's with cactus skin? You see him walking by the, the town square. It's like, duh. Fuck. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just He's like, covered in bandages. Like, the <laughs> fuck? He's uh, like a bandage on the suit. <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like, like, my green is this weird, like, really dirty brown from the blood. <laughs> I go, a uh, cactus kid, yeah. I'll. Um, all right. What the? Don't want to talk about it. Okay. Going to Billy's. Where's uh, where's Edison? Don't know. With a friend. With a friend. Okay. Uh. With, with Desmond. They're going to go check out Pitchfork guy. Uh. A Annabella, will you go with uh, Cactus Kid to Billy's? I'm gonna go check up on uh Edison. Would you know where Patrick's place is? I assume so. Right? 
No, but Would you I could see them. But it's a town, and you could look around and investigate and stuff. I'll do that thing. Okay. So, are you fine with that? Um. Yeah. Be careful. I got. I got my little trusty shoddy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, so you and Cactus K go to Three Billies, and you see that he's he has his uh, legs propped up on the the counter, and he has the, his hat over his eyes. And then, uh, as you guys uh, walk through, a, a bell rings, ding, and he goes, oh, 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 shit. oh uh, we got, we finally got customers. Uh, hey, uh-huh. um, uh, welcome to Three Billies. I'm happy to have you here. Help yourself to anything you need, and I will be right on it. I promise. I will do the best, and I mean the absolute best I possibly can. What's your name, partner? My name's Billy. You're selling yourself kind of short if there's only one of you in there. Oh, well, about that, my uh, my two brothers unfortunately lost their lives tragically. Well, shit. Oh, bless you. <laughs> yeah, shit two indeed. Two different types of people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Bless you. All right. it's, it's all right. I'm trying to do right by them and keep our store's name carrying on. Well, that's good. What do you sell? Uh, we sell a lot of general good su- uh, supplies, such as uh, if you need any bandages or med kits or, you know, some weapons. Uh, we, we, we... You making fun of me because I'm hurt? No, I'm just saying if you need any of that, we got it. I mean, of course, we got a competitor that opened up across from us, but, you know, we, we still hang on and trying to do good, you know, right by the people. Well, I mean, I'm all in the spirit of competition, but how long have you been in competition? Uh, well, he, he moved in at least like a month ago. Ever since, I kind of lost all business, but, you know, I probably haven't ate in a week, but I think I'm still alive. That on account of people dying? No, just uh, that guy has been beating me in prices, and people think he's more attractive than me, so just why why even come in here to this store? Oh, so oh, I mean, he is pretty attractive, you have to admit. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. What does this guy look like? Uh, this guy is uh, missing a few teeth. He's a little overweight. Uh, <laughs> Daddy? I imagine, short, short, dark brown hair. I imagine um, he looks like a goat. <laughs> no, he, he's, he's, a, he's a guy. Um, he's like six foot tall, though. A little, a little overweight, but not too overweight. Okay. <laughs> it's a big fucking deal. <laughs> <laughs> He's rocking that dad bod in there. I know, I know I could lose a few, but it ain't, it ain't that. It's a big that dick, it's a big bad dot, big dad dot. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it. I haven't even cracked open the beer yet. I'm so well, Not in this air. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's been a bit dry recently though, so that hasn't even been a blessing. Well, what's you, what's your um, inventory? Your, what do you got? Other well. You know, we're we're a general supply store, and we can also fix up things. You know, I'm a bit of a handyman. So, uh, as long as there's not someone really good at that kind of stuff, I think I might be okay here. <laughs> you don't know anyone that's good at handiwork, do you? Uh, <laughs> change the subject! Uh, do you? Yeah. Cer- I- certainly not anybody who has set up shop. Okay, um, I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> I mean, I fancy myself to be a bit of a handyman. Oh, so you're you're in, not, in more competition? Than... I'm lying to him. <laughs> oh well. I mean, you do a I mean, look, we could we could make like a partnership or something like that. Make an intelligent silver tongue check. I have strength of neither of these. Five. I mean, unless your name's Billy, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it could be. I don't think it is. I could change. <laughs> <laughs> I can be your I think player. there is actually someone in town that can legally change names. Would you actually be interested in some cleaning supplies though, Billy? <laughs> I don't I don't need I'll sell supply. you I'll sell you some uh journal purpose uh rummages in the suit. Bathroom cleaner. I mean that stuff I, I'll be honest, that stuff is very rare in these parts, but it's not something that most people even care about. It'll anymore. get you drunk. Nah, I mean, it's it's all good. I got some whiskey back here. The bathroom cleaner. It's it's good, man. I appreciate it. You'll never Wait, are see, you even old enough to be drinking? You'll never see the kind of things you see <laughs> off the of floor. That's the question he asked. I haven't yeah. even been asking to answer my question. But. These Tide Pods? They'll, <laughs> take, they'll take you places, Billy. 
I don't know about that, man. Anyways, aren't you supposed to be, aren't you one of the new guys here trying to help fund this murder investigation? Yeah, that's why I got the bleach. <laughs> Clean up the stains? The town will never be so clean again. Oh, boy. I don't know, man. I just... I'm, I'm fine, really. All right, well, uh... Are you a vampire? No, I'm not. I'm going to see I don't think there's I'm vampires. I'm going to see lying. Live. Okay, wisdom perception. <laughs> just go door to door. Are you a vampire? Okay. Uh, seven, 14. This guy does not register at all to you as a vampire. All right, cool. <laughs> Suspect eliminated in my books. Where's the next door, Billy? Uh, the next door? All right, I'm at right now. Now. All right. Well, you sure you're not one of the already out the door? No. Okay. Um. What about you? Do you buy something? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you need it, of course. I don't want to force or make things feel awkward. It's just it would mean a lot to me, and I might not be able to eat if you don't buy something. But don't feel any pressure. <laughs> I literally might die tonight, <laughs> but... Um, I don't really need anything, but I can give you some good... Uh, no, nah, that's okay. I don't want charity. Charity. Oh, well, he's that kind of person. What What do you have to buy again? <laughs> I mean, I just have, I mean, some general supplies, you know. What does general supplies mean? Well, I mean, I got, I got rope, I got bullets, Ooh, I got eat. med kits, condoms. I got the <laughs> world's finest hot sauce. But you probably don't need those. I mean, you're a priestess after all. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I need to go to chapel. I just, <laughs> it's been a rough rough time for me. Uh, I understand, sir. <laughs> well, how, how much is your rope? Uh, well, usually, you know, I'd say it's like 2,000 gil, <laughs> but I'll cut you a deal for 100 gil. 100? 20 100. feet of rope, 100 gil. Okay, you, you got me. Ah, hell yeah. I mean, sorry, miss, uh, Heck yeah. I really appreciate that. That's going to do wonders for me. Oh, it's no trouble. Uh, perhaps you could return the favor. The and... date? <laughs> <laughs> Run! Uh, I got some money now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Actually, I was maybe hoping you could tell me I mean, we, we are here trying to investigate those murders, like you mentioned. Oh, yeah, that, that's, that shit's, I mean, that, that <laughs> is bad news. It, yes, it is. Uh, you know, you wouldn't happen to, like, know anything about that, would you? Because it would really help us a lot. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I don't know much about creatures and the sorts. I mean, I mean, I don't know, what were you thinking the monster might be? Or if it was a monster at all. Um, well, it's sort of hard to say. I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen any of the bodies myself, so all I can do is go off of uh, what other people have said. Um, Blazer, <laughs> uh, one, of, one of the guys here with us. What a dumb ass name. Right. <laughs> I mean, dumb, dumb, dumb butt name. <laughs> Said it looked like claw marks. Claw marks, huh? Yeah, and, um, pains at the chapel? Well, I can say this almost definitively that I don't think it's a cactus man. Because cactus men love using their spikes and nails. And if there's claw marks, probably not their way of, uh, of attacking. Because I'm sure if you run into one, you're going to see that you do lots of piercing. Um, so the wounds would look more like puncture holes? Yeah. Okay. And then there's dandens, but they just like to beat things. They're kind of like, they're just kind of brutish, bludgeoning guys. So like, if they were smashed to bits, probably be them, but since there's claw marks, probably not. Mm. Okay. Seems like you might be looking at a, I don't know, uh, I've heard people say different things in the town. It's really hard to say. I mean, werewolf and vampires just feel like fantasy. It just doesn't seem like that'd be a thing, you know? 
But there has been some ghosts around these parks, and there's also, you know, stories about the Banshee who lives in the moor. In the moor? Mm-hmm. That's what I've heard. We've uh, we had some people try to go out, ask the Banshee questions, but never return. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Or you can call her, I call her, the Bitchy. I mean, sorry, man, I keep doing that. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> I, I'll go to the chapel, okay? <laughs> He's oh. just so nervous. <laughs> it's okay. Um, thank you for, y you know, your information. And Anytime. For this group. I appreciate um, your, you, your time. You appreciate enough for a uh, little bit of money? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, so I'm being rude. I'm sorry. Get the you, fuck out of there. You want to go on a date? <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to ask you to spend the money that I just gave you. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, that's right. That's how I got the money. Tell me to go to the Man, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. Just forget any of that happened. Okay, well, um, have, have a good... I think I just heard someone get shot outside. <laughs> yeah. Have a good day. Maybe I'll see you around. All right, see you around, miss. Bye. <laughs> okay. You want to go on a date? <laughs> um, I guess I'll go find the rest of them now. Okay, so you've been trying to track Desmond and yes. Edison. Uh, make an intelligence investigation check. Oh, Ten. Uh, you find them with uh, with some searching. It's not too hard to find people in this town because it's a really small town. Um, are you trailing behind them? Or are you like making yourself known? I catch up to them. Like, hey guys! Oh, hello. How's it going there? It's going well. What uh, where are you guys heading? On a date. Yeah, we're kind of on a date, so. so. On a date. You 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 realize we're here to find people. Like and I'm in the middle of doing that. Yeah. I am a multitasker, what? as are most entrepreneurs. What do you mean I'm you're doing that? If you're going on a date, how can you be going on a date and doing your job at the same time? Multitasking. Are you some sort of? Where, where are you guys heading? We're going to Patrick's house, the person's Oh, Patrick's good, I'll join. We'll be a triple date. I'll buy. I'm not. Really, it's okay. No, please don't. Can I slide her a note? I'll take the note. Okay. What is it? Dexterity stealth check. I don't want Desmond to see it. Dexterity stealth. Ooh, 11. Okay, you're not sure if you saw it or not. Okay, I opened the note. What does it say? It says GitHub G I T H A L. <laughs> it says be really weary of Desmond. He is. Uh, he wasn't telling the truth about. When something. did you write this? Uh, I wrote it down uh, earlier. On the way tracking. Yeah. Uh, okay. Bad feeling. He wants her, but he's lying about something. That some of my bitch is lying about uh, something. Okay, I like kind of nod to you, like as in like I read your note, and I'm like, oh, I told Cactus Kid if I'm not home by um, sunset to, to look for me, but I'm gonna be over at Patrick's house. It's kind of a odd thing to say, to him. Well, to be honest, we really don't know each other, so. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. It's, okay. it's a first date. Okay. So. Yeah, it's a first enough. date. Yes, like I said, I'm multitasking. Are you not listening? Are we on a date now? No, <laughs> not with you. Really? It's, it's, so you're saying I'm not pretty? It's fine, Blazer. If you want, uh, we get plenty of customers. I could see if I could find someone for you. Uh, I, I think I'm fine. Uh, I do have one more question for you, real quick. Sure. As always, uh, are there uh, that that person that uh, uh, that gentleman that bought some? That, the one that died. Do you remember what he bought? Yeah, um, but it's in my records. Um, I know I don't remember offhand, but I do know it's it's kept up with my records. Do you think it was a weapon of some sort? Yeah, that's what most people buy. Hmm. Okay, from the weapon scene. Like. <laughs> well, he was selling med kits. Could have been a med kit. Nah, he he bought a weapon. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go try to figure some more stuff out. Uh, Sunsets in about a couple hours, so we'll see you by the we'll see the town square, right? All right, we'll be back by then. All right, I'm a trailer one. 
Okay. We're gonna trail. I'm like trust- any concerned pair. We're just like, okay, I'm gonna yeah, trust you. Are, you. you are the worst helicopter <laughs> pair right now. <laughs> I know. Uh, make a dexterity stealth check to see how well you. Uh, <laughs> You're like, I don't trust 11. that pretty boy. Okay. Okay, do I need to roll? Wisdom perception, if you want to see if you Wisdom notice Wisdom perception. Yeah, yeah. Swole, 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 I swole, gain swole. edge on perception. And you gain edge on And I gain edge. Oh, well, no, oh, you're, yeah, sorry, you're in the city, yeah. Okay. So, 4 plus 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I have 11. And what'd you have? 11. Okay, so she does notice you. After, like, 10 minutes. I'm just like... <laughs> I'm like really pissed off, but at the same time, I'm like, you went fine. Fine. What? You went fine. So, I'm just gonna keep on walking. Alright, you arrive at Patrick's. Um, alright, so... Hey, can I help you guys out? Hey, uh, is he, uh, is he Patrick, expecting visitors? Is he a, what does Patrick do? Just out of curiosity. Or is that something that she's gotta ask? Well, you're not there. I know, but I'm saying, hey, okay, you haven't said that yet. Okay. Hi, uh, I wasn't expecting a uh, guest. Uh, what can I help you out with? Hey, um, I'm actually new in town. I, um, you know, kind of work on crafting things. Yeah. And I saw that you recently bought um, a pitchfork. Uh, um, the fork shop. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm really trying to get in a lot of practice, so I was wondering if I could give you like a free upgrade um, um, just to practice with it. No, no, I appreciate that, but see, I, I love collecting antiques and rare artifacts, and the fork shop went down. You know, it's been, it's kind of been a bit of an antique itself, so I don't want any ah. upgrades done to it, because it's going to ruin the, the value of what it once had. Well, we could give you free cleaning. I think it's already in good shape. I mean, it's already good. All right. Um, well, it's worth a try. Do you mind if I just, like, get a look at it? I, I didn't get to actually see what it looked like, and I'm oh, really excited. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got all kinds of rare items if you want to see them. I mean, most people yes. don't even care. But... I would love to see all your weapons. All right, cool, cool. And he opens up, and he's like, oh, and Desmond, it's nice to see you, too. Yes. And he's like, you know, because he sold it to him. Uh, as you walk in, you see that he has a glass case, like a shadow box, full of uh, different uh, items that he he's procured. Uh, he also has a, a glass case there, some different items, and... He starts talking to you about these different things, but he, he first shows you the fork shop okay. uh, that's on the wall. Does it look like used or tar- like can I investigate and see if there's like any blood or mm-hmm. anything on it? Um, yeah, make an intelligence investigation check. <clears throat> intelligence investigation, okay. Rolling off of a flat five. Okay. Mm. So, ten, okay, fifteen. You see some uh, blood stains on it. Yeah, it's super interesting, right? Yeah. It looks cool. Um, so, like, you know, what do you usually do when you buy your weapons? Do you just, like, put it on the wall immediately, or, like, what do you usually Well, it do? depends on the condition of it. Some yeah. things have to be refurbished, of course. Other things, you know. Now, with this one, I just bought it and put it, you know, put it right up. It's already in good condition. I can see. It's yeah. in great condition. Um, do I notice anything suspicious about his other weapons? Like, um... Nothing that nothing that throws you off now. Okay. Um, and I'm like, can I get like some measurements of a pitchfork? Oh, why well, sure. Here, this could help. And he okay. hands you a tool to measure it. So I measure like the width from like each of like the different spikes to mm-hmm. like see like how wide the scratch marks would be, and I, I write that down. Okay. So I'm like, oh, well, this is everything I needed. And like I said, if you ever wanted me to um, clean it or upgrade it for free, I, I can do that now that I'm in All right, I appreciate it. All righty. Um, well, it's good to meet you, Patrick. I hope to see you again soon. Nice to meet you, too. Okay. All right, you guys enjoy the rest of your evening, okay? Be safe. He will be, trust me. I keep in mind that he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I have a feeling. Yeah, I'll be safe. Okay. Um, so then you leave? Yeah. Okay, as you walk out, Desmond looks over at you and he's like, don't be too alarmed, but there's something weird that I happen to notice about Patrick. What? That fork shop that he has did not have blood on it when I sold it to him. Oh, all right. Yeah, I, I noticed the blood stains on it. Okay, I figured you would. Why did the blood come out there from the victim? <laughs> <laughs> 
I can't see my forehead. I don't, oh, look. I don't sell bloody weapons. I wouldn't assume so. You seem like a pristine businessman. Yeah. You can, you can tell by my teeth. Yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Those aren't pristine. Those are listerine. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, do you want to uh, just like walk back to town and maybe like get something to drink over at the Black Lung Distillery before we meet up with my group? Yeah, sure. Um, that's fine. Though I will say... Uh, there is where you have kind of the, the harshest things, if you're down for that. But, you know, Stella and Sebastian have some of the more variety, and sort of um, more rich taste. Oh, over at their... Don't they own the Sunken Spirits? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd be down for that. I think uh, I should touch base with them anyways. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, would you mind getting uh, the drinks and meeting me back at my place? So we don't have to worry about... Um, yeah, well, actually, if you don't mind while you're over there, can you look up the records to see what that one guy bought? Yeah, I can do that, of course. All right, I'll, All right. I'll get the drinks and I'll meet up with you. Cool, and uh, I'm willing to, uh, I'll, I'll let you choose, uh, and it'll be a surprise for me. For our first date, yeah. I like that. Well, uh -huh. I will see you there. I'll see you there. And then, while I'm at the Sunken Spirits, I kind of wait for a second for you to catch up. Right. So it says, ooh, it's, uh, it's great to have you back, Edison. Uh, do you have any news about what's been going on? Um, I don't want to give away too much. Uh, you know, loose lips sink ships, and we're kind of in gotcha. a place right now. Well, but I no do kind of, like, here. whisper into your ear, and I catch you up on everything that I found out about the blood stains on the pitchfork, and how he has all these different weapons, and how it didn't have blood until it was given to him. But I only want you to know that so far. Well, do you trust him? Because I don't right now. Well, of course I do. I'm on a date with this man right now. <laughs> what do you mean right now? He ain't here no more. He's at his place. I'm getting okay, drinks good. and I'm going to go meet him there. You're what? You're not my dad. <laughs> no, you are not. First off, we need to get this shit figured out. Also, it's getting close to nighttime. I do not want any I of us. I hate helicopter parents. First, he's a Karen. Second, a helicopter parent. It's Such third a Karen off, move. I'm going to break my boot off in somebody's ass for my for my team. <laughs> that, that's, Just like my mom. That's not very. That's not very country trails of you, sir. <laughs> Who the fuck Thank asked you, you cowboy? <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Um, so I'm gonna go get some drinks and then meet back up with. Um, Desmond, and then hopefully we can find out more information. Can you say about... so we can at least go over all the information we have, so we don't have to figure stuff out? Ugh, okay, fine, but be quick. Uh, God, Johnny Walker, young lady, because <laughs> <laughs> oh I know he's gosh. listening. Yes, he's always Johnny listening. Johnny Walker, always listening. Johnny Walker, jo yeah, Johnny's man. always listening. Yeah. <laughs> he gets knocked down, but he gets up again. That's Johnny Walker's spirit. <laughs> So, wait a second. So, the gentleman Patrick, how long did he buy that? I only want it. We're in a public place. I didn't want everybody. I don't want the information to no, be leaked. Oh, I'm whispering that to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> My bad. Okay. He's like right up your ear. So, that Patrick. <laughs> so Patrick fell. Ow! This is my whispering voice. Why is suspicious, <laughs> isn't he? Look at that. Could we ask him that? That was about. He bought that about a week ago, right? Yeah, a week ago. Uh, it's 6 p.m. on Thursday, exactly a week ago. And we're at the are the two the husband and wife there. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple there's a couple other people. Can I have, have one of them come over to me? I yelled for the husband to come over. Yes. What is it? Why do you trust the husband more than the wife? Because that was the first one that came to my mind. Right. Do you want her to come over too? Was she the one that I punched? No. <laughs> no, she's okay. the Thank one who God. hired us. Okay. Hey, when did those uh, murders start happening? Yes, this is a great question. They started happening about a month ago. I don't... I think... When did the gentleman... When did he die? Uh, that would have been... That was a second... That was a week ago. A week, a week ago? ago, exactly? About a week ago, yeah. And who was those gentleman's names again? His name was Jason Horn. Jason, Jason Horn. murdered his, uh, about a week was ago. Was he, uh... Was he married by any chance? Fortunately not. His his wife uh, was killed by some cactus men. <laughs> Tragic. I just cactus boy. I knew it. There's some again. bitches. Um. Uh, okay. What? Do you know anything about you this? You gotta watch um, those cactus people. They get you. That's a Patrick guy. Do you know how long he's been in town? 
Uh, Patrick, he's he's been a, a regular uh, here for a while. Well, how long has like, he been? Uh, how long has he? When did he move here? He's been here longer than we have. Huh. What about that uh, that Desmond fellow? Desmond, he he moved in fairly recently, about a month ago, I think. And that store that he he has, did he buy that store, make it himself? Well, we we well, from what we've heard, he bought it from someone else. And that yeah. person just long gone. Hmm. We hadn't had a chance to really speak to him or talk to him. I mean, we've seen him in passing, and then he was just gone. Have a good feeling about that Desmond person still. That's because his teeth are too beautiful. Everybody's so judgmental. Listen here, sweetheart. He <laughs> lied to me about something. The sweetheart. real reason he moved. The real reason he moved here is hiding from us. Hmm. Right. All right. So I'll let you, uh, Phil and Cactus Kid and Arabella, about this stuff. But I have a date to get back to. No, you do not. Wait. Do we know where? Do we know? Does Desmond live? Um, I'm going back to Desmond's shop. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I thought you were going back to like his house or something. No, I'm yeah. going to his uh, shop. Okay. Which might still be his house. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's what I was thinking. Maybe he lived on top of it. <laughs> so like there's a building, like there's a like a, a second I floor. I just live yeah. on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, anyway, <laughs> so you go to um, you go you head back to Desmond. Yeah, I grab some. And alcohol, the rest of you are back. in the sunken mm-hmm. spirits. Uh, I I guess. So. Okay. So as you head back, um, Stella says. It, honestly, sweetie, you can have it on the house. It's fine. Thank you guys you. are doing a, us a big favor for this. Of course. So. I, I am on the job, by the way. I have so many uh, notes. I, you will be very satisfied <laughs> with my business. Uh, be sure to rate me five stars. Sure, sure. Um, Just uh, you and Desmond try not to have too much fun. She gives oh. you a wink. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, so then you head off to Desmond's, uh, and you see a store, and... It, Blazer is correct. He does have his. He lives up in like a up, uh, an upper part of the. Um, whenever you walk in, uh, most of the lights, like the lights are off, but he has candles burning. Um, and he has he has a dinner prepared that looks very nice. Mm. This is somewhat of a safety hazard because of all the uh, equipment. And the However, this is romantic. And a lot of water. And a lot of water. That's a good one. Well, it's nice that you're here. Uh, what did you pick out for us on this lovely evening? Uh, honestly, I wasn't paying too too close of attention, but I trust that it was something classy. Um, I, I looked to see what I picked. <laughs> well, it uh, it's Magento. <laughs> well, it's magenta, which is my favorite color. Ah, so. magenta. That's your favorite color? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool, cool. Well, I picked that on purpose then. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know me well already. Uh, <laughs> by the way, I followed followed her. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, next like, like, stealth check was the perception. Well, wait. At this point, we would have. I think we would have seen you unless you wanted to do like keep interviewing people. I thought you were gonna write, tell them what's going on. Nope. You guys make a wisdom perception check oh as well to see if you can tell what Zach's doing or what Blazer's doing. Perception. Where's perception? Oh, there it is, and I have edge on that. Oh, I got I got one better. I got items. Uh, okay, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I have 11. Guess what, 11. <laughs> so, you, so you can tell, you see him outside the window. Like, you see, you see just, like, a shadow I with his hat. Six. Yeah, she sees the hat. In the little, like, candy stick. <laughs> I got 16. Same. 16? So, yeah, Jesus. you guys, you guys all know what he's doing. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Can one of them come up to me? Like, well, well, shit, what are you doing out in the middle of the shh, street? She's going to see you. Shut the, I'm not in the middle of the street. I'm thinking I already can see them. <laughs> well, well, you'll see us, yeah. Yeah, I just, like, see you guys out there arguing, and I'm like, like, I imagine that like, he's facing towards me, and I'm facing towards the window, and I can see you all, like, outside. And he's, like, pouring the drinks, and he's like, love the evening, isn't it? And you're like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> something Is great. something the matter? Is there, some, is there something outside? I, I guess, push Cactus um, to get away from the window. You know, this what new group of people that I'm working up. with, it just feels like they're already family. You know? That, that's awesome. Your eyes, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's yeah. goddamn family. It's been a long time since I've Cactus. really felt close, Cactus. like, in a family Cactus. sense with people. Wasn't telling the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Of I mean, I, I imagine that it's hard since you moved no. here. No! Alright, like, that's what we're what, doing! Maybe no, that's not what we're doing! You're not doing that! 
We are staying here. A big We're reason watching. why I moved was because I, I didn't have family. Mr. Master before. Dungeon Person, I'd like to break into a lower level while I'm busy. I want to tackle him so he doesn't do that. I am really big. Okay. And also okay. spiky. Okay. Strength athletics, strength athletics. This will be fun for you. Oh, I've got an edge on this, too. What's your strength? Yeah, so do I, bitch. What's your strength? <laughs> Five. That's your total? No. Nine. It's my total. I'm going to spend my discipline. Oh, you fucker. You get two. What, what, did you roll high enough? Do I have to re-roll the edge, too? Yeah. Yes, I did. Alright, I'm so using one of my discipline. That's ten. Oh my gosh. I'm going in this door. What, what's oh, Arab doing? Now? Yes, crit. Uh, shaking my head. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> you, as you shake your head, you just happen to glance at the base place, and you see him in the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He's, he's next like, door. <laughs> I imagine that he has like a cracker to eat. Hey, he's like, you and it's hard to see him because now the suns are going down, so it's like dark there, and you just kind of see a shadow of himself. <laughs> he blows you a kiss. So you get down? Uh, you beat me. Okay. Yeah, so 13. you tackle cactus kid down on the ground. We are not breaking into this fucking house. I mean, look, it's unguarded. He could possibly be bad according to you. Why are you just standing outside? This is what we got. Why are you even outside anyway? This is her thing, not yours. Because she's not one to listen. <laughs> I was just like my little have, brother fighting. I have over two modes. Chill and no chill. Which one do you want right now? Do we really have to be here? I, I don't No, we don't. He's being creepy as shit. I don't feel... <laughs> Fuck, Arabelle, I didn't even know you were here. You're good at hiding. <laughs> oh, my God. She's, she's standing in the damn street where you were. <laughs> we weren't in the middle of the street. We were next to the doors. I don't feel nice uh, watching them. <laughs> Can we please go somewhere else? Look, you two go wherever you want. I'm trying to. You got me on the ground. Hey, That's because I... you wanted to break in, fucker. You said go where I want to. You say don't go where I want to. What do you want from me? Here's what you're going to do. You're not going to break in. Slap. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to break in. Yes. <laughs> I yes. have something to say. All right. Billy told me that um, that Banshee thing lives out in the moors. So you want to go check that out and leave her here to do her date? Um, yeah, well, hmm. What time of night does that thing come out? Does that thing come out at night during the daytime? I'm not sure. You I make an intelligence lore check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have literally probably one of the most unintelligent parties I think you've ever rolled with Vincent. Like, overall. Uh, sure. seven. <laughs> um... Well, you think, well, since it's a ghost, it kind of makes sense if it came out at night, but you're not sure. Okay. Yeah, it it probably comes out at night, which I guess makes now the ideal time to find it, even though... All right, well, Chip, why didn't you say so? Let's go! <laughs> well, I couldn't say anything, but... I, you know. <laughs> it's okay. You've got to learn to be more assertive. I mean, you're you're the cleric after all, right? You believe in things. Believe in yourself, nobody else. Yourself? Uh, yourself, you dumbass. <laughs> don't be shouting. Here, I will punch you like I punch that lady. The only thing Golly. is, guys, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of scared. Like, I mean, I think it's a good idea to check out. I mean, it's a ghost. What's it gonna do? Who are we gonna call? Be spooky? Don't <laughs> punch it. We have explosives and medical kits. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just bet you where a bastard's not gonna know I hit it. I got a hammer now. Oh. We fought cactus people. We'll be fine. <laughs> Person. They're really mean. <laughs> they killed my family. They're really not that mean. I'm if you so know what you're sorry. Doing. It's okay. I blew some up. I feel better now. Excuse me. What? Okay. Well. Um, yeah. I. I guess it's best if we. If we go try to investigate. You know. All right. You coming with us, Mr. Creeper? No. All right, well, you stay here and just keep watching through the window like, you know, perfectly normal person. I mean, no, as she probably... sees us, like, 
We could Shoot. probably use your help, your abilities. Listen, give me, give me five minutes. Oh, I'm, oh God. All I gotta say out of game is, but can it possess people? Yeah, that's actually a good call to do. Can they possess? Intelligence lore check. Fuck. No, that's a callback to the My Hero game where you were useless and ran away. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> but can it possess people? Guys, uh, we really yeah. need to leave. <laughs> Wisdom <Wasting> perception? <laughs> no, no, intelligence lore. Like, like everything. Maybe that was funny. <laughs> I can never hear what it was. Eight. Um, you you believe that some ghosts can possess people, but that's that would be a All very powerful ghost. Gotcha. <laughs> Look, give me five minutes. Wait here. Don't leave just yet. We're leaving. I'm gonna. Well, okay. <laughs> what the hell else are you gonna do? Get Edison. <laughs> Edison is on a date. You're Edison. not getting. What are you gonna do? Climb up the building, knock on the door, and tell him we're leaving? <laughs> or an idea. Oh my god. You told me but not no. to break in, and you want to climb this man's building to knock on his window. First off, you want to break into where he might kill you. Might. That's a big. But that would be a dead giveaway if he's the suspect, which he's not. We're going to go ghost hunting. Quit being a little creep. Look, <laughs> go there. I'll meet you there in five minutes. If I ain't you there, don't know how to get out of a cardboard box. You showed up with no shoes. I got shoes on now. Yeah. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Sometimes God. you can't look. So get your clanky ass over here. We're going to go hunt ghosts. Fuck you. I'll be there in five minutes. <laughs> oh my God. We. We are fine, fine, but I, but I'm telling Edison that you're being creepy and shifty as hell right now. I like you don't even have to tell. I'm just like looking out there like. You see them arguing. <laughs> <laughs> just like the dude's I see just Arabella like, trying to help. Me, like, Fuck. and then they're like. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck you, get the fuck out. Yeah, and you're just like, instead of sipping the wine, you're just like trying to drink it as fast as possible. I'm not drunk enough for this. <laughs> um. So, <laughs> so they fuck off. Are you leaving yes. without Blazer? Okay. Yes. So you guys go head to the moors together. <laughs> We're gonna catch up in like five minutes. Where? Yes. Here's why. Oh. I can't. Oh I wait. I wait. What the hell are you gonna do? What? I, what can I, happen I, in two minutes? They walk two minutes down the road. No, no, with her. They talk for two minutes. Yeah, I pound on the door. I wasn't done with my conversation, but... Oh, it seems fuck, that we fuck. um have a visitor. Would you like for me to um, tell him to leave? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> I already know who's at the <laughs> door, so I'm like, yes. He opens up the, the door and he says, hey, can I help you? I need Edison. We had a big, big breakthrough, but we need her because she has all the notes. She's sort of busy at the moment. Edison, we need you. We're getting paid for this, remember? Hey, hey, hey listen. It's okay. No, it's I'm not. I'm sure it seems like you have a well-equipped team. Not I, really. You know, me and Edison helped with your weapons. You have med kits. I think you'll be fine. No, we need her. <laughs> Eddie, <laughs> she seriously needs some help. Close the door. <laughs> Listen, Can I break down the door and carry her out? No. no, no well, currently, you're at you're at the entry point. Like, you're not inside yet. All right, walk in and go kidnap her. What? No, 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 him? no, no, I mean, he's taking up the frame of the door, so you have to push him to the side. I'll push him to the side. Uh, so, make a strength athletics check. All right. Oh my god. Let's see oh my god, it's <laughs> right. Uh, ten. Yeah, as you go to push him aside, he grabs your wrist. He huh. says, listen, don't want to do this. Just, and he pushes you back a bit. Not, not like forcefully, but just kind of pushes you back and says, don't touch me. Just turn around and leave. We can talk in the morning, okay? I don't trust you. I don't trust anyone in this godforsaken <laughs> town. Here's how, how long have you known that is? I don't care how long we've known people. I don't trust shit on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't trust that either. <laughs> Listen, she's part of our team. We need to go. How long have you had this team? Long enough. What if she wants to be part of my team? Then she's going to have to fork over all the notes that we have. Okay, I write a copy. As it, like he's at the door, I write a copy of all the notes, and I'm like, okay, here, give, give this to him. And okay, like, buddy, I think it. there's uh, things more valuable in life than notes, so I think that she can make you without that. But you got my notes. But of course, so but of course, you know we, you know I think that she's uh, she's capable of having her own opinions, and I think that if she wants to go with you guys or stay here with me, then that should be her choice. Your team needs you, Edison. Dad, chill. Dad. One night. <laughs> I ain't your papa, alright? You're acting like it. Jeez. 
fine. But don't come crying to me if he hurts you. In <laughs> okay, fact, come home. Ha- in fact, <laughs> I'll be on my curfew, Dad. How about you come to it? Where we where do we go again? You don't even remember. That's great. Good job. <laughs> we're we're going spin. to the moors. No, the no, moors. no, no, no. Don't, don't give it away. Let him figure it out. Let him go oh. to the mortuary. <laughs> well, you you guys know, are, right where all the banshees are. You want to the moors? Yes. That's why we need her. Why? Do you know something about the moors? Well, just that it's filled with a horrendous banshee and some evil spirits. Yeah, the other two are already on a head start. You want to give us a oh. hand? No, go ahead. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> yes. Oh, and then, can I give him, like, some, uh, like, roller skates to go really fast? Roller skates? <laughs> it's not gonna work too well in the desert. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Unless these are moon skates. Uh, do you have anything to help him get there faster? I could just run. Please <laughs> <laughs> run! Go! Fine. Run far away from me and my date! <laughs> But if you hear some howling, you better come running. Okay, I will come a running, Dad. She ain't gonna be coming. Don't call me Papa. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a uh, have safe travels, okay, Blazer. I'll see you in the I morning. I just take off. Okay, you should <laughs> start running. <laughs> <laughs> you're just you're like Napoleon Dynamite. You're like okay. <laughs> right? you, like you just stop the like conversation. Like a part bar to run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you catch up with Cactus Kid and Arabella. I wanted to shoot that fucker so bad. I don't trust him. So how weird did you make it? Weird enough, but I did Well, get... great. You just ruined her date. <laughs> Good. Maybe she'll come help us like she's supposed to. We're a team. Have you seen that guy's teeth? She's not going anywhere tonight. I bet he's got a small dick. All right, what are we doing? What's the plan? <sighs> Aren't you going to tell them about the moors? No, that's what they're heading. Yes. Yes, and they're up to them. Yes, yes, you're now in route to oh Mars too. Yes. Oh my God, I have zero intelligence and literally smarter than you right now. <laughs> you need to tell them about the Moors. Don't, they already know about it though. No, no, they don't. They don't know that. They it's don't. You don't know that we don't know. Great, we're almost at the Moors. Now we're at the Moors. You literally told us nothing. So where are we looking for the Banshee? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because they were heading towards Moor, they already know what's at the Moors. The we don't know that there's evil spirits everywhere. Oh, All we know but, is that there is no, one banshee. You, you have wasted the opportunity to uh, be helpful wait, in this conversation. No, that's because I didn't know. Desert. That's why. I was double checking. Uh, so as we're, as I caught up to him, I was like, look, we know about the ban- you guys know about the banshees? At the Moors? Yes, no. One banshee. We the know, banshee. We know, we know about... I mean, the whole reason we're going there is because of the banshee. Well, what to about, go fight the singular banshee. Well, what, <laughs> well, what about the evil spirits? Evil spirits? Evil spirits. Uh, That's I mean, a no. I mean, I'd assume the banshee is the evil spirit. No, they're two different things, evidently. Mm. By the way, are you all are you all healed up still from earlier? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Oh, boy. All right, let's get there. Okay. And you, you want to say something to uh, Desmond? Yes, um, I, I asked him. I wanted to ask him if he uh, saw what other um, purchases uh, Jason made before he died, because I think we told him to look into that. Oh yeah, um, about that. Like, are you sure you want to to talk shop, or do you want to? We're multitasking. Fair, yeah, fair enough. Okay, let me look up. So Jason here. Let's see if I can find his records. So, okay, so this is interesting. Jason bought a dagger from me. A dagger? Mm Mm-hmm. Huh. Kind of a wimpy outfit. Or not outfit, uh, weapon. (laughs) He probably yeah, did have be hard to wear. Outfit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he probably did. Um, and he also bought a revolver from me. Oh, well, that's less wimpy. Hmm, that's interesting. I think Patrick is probably the most suspicious, don't you think? He did seem pretty suspicious, especially with the blood on his weapon. So it's kind of like unfortunate that you moved here and then like all these like murders started happening. That's like honestly, yeah, it's crazy. it's really gotten hands on my case, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it kind of seemed like kind of a butt wad. I mean, I didn't talk to him, but you know, a butt wad. Butt wad. We're not here. <laughs> <laughs> a butt wad. Um. So. 
tell me about your shop. Like, I mean, it seems like pretty cool. I mean, I have one back in the city and it's like obviously smaller, but it's really well equipped. So like, do you come from money or anything? Uh, you know, I, I had some, some wealth and it definitely helped because I bought this, this shop out. So especially compared to a lot of people here, um, I have a lot of money and so I've noticed that some people uh, haven't taken a liking to that. Hmm. Uh, what class is he? Like, what race is he? Uh, he, I mean, he looks like a human. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And... I don't like this. Uh, where, where did you say you're from? Uh, I'm from up north, the northern region. He's so lying. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. Do you, did you want to ask me any questions? Uh, you know, this is a, a double, it's, it's a date, both like, you know, work and then like a date. So. Yeah, yeah, so, um, what, what, um, what got you into your craft? <sighs> well, where I'm from, uh, you know, elves, we're not, uh, you know, too particularly uh, keen on technology and all that stuff. But, um, you know, uh, you know, sometimes the family doesn't understand it, but, but my grandma was like, you know, really intelligent and um, she was actually friends uh, with an inventor. So. Um, just kind of being around them, it really inspired me to uh, make a lot of stuff. And, you gotcha. know, I just love living in the city. It was really cool to like move there. And ever since, I've uh, gotten really inspired by meeting other crafters such as yourself. Yeah, your your grandma sounds like a fascinating and awesome woman. Is she still with us today, or? Unfortunately, she's not. But I I still feel her inspiration. Yeah. Well. I'm sure that she's still, you know, with you in spirit, and it's awesome that she's inspired you in that way. Yeah, she's actually the one uh, who named me Edison. Mm. It's from so another it's a great world. Name. Yeah, it's like one of the best inventors from what I've heard. So oh, from like an ancient text or something. Yes. That's fascinating. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of ancient texts. I actually have a collection. Oh, you yeah, sound like a scholar. Did you? Yeah, I do have a background in that, and uh, it's not even something I sell, it's from my personal uh, collection. So if you look over here, and he points out to his, his cases, he has like bookcases full of different texts, and he's like, a lot of these are very rare indeed, and they are worth quite a bit of money. Hmm. You won't find many books like this around here. I imagine not. I, I really don't see a lot of books everywhere. It's kind of old school, but I like it. Yeah, and between you and me, I don't think many people here could read. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Some of these people seem kind of... <laughs> yeah. It's not every day someone uh, very intelligent and beautiful comes walking into my store, too. She ain't that smart. I, I take my, my small little locks and I'm like... <laughs> 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 um, yeah, we can All we right. cut away. Yeah, so we do a cutaway. You guys are going into the moor. Um, as you get deeper into the moor, you start sink, you start feeling your feet sink into the ground a bit. Not not like quicksand, but just where it's kind of mushy, you know, like... Kind of like mud. Yeah, like mud. Um, you see, like, stenches of fumes just going up in some of the areas and starting to smell really bad. I think I got my mask. Yeah, especially for you, because it is, uh... Now, the mask is going to be an extra 20 gold. But you probably <laughs> want a mask, because you have a heightened sense of smell. Yes. <laughs> I just equip my base plate. Okay. Well, I don't you, have you, see, you, see, you, see, you see like a plate roll over and it's got like the like picture of a gas mask on it. And then like the image on the face just does the same thing. Like a biohazard sign pretty much. You start yeah. hearing some noises. Uh. Guys, I know it was my idea to come here, but I don't like this at all. <laughs> Why'd you say we should go? Well, hell, I think that lady's crying now. <laughs> Come out here, little thug bitch. I don't even have to think <laughs> A ghost appears before you. Well, looky there. <laughs> Either I'm hallucinating or I see a holy spirit. Are you John Glocker? 
I just start crossing myself. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, god, oh, god. <laughs> oh Johnny, pray for you. I'll just have to get this thing away from me. <laughs> turns around and starts floating. Do you choose to follow it or go yes. a different direction? That's Wait. Follow. Come back here. It keeps floating away. Can any of us talk? Alright, let's not go that it? way. I say we go that way. I say you're a damn idiot. I say you're a damn idiot. <laughs> I am us? an idiot, but I know when I'm walking into a trap. I don't think we're walking into a trap. You think ghosts are trustworthy. You've never seen one in your damn life, have you? More trustworthy than that daggum Denison or whatever the fuck his name is. Denison! <laughs> I don't even have words for you right now. One of them be Holy Spirit, because I think that's what that was. I think that was your Johnny Walker friend. That was definitely not Johnny. Oh, you're right. You're right, you're right. You it was Johnny Tito's. Was you, you know Johnny when you see him. He strides <laughs> all through and he uploads your life. Praise be unto him. Alright, so you follow the spirit. Yes. And uh, I need you guys to make a wisdom perception check for me. Johnny? <laughs> I got 10. 11. 12. Okay. Um, Blazer, you feel your feet get stuck in the marsh. Hi, golly. Uh, you guys feel stickiness on your feet, but you're still able to move. Does it take like extra time to get? Yeah, you're currently stuck, and then the ghost turns around, and it just evaporates and vanishes it. Oh, and then you start hearing in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a unicorn? <laughs> well, look at what you did. Oh my gosh. I have half a mind to leave your ass. Now grab out my cactus all around arm. around you. Huh? Start hearing like whispers all around you. Now grab out my cactus arm and let's lift you out. You gotta lose. Not my boots. <laughs> I want to keep my boots. Uh, make a strength athletics check. Do I need to do that to see if I keep my boots on? Just roll dice. <laughs> Shit. Uh, oh, that's a four. Fourteen. Okay, you lose one boot. <laughs> <laughs> now whenever I walk, it's squire. Squish. <laughs> bing, you want squash. me to get that for you? Yes. All right, as you pull them out, you see this female, this beautiful female. Is she in the, like, muck? Because I'm betting you're not going to take this boot. Kind of off in the distance, so, I mean, this is, a lot of this is monkey, you know? Oh, wait. Young lady over there. Uh, you want to announce your presence any louder there, Casanova? I can do it louder. Yes. You know what? As she says it, her voice echoes. <laughs> what yes, the fuck? Yes. Uh, who are you? Oh, my God. You don't have... Get my fucking boot. <laughs> Wait, can you I'll possess give you people? <laughs> <laughs> no, I go, who are you? <laughs> I'm the spirit of the moors. What's up, Olivia? Spirit of the moors? Yes. Okay. yes. That's okay. good to know. Uh, I got a question for you. Oh my god. Right. If I this may ask. Like a really good idea. <laughs> are right. you here with a sacrifice? Yeah, he's right there. Oh, Alright, so, so for starters, will you be my sacrifice? Well, I mean, that depends. Do you get to live through this situation? Is this a mutually assured kind of thing? At least one of you has to die. What's the reward? Death. <laughs> for the people that don't die. Pretty good right now. You get to live. I say we... <laughs> I say we In what kind of situation and for how long? I'm gonna need you to <laughs> silence yourself. <laughs> Well, all right. You see the guy with the really great teeth? That's it. And she changes her appearance, and her eyes turn jet black, and her hair goes sporadic. Well, look what you did, you so bitch! Oh yeah, because she you screams at you guys. Okay. <laughs> with that, uh, you guys need to make a um, the, uh, wisdom perception check. Wisdom perception? Yeah. Thirteen. Oh, I don't like that. Nine. Twelve. All right, it's twenty-one damage minus your wisdom perception roll. Oh Does that include defense or no? No. Fuck me. So let's see. It said 23, right? Yep. So 23 minus 13, 10. Ooh. Can we get the fuck out of so here? So <laughs> Sonic, just <gasps> just like your eardrums are beating and blasting, and it feels like your head's about to explode as you're trying to hold your, your hands over your ears. You said it's 23? Yep. Okay. 23? 
Minus your wisdom perception. I thought it was 20. Uh, 21. It's 21. Oh. oh. Okay, okay, good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't even lift, I don't even, like, I'm not even phase fire, because I, uh, with my armor and stuff like that, it's 23. But this doesn't count your armor. Uh, it or is that count your defense or armor? Because it goes straight to your eardrums. Oh, so regardless shit. of what your armor is, it's just giving them right to your ears. But he does have a costume on, so would it... I will say, yeah, I, okay, so I will, uh, I'll have you take half damage since your ears are covered. Alright, so... You're welcome. Yeah, so I'm not affected. Okay. Uh, I believe this is a good time for us to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I believe it's time to, uh, to kill the bitch, and, like, <laughs> my arm lifts up and it's grenade launcher, it's like, now it's, it's my time to make you scream. Boom! Okay. Um, it's a spirit. <laughs> well, let's see if explosives work. Because it's better I, than your idea I turn the area of up. asking her questions. I look at Arabella and be like, uh, should we get the fuck up out of here? The fuck up out of here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much longer I can make it. I f- I Do feel I need like to carry you? <laughs> Not if it'll slow us down. Alright, let's get going then. We're gonna run away from that fucker. <laughs> Including him because he wants to shoot a goddamn grenade. <laughs> you guys are running and just your feet are sticking and then he's just like, Nah, bitch. <laughs> like, yeah. seems, so seems, uh, seems like she doesn't scratch. That would be people. seventeen. <laughs> My ears are bleeding. <laughs> My ears are scratched. <laughs> seventeen. Okay. Um. Okay, she still uh, so it explodes and she just looks and smiles at you. All right, that didn't work. Let's uh, keep get the going, fuck up uh, out of here. Happy trails. Let's keep going. All right, as you guys are running from her, she's. Floating behind you. Oh, no. like, uh. pursuit. Okay, I need you guys to uh, make a strength athletics check to try to pull your feet out of the, the muck oh, and try God. to move through. Can you do anything as a priestess, like throw holy water? <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, I do have divinity and light. I, don't, I mean, I don't really know. Um, I mean, I, I have to do this first at least. Yeah. That's a good Six. Goal. Okay, what do you have total? 14. What do you have? Uh, 15. Okay, so you notice that Arabella was in the lead, but she's oh. getting stuck and slowed down in the muck oh. as you two keep running. I'm gonna just pick her up and just like yeah, put her both, on my shoulder and just go. We both pick her up, uh, one on each side of her and go, nope! And keep going. <laughs> <laughs> like, she's sitting on your shoulders? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wait, how tall are you? Uh, six feet plus? Alright, so yeah, I'm she, really does, tall. she does go, because I'm 6'1", yeah. so yeah, she is on the shoulders. Okay. All right, and you guys are getting out of there. You managed to escape the banshee because uh, she doesn't appear to be as fast as you guys are. So it's not happy street friends. Uh, maybe. Okay. Okay. You leave. I'm traumatized. The <laughs> I wonder fucking why. <laughs> You're just still doing that. <laughs> okay. So uh, back at the uh, date. Um, so how do you think your friends are faring? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Like I, I love him, but my dad. Line he's just so embarrassing. <laughs> just so we're clear, he's not like blood related dad, right? No, he just acts like my she dad. She just called me daddy. Crazy. I'd be concerned a little bit if he was. No, he doesn't have the elf ears. She just called me daddy. Yeah, his ears are still a little different. Yeah, they are, then. Uh, I forgot. I think we're gonna look at um. Also, what else? Patrick bought since he's like a loyal customer of yours, really. Yeah, well, a lot of his collection actually didn't come from me. I'm not sure where it came from, but the four chop definitely did. It's your best product, if we're being honest. Yeah, Yeah, it's a bit of an oddity, at least. Yeah. Um. So uh, now that we're also on a date, I was thinking um, maybe. You can um, change our deal so it's 50-50, since I think we work together so well. And what I'm including with that is that you can come and do business at the city with me sometimes. Well, um, 50-50, okay. That's a, uh, that's quite the, the proposition. It actually kind of leans into something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, which is, uh, interesting. I know this is very sudden, but uh, how would you feel if we were to get married? It would be great for our businesses, honestly. Uh, if we so do 50-50, uh, the city store can be the uh, flagship <laughs> store, and then we can have this one as an addition, and who knows, maybe add in even more businesses. I think we could make, I think we could make that work. Then. 
Handshake. Did you just get engaged? <laughs> well, we don't know, we don't know that. Very business like manner. <laughs> very business like. Manner. <laughs> I agree. Like, we wow, you are throwing it back to like 1700s here. <laughs> I think this calls for a uh, another bottle. All right. Uh, I I think I brought one. It's time for the oh, I have some. If you had some, then why did you make me go in the first place? Because I want to see what you pick out for me. Um, and I didn't have this, so it was very much a special. And treat. I picked your favorite color. You so. picked my favorite color. I didn't have that, so. Oh. This, All right, let's let's get this. This is called photo. booze clues. <laughs> booze, <laughs> booze. <laughs> booze clues. There you go. So he pours out a uh, another bottle, and you guys enjoy uh, some more of the drink. Um, while I'm enjoying it, I'm like, you know what? Do they have anything else? 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 Do they have Huh. I think they'll find us. Yeah, he is kind of crazy. He'll come As soon as he eventually. says, like, basically right after he says that, he hears. <laughs> <laughs> let us the fuck in! Let us the fuck in! Yeah, I thought so. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, you're, you have really high perception if you could tell that everybody's going to come back that soon. Yeah, I have a bit of a sixth sense. Huh. Yeah, I like the way he that. Not, not, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I go for the door and I'm like, hey guys! I'm, I'm still trying to be like, chill. <laughs> so, hey, Cactus Kid! Hey, yeah. And then I pull this aside I'm like, I saw you trying to save my date. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. Banshee was terrified. <laughs> Banshee? He actually let you go there? We told him that it was dangerous. Uh, let's put it this way. He almost lost his boot. She almost lost her life, and holy crap, that thing screams! Oh, okay, we'll Wait, come in. Come do we in. know that that was a banshee? I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the dumb one. No, was that a banshee? Because we would know what a banshee is, right? I would. Banshees scream. Everybody knows that. I don't. She well, has a supersonic scream. Well, how about this? Both of you make an intelligence lore check with Edge. Oh, I got this. Well, not, well, not easy. Four. I just oh. no, you don't. I think just those two. Uh, Oh. 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 She got two sixes. Uh. She knows her stuff. Yeah. Okay. Eight. Okay. So you are the only one that feels very confident that that was a banshee. It was obviously a banshee. I don't know what else it could have been. It could have been. My... It's my superstition knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> very superstition. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> it was a banshee, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Desmond uh, approaches you guys. Well, how'd it go? How does it look like? I'm covered in mud. She's about dead. He's... I don't know what the fuck is wrong with him outside the normal. Well, um... I'm still a cat. I know things I'm have been a, a little this. odd between us, uh, Blazer, but obviously you're important to Edison, and she's yes. important to me. Are you a vampire? No, I'm not a vampire. I rolled a question though, because I don't think I've asked him this question. Beautiful. So it's a wisdom perception check for to see if he's lying. I'm not even some perception. Can I roll with him? No, you can roll. Oh wait, well, if he rolls with me, do I get advantage or? No, if you if you roll together, then it. Well, I mean, you, you can roll together, but it's gonna count. Oh. oh. You oh. keep on going. <laughs> you keep on going, champ. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Twenty. Okay, and what was your result? Uh, 11. Okay, you can't tell the difference between shit and chocolate. Uh, <laughs> and me? I'm, I'm wise, I'm not stupid. You said that you had a 20? Yeah. Um, it seemed like he was lying. He is a vampire. I mean, it just seemed like he lied. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, we'll both have really long lifespans. So he asked that question, I rolled to really pay attention, I see that, I'm like, mm, I knew it. Uh, so, Blazer, I know things have been like, kind of odd between well, us. Well, you didn't answer his question. I did. I said I said no, because oh. that's what you guys were telling people. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, but it looks like you guys need to get cleaned up, washed up, things like that. Water is a very rare resource here, but you guys are more than welcome to take a 10-minute shower. Um, 10 minutes combined? Everyone takes one together? Or <laughs> I mean, if you'd like to save me some money, that would be appreciated, but... He's generous. Please, you don't have, you don't have to... Uh, you don't have to share. I don't want to know what's underneath that cactus. 
<laughs> okay, well then take your own separate ten minute shower. I am. Oh, my dad could be so annoying sometimes. <laughs> Bless you. Who goes, who goes first? Because it's the three of us. You can well, go we first. realize the cactus comes off, right? Yeah, I don't want to know what's underneath the cactus. Okay. Get on you. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of ruining my good news here. Good news. Please, please, Blazer, help yourself. Wait, wait, have good the first news. Shower. Oh, what? right, we, we should probably go ahead and disclose yeah. that. Okay, so oh, uh, we're having a business merger marriage. Business. Excuse me? Uh, yeah. Marriage. Yeah, we're, we're marriage? getting married. No. Uh, I mean, uh -uh. you can officiate the wedding, right, since you're uh, a priestess. We're going to make this pre- You have uh, a business? Yes. That's not what we need to focus on. I came on. here to help my business, but uh, yes, I am in the crafting you industry. You walked through the blasted hell-blazing desert to a ghost town to help your business? I will do anything for my business. Hey, this place has been booming recently. With Stella it's a and ghost town! And Currently, and that doesn't mean well. it'll stay With a living banshee! We'll take care of that. Yeah. With what? You guys are a HOA? Adventures. Well, we have tons it's of awesome HOA. tech and weapons. I'd like to see this banshee come at us with everything. She's resistant to explosions. She doesn't leave the moors as long as people don't go down there. It should be fine. Right, come check out the scenic dead place. We've got banshees that don't leave a certain area. They'll rip your well, ass to pieces. Mysterious murders in a fucking empty town. I don't like your ears, but okay, fair point. Cactus kid, cactus kid. You know, when more people move here because of our business, the spirits will just kind of like not vibe with it and probably leave. I mean, are you getting a stick in whatever toothpaste he's using too? Because damn, they're still, <laughs> they're still so shiny. How I, do I am the only one here with toothpaste, so there is advantages here. Oh, right. And if our business gets bigger, we will make sure that everybody gets toothpaste. I see no problem. And then a lot of people could use that. They could. They really could. It's truly a crime. Okay, you here. realize we're not here, going to be here forever. Right? Well, you don't have to, but I will with my business. Yeah, what's and my new husband. Their, their love could last forever. Don't you know what don't love is? my father. <laughs> love is bullshit. Well, right? <laughs> not to them. Their hearts are going to be intertwined. No, it's not intertwined. The only thing that's okay, going to be intertwined well, is Okay, get your shower in. I think you're just cranky. Um, right. The rest the of us fuck? will all celebrate. <laughs> Uh, you still have the alcohol, right? Yes, of course. And you guys are more than welcome to have your share. Uh, he sounds like he needs to take his fiber. I want to take this fucking gun out and shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, say that. Uh, no, I think that. Unless he can fucking read minds. Did you guys? <laughs> 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 the, uh, bring him, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Did you guys see anything interesting other than the, the banshee out there? Uh, that was about it. We saw the banshee and now we saw this place. Don't forget the spirit. As I say from the bathroom. Don't know what he's talking about. The spirit that told us that we followed. Pretty sure it was the banshee. Aren't you supposed to be taking a shower? I'm in the bathroom waiting. Alright. I, I gotta poop. I take a planner out Someone's of my, bring my fiber. pocket, <laughs> and, and I open my business planner, and I'm like, okay, so based off of my calendar, it looks like we could get married as soon as we finish this quest. Okay. So we have to find who murdered everybody, and then we could celebrate, and then uh, we could talk business after. If you admit that you killed them, we can make this go faster. What's he talking about? I don't we don't know. even know anymore. <sighs> Anyways, I think there's been major headway made ever since you guys arrived here, obviously. There's been some uh, suspicion on Haynes and some su suspicion on Patrick. Uh, seems like the prime suspects. I agree. Nope. Yeah. So which one are we going to go uh, wreck first? Well, we, well, we shouldn't be wrecking it. anyone without knowing for certain. Well, I mean, you seem like you have a pretty solid determination. Well, to me... You got the guy you literally sold the pitchfork to. Well, and his... actually I measured the pitchfork. I've been meaning to go to the morgue and measure like how far all the scratches are from one another because I saw um, the pitchfork. So I come out of the bathroom. And um, also, uh, the pitchfork that was sold to Patrick, um, it didn't have blood when uh, Desmond had it, but it had blood when we went to go see uh, Patrick over at his house. Right, and she has a ton of other weapons, and that's very suspicious. Alright, I'll walk back in. Alright. Welcome back, Blazer. 
All right, so, so who's about, next? Well, hold on. About I'm that. I'm going to go take a shower now. Okay. Okay. About that one, though. About what one? The the fella with the that bought that thing. How did you know what we were talking about? You were upstairs. You also gave me the notes. Oh. That was were you reading the notes in the shower? <laughs> that guy. <laughs> okay, uh, Patrick? Patrick. Yes, what about Patrick? Well, maybe he did kill one of them. He might have killed that other fella. We're tr- that's true. We're assuming that there's only one murder, but there could be more. Well, he, think of the M.O. We have four victims in total, over mm-hmm. a month. Three of them were female. Mm-hmm. Just last week was that male. Yeah, Jason. I don't think it would be the same person killing Oh, and it I don't think I got to tell you, Jason bought a dagger and a revolver before um, he was killed. Do we know where the bo- where the dagger and the revolver are? I don't know. I was thinking we could go see his family eventually. He doesn't have a family. Does he not have a family? I asked uh, the, do, you, do you know if Jason has well, a family? Well, I asked at the bar, and you said that, they, that he didn't. Yeah, I don't believe he has a family. At the bar, the... Uh, the What's the Did what's the faces? Did he have anybody that he was close to? Nah, a lot of people here, uh, a lot of their family members were murdered by the cactus men, spirits, in the desert. <laughs> we'll have to invest in some. We security. just hear from that. Them damn cactus kids. Well, unfortunately, he was a security. Mm. We'll have to make some like machines. Um, yeah, in fact, he was actually the one that was investigating things before you guys arrived. Really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You said that Patrick fella had other Which, weapons, right? Since no one joined Cactus Kid. He had some other items. Uh, he didn't seem to have too many weapons. He had a lot of relics and tomes and trinkets. Spiritual items, possibly? Just rare artifacts of different and, types. Um, he was also hired by SNS, right? Sebastian and whatever her name is. Um, not, not necessarily. Um, they, they didn't necessarily employ him, that was just his occupation, ever, oh. like, even when they came here, is what I heard. Hmm. Okay. He was uh, the local sheriff. Oh, and that's why there's not like a sheriff's building anymore? Well, there is one, just no one occupies it. Oh. Is that where we sleep? <laughs> and, uh, you have to talk to Stella and Sebastian about that. Golly, we gotta figure that out. Oh yeah, is there, uh, what's all in the bathroom, by the way? Are you gonna steal more? Mm-hmm. You're gonna take his toothpaste. <laughs> I'm like McCluff though, so yeah. Uh, the standard bathroom stuff. Like? Standard bog shit. <laughs> For somebody that wants to add a couple more notes in their inventory, give some examples. Mm-hmm. You tell me what you're wanting. Well, uh, since nobody's there to see, it's like uh, the back, like a back hatch opens up and uh, Quint actually steps out of the cactus suit. There's uh, like three bottles of medicine. Like with some pills. All right, I'm going to take those. Uh, there is toothpaste, toothbrush. Yes. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, the okay. klepto. Pills, toothpaste. Uh, shower curtain, shower, toilet. All right. And uh, uh, just take the toilet out of the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, like my and, and the toilet scrubber. Uh, shouldn't you leave some for? Uh, I'm going to take the uh, thing that causes the toilet to flush. What if she needs to use the bathroom? This is my house now. It's not your house yet. Gosh yet. darn it, kid. Uh, I'm going to take, uh, is there like one of those things that prevents hair from clogging the drains? Drano? No, like the hair. The little, like, no. can't thing. Oh. It. Dang it. Okay, then I'm going to take the little, like, stopper thing for the, uh, for the shower floor itself. Okay. Uh, a non-stick floor mat if he has one. Okay. And then I'm going to jump in the shower, which uh, he's like five two and like just a blonde haired kid with like this sleeve tattoo of a dragon breathing fire. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. And he's like skinny too, with a robotic foot. All right. Well, as you're having fun with that, uh, we're gonna take a small bathroom break. I have to use the bathroom real quick. All right. uh, if anyone in the chat has any questions, feel free to ask them. Yep. Yeah, uh, if you guys have any further actions you'd like to do, uh, keep keep those in mind. And, yeah. Mentally prepare. Yeah. Is that an IRL question or a. I haven't eaten yet today. Bath mat, toilet flusher. Well, I gave you nuts. <laughs> See, I decided that this guy was going to be a klepto, and now I'm really just loving this idea. Yeah, You're going to need like that suitcase. <laughs> oh. 
that's really cool. I like it. I think Danielle gave me the shirt. Or she was going to get rid of it. She's like, you want it? Sure. What is it? It's, uh, it's uh, Totoro. Totoro! Oh. Totoro! I love our characters so far, though. This I is a really know. interesting balance. This is probably my favorite characters that we've like, come up with. I've never run a character this dumb before. <laughs> I like your character so much. I did not expect the cactus people to do that much damage. I know, I was like, yeah, let's yeah. go pumble. Like, like, when I, when I uh, saw him, it's like, you know, just this goofy little shit in the cactus costume. It's like, that's that's something. That's I'm going to make that something. And yeah. then they're just like, wow, okay. I know, they literally almost killed it. If I wasn't rolling more, you, I would have like been dead. I'm at 7 <laughs> HP, by the way. Yeah, I'm at 9. I was at, I was at 3 after the cactus people fight. Yeah, I was at 3 2. Um, Jeez, yeah, they had like a free drain. We'll have to see if, like, Resting Tonight puts us back. Like, oh, yeah, did we want to show off our character art while we're waiting for Vincent? Uh, it's already on the screen, I think. Like, it is. Yeah, but us. there's like full okay. body ones. Yeah, I'll show you the full body ones while we're waiting. For everybody watching, I really love Will's design. Yeah. But, like, it's different. Our well, if you would have told us what you wanted. Well, I didn't know that we were doing Okay, that. Zach, you'll have to help me Was get that this in the frame. This one yeah. is yeah. <laughs> Abby's. Yeah, but you can view it to just tell me if it's right or not. Because I can't tell what the color contrast is. It's really blurry. Yeah. Like, well, uh, like everything is blurry. Yeah. Uh, Put yeah. your hand in front of the camera real quick. Like this? Give me a second. I feel like you're going to put your socks off. Well, put some socks on. Your, your hand's not even in front of the camera. Well, how in front of the camera do you want it? You, oh, sorry, um, sorry, right? Far enough sorry. out that there's almost six inches. Okay. Hopefully that'll autofocus. What's up, my brills? All right. Hold away. What's up, fuck? No. Any autofocus? Oh, well, there's a delay. Oh, we're good, we're good. in between. No, there's not. It's just, what the fuck? Why are we using a vacuum? Why is there a vacuum? Why not? Uh, we are good. Uh, Did someone shit the bed in there? I was thinking of like taking the camera and like maybe moving it. Uh, I think it's just the light contrast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is if I move it to a different angle, uh, I think that way. Or you could kill that light real quick. Oh yeah, that might. Yeah. Oh uh, no, try killing the overhead light. Oh, uh, it's just like not in focus. Like everything's blurry. Oh, uh, the whole time. Or just for that? Yeah. Well, it's hard to tell if it's coming from the stream or if or, it's coming from... Yeah, it's been blurry. Yeah, you while, just can't tell anything. I just anything. didn't know if it was, like, Zach's computer or not. Uh, as for, uh, Mr... I'm answering right now. Okay. Oh, ask, uh, Mr. Brizzy. Hey, Mr. Brizzy, does everything look okay on your end? Uh, like, do we look good or, like, blurry? Huh, yeah, I don't know why it'd be blurry. Uh, it's just it with, those, the it's with those pictures with how white they are, I just think like all the lights just taken away from it, so we'll just have to do individual pictures. Well, it's not just the picture blurry, they're, they're saying like the whole us. stream. Yeah, the, 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 every camera. The picture quality. Shit. Shit the bed, Junior. On, the la on this laptop, it, it looks fine. Oh, it does? Okay, good. On, on the laptop. So it's probably good. It's probably just the broadcast itself, then, which is no surprise that happens. Um, How brew? Homebrew. 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 Kind of, yeah. Uh, it's less homebrew and more of we actually made a game, and this is a mini series in that game. Because we didn't start the it's fire. Yeah, so so this isn't like homebrew, like D and D homebrew. This is actually our legitimate like game that Vincent created. We have guidebooks and everything. So did they just join, or had they been watching? Looks like they joined a little while ago. Okay, cool. Yeah, we've been having a lot of fun with this. I mean, I can't speak for them, I guess, but yeah, I, I've been having a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. We've been having fun time. Like, this is great. Yeah. I actually really like taking notes and everything. <laughs> I don't know why. 
It was cool, and it's, it's helpful to have someone that takes notes. Like, that way, like, I don't know, just, it adds I, I do, that's kind of one of the things I miss about the old sheets, is mm -hmm. the space you have for the notes. Cause oh, did you want a sheet of paper? Well, like, uh, no, the old character sheet, we had two pages, so I could, like, keep all my notes on the second page. Mm -hmm. But, see, I was thinking, like, in that case, you could just have a sheet oh, of paper. Oh, you are from Germany, ah! Mm -hmm. Hopefully you don't find that too offensive. <laughs> Charles, you got the Autobahn, the oh BMW, Audi, Mercedes. We're very sorry. That's, Ig that's ignore, ignore a resident idiot. Todd, hey, they um, got the Autobahn. Okay. All right. Uh, Tog to you, sir. Tog. Do you want to speak English? Tog. It's hello. Guten Tag is good morning, pretty much. Yeah, well, it's I, not morning. Well, yes, it's not morning. That's why you say Tog, and you drop the Guten. Well, Guten is like morning. Notes. Notes. Yes. Good. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Trying to figure out where it's uh, Making the game too racist. I'm pretty sure there's an R there. XD, not JK. Once I know, I am talking All about right, Zach. Autobahn. Zach. Autobahn. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, Ooh, that's a good question. Have you ever driven on the Autobahn? Are you old enough to drive? Uh, the driving age there is like 16, I think. Yeah, but to drive on the Autobahn. Anyone can drive on the Autobahn. Really? It's literally like the interstate of Germany. Does that mean we need to go over to Germany? There's and no the speed limit. I, yeah, I know. That's why I love the Autobahn. Do we have that in our budget? Can we go to Germany and drive on the Autobahn? Well, thankfully, uh, we just had a generous $2 million donation. So Ooh. sure. We just got monetized by YouTube. So next month, <laughs> we'll be doing our campaign from Germany, see. guys. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> That would be fun. We just uh, do, oh, that would be fun. This just video brought tickets. to you by a Cup of Soup from Lipton. When <laughs> your yeah. life is down, check and out, you have no food, check out Cup Vindic of Soup, <laughs> and then you good. Check out uh, VindicatorEntertainment.com for uh, all of what we do. Uh, and then we have a cool Discord channel, which has our community and stuff, where we talk and hang out. And we talk like games, anime, board games, all that stuff. Um, we're currently on like a little break uh, until right. everyone's ready, and then we're gonna jump back into it. Though we don't have too much longer to go for the session. We we normally do like one to five. Um, I'm trying to remember what it is to. But we also started a little bit late, so yeah. we're going a little bit later. And we're generally pretty responsive with any questions from Discord or even Patron. Um, just drop them in, and we either try to get to them immediately, uh, one of us, or we answered on our next stream before we begin. Mm -hmm. Or is it a uh, streamlabs? I'm just forgetting. I'm drawing a blank. What are you talking about? Trying to uh, scheme. So what do you think so far of this campaign? I love it. I like the mystery aspect. At first I was like, man, how are we going to do this? And I'm like, okay, everything's just starting to like pile up for some people. There might be a chance that we could solve this. Yeah, so it's narrowing things down. It's so, interesting too because I don't normally write mysteries, well, so it's like a new well, thing. Well, see, it's for me. like annoying to me because, like, me as a person has picked up a lot of, like, subtle clues, but me as a character is dumb as a brick wall, so I'm just <laughs> dumb like. Dumb as a cactus? Yes. That's so, with me, like, with Desmond. I'm like, Desmond probably is. Like, yeah. he probably is. And then, like, I know my character is like, what? No, never. I, I love your character's like, absolutely, I'll marry the hell out of you. I just <laughs> met you. We just had <laughs> drinks. It's oh. business. It's a business deal. She's like, the game is, deal. The game is, shake I mean, as a person, it's like, girl, you're making a mistake. And my character's like, I like your style. Yeah. <laughs> we, the game is already out, technically. Go mm -hmm. to uh, oh, do you have genre? Vindicator Entertainment. Yeah. Do we have any of the guides we can show off? No, uh, they're over, over there. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I want to dig them out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we also have other games. Uh, one soon be releasing on Kickstarter called Gulatine. Um, one uh, called Spell Slingers. And uh, several other expansions to Spell Slingers, along with uh, Sorry, yes. the 10,000 Ways to Kill Public Cat. No. As, uh, but yeah, Gulatine's going up on Kickstarter on Tuesday. It's like a Halloween, like, spooky card game that's kind of inspired by Blackjack. Essen um, essentially, and you and your friends yeah. are, using, are summoning monsters to get to the number 13. The person that goes above 13 is consumed by the monsters, and play continues until there's one survivor. Yeah, and my fiance over here, Abby, did all the illustrations. Hot. Oh. Excuse you. Where were you going with that? <laughs> yeah, where, where were you going with that? <laughs> huh? Nothing. Never mind. Um, yep. Anyways. Yep, yep. Nope. Time to walk away from that one, Zach. Nope. But yeah, you get the idea. 
But yeah, that will be coming up on, uh, hopefully, oh, if there's wait. no more screwery oh. from Kickstarter on the 9th. 8th. 8th? Okay. 7th. 8th. 8th, okay, because you put the 9th, I think, on the... That was on the original one. ones. Okay. Yeah, but now it's moved to the 8th. All right. It got moved, like, twice. So, September 8th, should Kickstarter not decide to be a little goofy well, again? Yeah. I love the smell of m ms Oh, those are M&M ones? Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, 8th. All right, guys, you ready to jump back into this? I still think the four directions should be Johnny Walker, Jose Cuervo, Jim Bean. The Tito's directions? Yeah, uh, you know, you said there were four different continents and mm-hmm. four brothers walked. I believe the four brothers should be the deities and it should be different dreams. Yeah, I'm not even sure if they've... Because uh, that would be the four horsemen dream that you actually <laughs> make. All right. You guys ready Walker. to jump into it? <laughs> yes. Okay, so where we left off was um, they you were... just got a shower Hold you on, came real out. quick. Uh, it looks freaking good. What about translating the game and publishing in Europe? Uh, I think you can basically take it and put it into Google Translate right away, right? I'm pretty sure. You can probably attest that Google Translate probably doesn't translate. It. And also, it'd be annoying to have to take the book, like every page of the book, and sit there and translate. Um, I would love to have translated versions. We're unfortunately like not big enough at the moment to like have that easily available. Um, but moving forward, I would love to have some, uh, our games translated in different languages. If you happen to know somebody that does translation services, though, and they offer reasonable prices, it could be something we could look at doing. He says he would translate it. Okay, well, we, we can definitely talk and look yeah. at that. Yeah. yeah, you can, yeah. like, PM us later and we can try to work something out. Yeah. What time is it in Germany? He says fall for you. Uh, wow. Well, that's that's, the, that's, that's very that's generous. Yeah, because... <laughs> Yeah, um, it, can, it can be tough. What time is it now? Um, Five, so it's probably about 12? 11 o'clock yeah. at night. Yeah. Alright, guys. So, Corey over here is playing Cactus Kid. Uh, you just finished uh, with your shower. You headed yes. out. And stealing everything. Arabella. Uh, you walk into um, the area. Go ahead and make a wisdom perception check and oh. see if you pick up on anything missing. Yeah, you noticed that Cactus Kid must have taken it. could have been Blazer, but you're pretty sure it's Cactus Also, Kid. like the Stevie window, there, there's like a little like cactus drawing, and it's just like showing it with like a loop bag. <laughs> it's like, God damn it, Cactus Kid. It's like the Joker, but with cactus looting. I'm just like... Like, does she see everything that I stole, or is she like going through and like categorizing it? Because like some of the stuff, like the toilet flusher and the, uh, the like hair dra- the like drain on the... Uh, Tub might not be obvious at first. She she can piece it together. Okay. I, I figured she walks and she goes like, "There's a lot of key stuff that's kind of missing." God damn it, cactus kid. <laughs> yeah. What's what's your thought? Um. Clearly, I need to shepherd this this boy in, <laughs> in the way of the light. <laughs> in the way of Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, at that point, is there anything that you three want to talk about with Desmond as Arabella's in the shower? Uh, we were going over this stuff. Uh, so, um, so you guys are doing a business merger. Yes, that's of part sorts. of it. Yeah. yeah, it's also a marriage. Yes. Yeah, best of both worlds. Multitasking all through life. Huh. So when are you gonna have kids then? Um. Well, that kind of does not work if you want to have a lot of money. Is that so gonna cause a labor never. dispute though? <laughs> Yeah, the kids work for me. You know, the kids work for me. <laughs> well, I mean, that and child labor. I mean, you know, you do get free workforce, but it's also questionably attainable. Um, well, it also is in the middle Well, of we're not player. interested in that. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be fine. Yeah. So adopting? No. Mm-hmm. We're, we're fine for now. Yeah, we're Oh, good. she's going to call you daddy now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, Please ignore him. So, um... <laughs> kind of hard not to. He's only wearing one shoe. <laughs> no, I have it. It's on. So no, it's one not. We can off. see No, he it. grabbed it. We can see I didn't it. give it back. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Klepto. Questionably returning your items. Right shoe in your inventory. If you yes. have it can I have my shoe back? How much is that going to cost me? How much do you have? <laughs> I'll, give you s- I'll give you 25 guilt because I can get a new, new pair of boots from Desmond. I was just gonna ask for ten, but sure, that works for me. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it. She was now on, no longer my inventory. <sighs> got my boots back on my boots. Well, uh, Scoop so, boots. so now that I've got twenty-five guild, um, Edison, which one of you do I pay for things? You can pay me. 
Here you go. Here's 25 gold for grenade. All righty. Uh, and I give him a grenade. Yay. All okay. right. And then I, I hand the money to Desmond. I'm like, oh, we could just sort this out later. Yeah, thank you. Uh, just let me know if there's anything else you want, kid. Uh, uh, that was all of my. Wait, guys. you didn't give him a. You didn't give him a discount. No. No, he respects my work. That's not how. <laughs> that's not how business thrives. Especially with friends. I mean, in this economy, you've seen the level of uh, you know. We have to build this store to be a great one. And they have to build the city. On rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what what? Yeah, it seems like Blazer still has a lot to learn. Do we, we have rock and roll here? Um, uh, no, this is like the town from Footloose, except and everyone dies occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> um, you seemed kind of weird when I was uh, talking about the Blackwell Distillery. You said it was like not good. Is it because the owners there are like sus or? Uh, yes. No, I mean that's just where. Um, is it pricey? No, it's just not as good. Uh, it doesn't taste good. Well, well, neither do gay women, but guess what? Huh? What? Exactly. Do not. I to say something else, oh well. Uh, well, what do you mean, then? It just doesn't taste good. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, that just leaves... Are they still open? Uh, the odd No, it's, it's pretty late now. Um, what do you think about Atreya? Of the... She's, uh... She's, she's, a. Uh, She's a little something else. She's pretty hot-headed, uh, a little bit of fire in her. Um, very talented when it comes to outfits, and you know she's a bit of a seamstress. But um, don't let that fool you, because she's also a very capable fighter. She's pretty handy with a gun too. Oh boy. Hmm. So do you think she's capable of like you know slashing somebody to death, or just somebody we don't need to like really worry about? It's possible. I'm still personally looking at Patrick. I think a lot of the evidence is pointing towards him or, or Haynes. Haynes. He'd be my second bet. Do you think that he would like have enough strength to like slash somebody? He seems like really old. That is true, but he wouldn't be too old if he was not who he seems. Like. So he's wearing the person suit? <laughs> Possibly. Could be a werewolf. Could be. Uh, I guess we could always test it with some silver. Yeah. That's what I got. Well, I mean, we all, he said it was a vampire, so I mean, that would be kind of weird if a vampire is like, yeah, you know, it could be a vampire, and he's a vampire, and he's like in a church. Well, there's not any vampires here. Well, do we know right? that for sure? There's a there banshee. I don't think vampires live on this world. Yeah, I think they kind of stick somewhere else. Hmm. I mean, hell, I don't know. <laughs> he, he really doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I, well, I gotta... Well, how about we find a way to test to see oh, if Haynes uh, is a werewolf? Well, why don't we, um... Your dream, why don't we give him a drink and it have uh, some, like, liquid metal, or liquid silver in it? Wouldn't that kill him? If, if he was like a, a human? Can I just have a little bit? Yeah, that might not that, be good. That's probably not good. Or Is there a, any other what way? If, like, what, what if, if we give him like a, a ring? Still glove. Yeah, we can make him a ring. A ring. It would be easy for us to forge. We have to make two for us anyways. Just make a third one out of silver and give it to him. Well, I mean, hell, just make a spoon. <laughs> use the food. No, just give it to him. I mean, he just has to hold on to it. I mean, yeah. if it burns the shit out of him, we know he's a werewolf. Oh, yeah, we could have our wedding, and then we, when he gives us our rings, if a it burns time. him, then we know. Okay, but that means that we need to have the wedding soon. Okay, we can have it tomorrow. Uh, I'll no. pencil right. it in. Yeah, that's good. I mean, see, I, I was just no. thinking, like, stab him with the spoon. Stab him with a fork, give him a spoon, it burns him. It's not as money. theatrical. Okay. The ring he will not see coming. Hold on, I got a better idea. How about this? True, but what if he objects to the wedding? <laughs> he won't. <laughs> but he's a werewolf. What if he catches on to what you're putting down? Well, a priest would not reject two loving people coming together under the union of marriage. I mean, where would you have it, though? The Church of Johnny. <laughs> Fair We're enough. All good I was thinking down are. at the moors. I mean, you got a lady that will sing no, for you. The, the moors would be a bit dangerous, but I was thinking maybe in the town square. There's a there's a fountain. I mean, it's out of water, but 
it's still a beautiful town. Middle of the whole town for everyone to see. You know, why try to hide this from anyone? But isn't that where they keep the bodies? No. Okay. Uh, um, how about this instead? You have silver, right? Yes, I have silver. Can you put it on like a glove or something? Why would you put it on a glove when you can put it on a ring? Well, hold on and listen to me. Can you put it on a glove? What do you mean, put it on a glove? For instance, make like fingertips. Put it on the fingertips. Put yeah, but if, but if he wears a glove and it's separated by no, the glove material. I can wear the glove. I go over to talk to him, tell him I'm part of the investigation. Shake his I hand. I shake his hand. Then we figure it out. Then we don't have to worry about playing it a freaking wedding. We don't have to worry <laughs> I, about making stuff. I don't know. I like the wedding idea. I. That's going to take too long. We just have long. to have it anyway. I could go to his place. Have to be nothing also, too with how creepy your ass is, I don't think anyone would want to shake your hand. He hasn't met me yet. <laughs> yes, Plus, he has. He's met. Patrick? You've already met uh, Haynes. I thought we were talking about Patrick. No, no we were talking about, about Haynes. Well, you were standing guy. outside Patrick's door, so you don't know if he's out here or not. You came in while they were at the chapel, and you introduced yourself to Haynes already. Oh, he's still shaking my hand. <laughs> Anyways, um, I, I mean, between you can help plan, right? It'll be easy. We could just do Hell it tomorrow yeah. morning. Oh, boy. Uh, I'll be the flower person. Yeah. Flower cactus. Flower cactus. Cactus is flower? I mean, you bless this marriage, don't you? I'm just gonna like, don't oh, do it. No, of don't. course I do. Ah. I did. See, I was worried for a second. Yeah. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> that is like, I'm, I'm just like, like I'm just holy like, person that sees it's it. a bad idea but is committed <laughs> to the faith. Like, I'm like, yeah, marriage. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Two souls, now one. Cool. So what's Arabella's uh, feelings about it? Not not spoken aloud, but just what you're mentally thinking. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of different conflicting thoughts. Also, scoot up a bit. You're a little bit out of camera. Oh. Abby. Cool. You're good. Okay. Um, well, it, it does seem rather soon. <laughs> Um, they barely know each other. It's been a day. It's, it's literally been a day. <laughs> um, we don't really know this guy. He's highly charismatic, and for that reason, uh, you know, Arabella might be a little jealous, maybe. But she also doesn't, <laughs> doesn't wanna... <laughs> I mean, clearly they have a thing going, so she just needs to stay out of it. <laughs> But also, you know, it's almost like suspicious how charismatic he is. Thank that he you. was able to talk <laughs> talk her into marrying him after one day. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's literally like the embodiment of Vegas. Like, hey, hi. <laughs> da, 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 da. Out in the middle of a desert, just like the sparkling. Yes. Thing. <laughs> you're like a desert rose, and you're like, I'm going to marry <laughs> But if they want to get married, it's not my place to tell them that they can't. I mean, we have the shotgun for the shotgun wedding and everything. And, then... <laughs> <laughs> and, and you already act like your dad, too. So there you go. He's like, my baby's getting married within a day. <laughs> you upset her. <laughs> you upset we, have a, a, we have it set up, too. We have, uh, you can walk her down the aisle. And the I am not doing flower. Yeah, flower dad, camp. please. We have, do not call me dad. We Dad, have a mission. Don't deny me. How old is your character anyway? Foster check. <laughs> I imagine he's like forty. <laughs> yes, he should be like late thirties, early forties, and the rest of us are like teens. So he's just like you kids. <laughs> Look, we are not here for a wedding. We're here to find who killed these people. That is all. But what better for. way to celebrate death than create a new life also, together? Also, we can ask everybody questions at the wedding. It's a good way to gather. You get everybody, everybody else in one, and room. then you can like toss silver at them. Yeah, we can. Oh, we can show everybody our rings, and then you like make when everybody remember. reaches out to touch our rings to like look at it, we'll see like what how they react. Look, there there's these people sometimes. They make like these like little like souvenir things. You can make like silver coins and toss them to oh, the people and if it breaks the shit out of them, shoot them. How much would it be to, to make, make a silver confetti? Yes. 
Oh, that would be cool. That's like razor blades, though. <laughs> how, much, how, much, how much for the glove, for my glove idea to make that? Uh, Probably more than silver. It, it, can, be, silver it, can, be on the, it can be on the house. It's, we can do that. If you do that, I'm going to... Dude, are you going to handshake it. everybody? Like what? What's okay, the plan? I think since, you know, he Here's what. Think that about this. <laughs> think about this. Someone has to be at the opening of the door, right? Yeah. Right. I let people in. I show you. Thank you for coming. But you're my dad. You're supposed to be. With I you. am All right. not your All right. father. All right. So, so, so <laughs> here's what we could do. Here's what we could do. They have the well in the center of the town, right? Yeah. We have them all pull out the coins and we shall wish yes, you well wish at the well. well. That is so rude. Oh my gosh, you are a good And if it burns her. them, we shoot them. <laughs> or, you have a gun at the ready. <laughs> or, to be a little more discreet, we go off my. What kind of discretion do you need for ripping people's throats out? Yes, just hand them the coins. Blazer. You can be at the no. front handing out like, the coins. Blazer, you think that's more less descriptive than <laughs> shaking their hand and then shooting them on the altar before they even get married? You're ruining the wedding! Isn't that a fucking point? Oh, right. No! My dad is no longer in the planning. You will hand out the coins that we will make. This, this sounds great. We'll make and a little, like, bag and we'll tie it to with my cat's hands. Please make me that glove real quick. Do you want me to make him the glove or not? Just make him the glove. Okay. My dad is so weird sometimes. I am so not sure. <laughs> we, we are. You are really close to age. aging in this in this no, we are. Are. In this, I'm, I'm 23. Yeah, I'm like I'm 26. I just look like shit because I've been through. <laughs> you might as well be My dead. My dad has been yeah. through a lot. <laughs> I am not your father. Um, yeah, just go ahead and make him, and then I'll work on the coins, and that will all be ready by tomorrow. You will hand it out, and and since you're so into my my marriage and I really appreciate that you can help with the other plan like I, I'm really relying on you okay yay <laughs> oh, okay. oh my god I love this so much alright so you guys ready to head to bed yeah okay so you have a place that you guys can stay at um, the sheriff's station above, above uh, Stella and Sebastian's uh, tavern alright we're gonna have my um Wait, I have to make the coins. I'm gonna make the coins and then I'm gonna join them and we're gonna have a bachelorette party for one night. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> so. uh, are they invited to the bachelorette party? Oh yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. So you guys are all upstairs. Who else would even be there? <laughs> yeah. Just you. you know, like, um, <laughs> not me. Nothing very. Not my dad. Nothing very. <laughs> the breaks at the bachelorette party. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, you guys are having fun. You got the the coins ready. Yeah. Um, setting up things. Well, shouldn't we go to bed? Well, you, you guys are doing that too. You can go to bed. Yeah. Anything else you guys is want it, to cover? Is it all like one open, like, barrack style, or does people have like their individual rooms kind of thing? It's all one, one room. All right, I don't get out of the cactus suit. <laughs> <laughs> I just see you shriek out, like I don't. He just no, he shrieks and that's yeah, where he sleeps. Yeah. The little like yeah. thing goes up and just sleeping bag inside. <laughs> yeah. All right, so who's the first to fall asleep? Okay. Thank Christ. <laughs> All right, so then you guys, you guys fall asleep. Yeah. Um, you wake up to to the Another rays of, of multiple suns. Ooh. Um, it's a bright and sunny, hot and arid day. What a beautiful day for a wedding. For my wedding, actually. Wow. All right. Um. <laughs> So as you guys walk outside, you notice uh, there's a bunch of people in the town already at the square, and you see Desmond, and he's like, "My lady, I've already invited everyone." What the? I imagine fuck? that I put on like my best overalls. They're like white, and like maybe I have like a little patch embroidered on the front. I've cleaned my sombrero, like it's slightly nicer. I put like a little like white lace on it to look like decorative for the wedding. <laughs> um, Sebastian and Stella, like Stella is like. Wow, I was not expecting this turn of events, but I'm very excited for you guys. Thank so, you. Um, I, I hope to help make uh, the business area around here flourish, and maybe we can help each uh, other. Anderson, yeah. would you like me to play the guitar for your wedding? You can yes, play the let's first hand out the coins, though. We yes. actually have cute little party All right, everybody, for everybody. Gather, gather your asses around, or I'm punching you like I did that old lady. 
Okay. She's there. You no, no, you don't see them. The, they're the only people missing. Great. Oh, well, at least we got them. Make a note of them, you stupid son of a bitch. All right. Uh, so everybody gather around. You are required to take this wedding gift. It's part of the. Like, oh, I'll uh, take one. Everybody you gets one. The, the everybody gets blood. one. Oh, you got throw it. it in the well at the end of the wedding. You touch it before that. I beat your ass. Han, do what? Yeah, what? There's too many instructions for me. Just take the coin, throw it in the in the throw plant, it in the well, and wish us when a we, happy wedding. When we wedding. tell you to, you throw it in the well. Oh, Wouldn't so that... we gotta wait till you tell us to. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, so everybody, we, we give it to them, and then we watch everybody like holding onto the coin. Well, it's like in a little like package right now. They have to take it out. And gotcha. Throw it. Okay. So they because we're like package. saving it for like afterwards, so they can toss it in. Okay. I feel like it would be better if we just gave it to them. They have to hold on to it. But if it burns them now, then we have to shoot them and it ruins your wedding. Well, we can I'm shoot them later. That. We just gotta see like how they react now. So like, so do you want is that what you want to do? I, I, we're not gonna do the package. All right, okay. all right. So we just give them the coins. Okay. As you're handing the coins out, um, blessings of Johnny be on to you, yeah. on to you, on to you. Here's a coin. Here's a Patrick, coin. Patrick uh, grabs one. He's like, huh? I haven't heard of Johnny before. This coin looks uh, really cool. Mind if I just hold on to it instead of flipping it in the well? Um, you're flipping it in the Johnny, fucking well, the, Patrick. Or you you're going in the well. Oh, thank I you. I appreciate was, that. I thought that was Johnny. And that one's coming back to me, or else you're going in the well. <laughs> I just want to keep one, man. I mean, that, that wasn't an option, Patrick. <laughs> Is it Patrick or Johnny? I'm confused. Patrick. Johnny's a Johnny's Johnny. Johnny's some made up ghost that he's Johnny. Into. Johnny is, is the great. Oh, Johnny Walker. Never yes. mind, never mind, never mind. Yes. Saint yes. Johnny Walker. <laughs> I got you. The man who guides us all. Have you forgotten him? Our guiding I... light in this hell pit of a desert. <laughs> the priest is over here. Maybe forever like... stride on. <laughs> he bad. gets knocked out and he gets back up again. Because you're like, never I keeping don't Johnny down. That's <laughs> I just want to stay by her the entire time. I just want to stay by her the entire time. Okay, um, so does anybody seem to be reacting to these silver coins? Who goes to hand one to Well, I'm, I'm handing them out to everyone. To everyone? So it's just you handing out the coins? Uh, does yeah. anyone else want to? I guess you're handing out the coins and I'm just kind of watching everybody. Okay. All right. Um, as you go to hand the coin to uh, Haynes, he says, "Huh, what's uh, what's this made of?" I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't make it. I'm just giving him well, out. Well, kid, I appreciate it. But funny enough, I actually have a coin on me. And You're tossing the coin that we're giving you into there. Uh, That's not an option, sir. I have a coin on me. You can either hold on to it or I'll hold on to it for you. You know, I have to say, I've uh, never prayed so hard for one fella in my entire life, but I will continue praying for you. Bless You're welcome your to throw the coin in the well. i got a coin right here. I'm you're fine. throwing our coin in the well, or you're ruining okay, the damn wedding. I, I see them fighting. I'm I like, would never oh, do such things. Father thing. Haynes, what, it's a pleasure. what's happening? I recommend you tell this man to throw the coin in the well. Oh, why don't you want to throw wanna... the coins? I made them personally myself. I appreciate that, miss, but... You know, I don't want to take away from your coins. I have plenty of coins with me. Honestly, I know, but like, look, I made I mean, it, if you I, check them out in my pockets. I really wanted you to use this. I I made actually this one especially for you. Look, it has the H on it. Oh, well, that looks. That well, looks, you're the guest of honor. Well, so. That's quite some craftsmanship. Like What's it made of? of honor? Uh, it is silver. Silver. Oh, it's the best it? I could think of. Well, I actually have a coin that's made of platinum, which is very rare. But I'd be more than happy to toss that into the well. Okay. Here's the silver coin. I, I use the you. platinum coin, but I appreciate. Can it. I walk up and so I'm suggest not good he takes the he <laughs> takes the uh, the silver one and just flash him my my shoddy. Flash him your glove. What? what? My shoddy. <laughs> what? So you're walking. No wait wait. I got, Don't mind my shoddy. Right. I have. Really never mind, never mind. What the I hell are you? What the hell are you there, son? <laughs> I take. I backtrack. I have the glove. I go. <laughs> Father, <laughs> good to see you again. I'll go shake his hand. Yeah, make a. Uh, <laughs> Dexterity stealth check. Uh, oh, fuck me. <laughs> Nine. I mean, it's it's a pleasure. He just puts his hand on your shoulder. And he's like, it's a pleasure. Uh, Damn, ex really excuse me. Um, Edison. Yes. You mind if I hold on to that platinum piece? Or no, silver piece for just a second? Yes, of course. I flip okay. the hand up. I take it. I just... Bam! Like, I just punch him. It's like, take the fucking coin, you stupid punch, son! Like, you punch him in the face? Yeah, Cactus <gasps> Kid is All right, pissed well, off. Strength plus dex plus 1d6. You're still... <laughs> you said strength plus dex? Yeah. 15. Alright, with that, you just hit him right in the floor. He, oh uh, some of his teeth father. fall out and he's on the ground. So, oh, 
Oh, Father, are you okay? Oh, what was that? For? Why did you do I'm, that? I'm pressing the coin to his face too. It's like, is this burning you? Are you pressed the coin? Yeah. Face? All right. He's like goes, I'm punching ah, to put the coin ah, in there. Stop. And he Father. tries to push you off. Make a strength uh, athletic check. Is it burning him at all? Or? He's he's yelling in pain. Thirteen. But it could be because he punched him in the face. Yeah, I was about to say. All right. <laughs> he's struggling to push you off. Yeah. You're gonna ruin the damn please, wedding. Please, son, stop it. Cactus you... kid, please. All right. This is my wedding. All right. Oh, you, you're going to toss the coin in the well? You're going to toss really it? I told you I'm not going to do that. Then you're going to leave this wedding. No, please. No, no, He's no, officiating I got it. the wedding. I got it. I got it. I said, get I push him off. We can get our friend to officiate the wedding. We all need this like, jacked up. Like, the silver rings that he has to, like, I, I push point. Cactus Kid off. I, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong? He he's, not, he's ruining the wedding. You I ruined are jackass. Okay. I go, I give the... The patch from my hand. He's already failed that. You've already failed that. Yes, but I'm pulling him up. You knocked him to the ground, correct? Right. He grabs you by your wrist. By my wrist? Yeah. I grab him by the wrist too, kind of like doing this motion. You, you okay there? Did he give you a good? And I look down at his uh, at his skin where my hand was. I was wearing a long slip collar. Wait, you could look the... at his face. Yeah. Where I punched him with the coin. Well, you could be looking there too, but yeah. Then I look I'm up. I'm not that perceptive. I look up at his face. <laughs> is it, do I see a? Like a wasn't perception. Check. Fuck me. He has big, thick mutton chops. Ooh, that's right. It'd be hard to see past it. Uh, eight thirteen. Yeah, you see, you see like a uh, indention. But is it burned? That's it looks a little burned. Oh yeah, did we regain our health and stuff? Oh yeah, after uh, did, resting. Did, did, so so get... from resting, you get. Uh, your toughness plus 1d6 back in health. Toughness plus 1d6. Oh, What's your toughness? Uh, zero. Oh, I guess plus I should do that, six. too. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> wow, 14. I'm almost at full health. 18. I should have kept the accident roll. Oh, do you have uh, a new discipline since the day is new? Yeah, but I'm not going to use it on my health. Okay. <laughs> I, uh... I'm at 14, so I'm at two thirds of my max health. So. I walk o- walk the pasture over to like the doctor from earlier. You're taking him off the pasture. Oh hi, it's uh, good seeing you again. Will you uh, take a look at the doctor, see how? Oh wow, his, yeah, he's seen uh, some worse for wear. Hey, come here, pasture. Uh, hey, is that a burn on his on his face right there? Yeah, it looks like a weird rent. Someone put a big cigarette out on him. Okay, well back. He's going to get you fixed up if you need anything. One thick-ass cigarette. <laughs> uh, One big-ass smoker. <laughs> give uh, give him some good attention, and uh, I'll, I'll be back to check on you. How's that sound, priest, father, whatever you are? Hank, Mr. Haynes? Sure. All right. And nobody else seemed to, like, not no, want to I... touch the coin? Um, I got to tell you. Everyone else touched the coin. Okay. He's mighty suspicious. Are you sure you want him officiating your wedding? Yes. I come up. So I got some news. Yeah. There's a burn from the coin on his face. Here's the problem, though. Vampires are more known for bite, not for scratch. But I thought we said this was a werewolf now. Yeah. Now I'm just confused. So our guy is a werewolf, and he's a werewolf. Well... Or maybe he's a vampire with a silver allergy. You just keep changing the narrative. Anyways. Um, I'll, uh, put, I'll put two shells because I got those uh, silver balls. I'll put them in the shotgun and uh, I'll take them out. It's like, do you object? <laughs> Boom! No one There's objects. Right well, we have a gun to ask. He might be a werewolf, but we don't know if he's like guilty yet. He could be a werewolf and innocent still. So, so you think there's another werewolf that's killing, and then like he's the innocent werewolf? I'm just saying, maybe after the reception, we should um, confront him and tell him that we know that he's a werewolf. All and right. then get him talking. I, I, mean, we, right now. I mean, at that point, we'll have a well full of silver coins, so we can always just toss his ass yeah. in there. We'll just throw him in the in the thing over there with all the coins. And no water. <laughs> I mean, how no deep water. is it? Is, is it like two feet deep, like, or is it like ten feet deep? Well, like Twenty feet deep. All right, well, oh, he'll be God. fine. He'll just stay it on there with the silver. Well, we have plenty of silver back at the shop, so. Well, this is what I was going to say. It's like, well, maybe we should go over and talk to him before we do 
hell with that one. How, how about we do the wedding first? first. Oh. And it's then we kill his ass. I have the schedule to keep up with. You guys make a wisdom perception check for me. Wisdom perception. Fuck me. Wisdom perception. Nine. I have edge. Ten. Okay, so you're the only one that hears this, but you hear the doctor saying, Hey, where are you going? Come back here. Uh, we didn't ask me. Oh, uh, is well, he look, running? Well, it's like he's speaking to, like, back there with, with the pastor is. I know, I'm, like, looking for the pastor. I'm like, Pastor, wait! We still have to get married! You have to help me! Uh, where you don't, are you, you going? don't see where he's at. I'm, I'm running, and I'm looking. I'm but you do know if you if you pay attention to this, the wedding's about to start, and you might miss out on that. I'm, I roll a 12, so do I hear it too or no? Okay, can I tell yeah, him See, the like, I would, I would have run after him, but I'm like, I've obligated myself to play the guitar now, so I'm just like, dar, 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 dar. <laughs> like, I, like, I'm starting playing the wedding. Quick. Uh, um, oh, like, should I roll like, so a performance check or something? Wait, I tell yeah, you guys. Uh, uh, resolve, entertain. So, you, but you have, you have an entertain yes. kid, don't you? Or no, you have an investigation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, resolve, entertain. Yep. I can well, use she's like, influence or anything else. Now that the pastor is gone. Yeah, I'm gonna be good at this, sorry. No, no, not at all. Uh, six. You break the strings. Bing, bing. <laughs> so I start just singing at that point. So you just go, ba, ba, ba. an awful singing voice. No too. shit. I'm like, it was cheap entertainment. There are people getting married, walking down the aisle. <laughs> they are going to be entertained. Quiet while I stall for time. Cheap. Also in my overalls, I'm like, well, that was free. So. so you tell Blazer though that you think Haynes is making a run for it. Yeah, I tell him that I heard the doctor running for him to stop running away. Good thing I loaded up a couple. Uh, All right, as you go running past uh, the doctor guy, he says, "Hey, just so you know, I don't know why, but Haynes just took off sprinting." Yeah, wh which way did he go? Right back there. All right, chase, chase after. Him. I never seen him so frantic. Be careful. All right, as you run back there. Uh, you start hearing like movement through um, through the area. Um, there is a. Uh, uh, did you guys go get me, or am I still just singing? I think no you're idea. singing. Oh, it's just me. Like, I'm yeah. walking down the aisle. You're singing, and then she's waiting at so, the end. So here, there's some rocks, and then there's some cac cacti, and then there's desert. Um, I watch out those cactus and lambush. You don't. Yeah, uh, as as you chase after them, though, you. Um, you get to a point where you just see an open desert and you see some rocky like hills and some like bold like tall rocks and stuff. How tall are we talking? Twenty feet, fifteen. Feet. Um, well, to your right uh, goes up about twenty feet, and then to your left it goes up about sixty feet. Shit. Um. Ooh. I look down at the ground for footsteps. Okay. Make an intelligence investigation check. I'm gonna give them my disciplines. Oh, Fuck. that's even worse. Oh my god. Fuck. Okay. That's seven. Six. Oh. Investigation. No. Yeah, it was seven because you had two on your higher one. Oh. Shit. Okay, so you got seven total? Yeah. Okay. Uh, with that, you're Thanks, looking Ron, around. For Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, you're looking around, and you just hear, ah! and you just look up, and you see him jumping down. Uh, Can I pull up my shoddy? Uh, as soon as you go to pull out your shoddy, he lands on top of you. Uh, he's right on top of you, and he just punch you right in the face. Am I knocked out? Is no, he, no you, can, you can roll the Is gun. he changing into a wolf at this point? No, <laughs> he's just a dude. <laughs> okay. Um, that we know of. What do I, know, what do I roll? Uh, defense. Defense, that's right. Can't be a dude with silver eyes. Yeah, I refuse to. Ooh. Dude. Uh, fifteen. Okay. Uh, he goes to punch you. Uh, he has you on the ground. Mm -hmm. Uh, you move your head and and he hits the sand and you manage to roll out of it and you can pull up your shotgun. I pull up my shotgun. What do you say? Hold it there. Don't don't make a mistake, Blazer. I'm making a mistake. Have to do this. You're the one that ran and tried to attack me. Well, look who's got the gun. Yeah. It's got silver bullets. I understand what's going on now. Hey, just any bullet would be enough to. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the burn mark. I saw you evading. This, evade. I can this happened. Tell. 
Okay, listen. You're a werewolf. No, listen, Blazer. I can explain this. Last night I did some things I wasn't proud of. Met with a woman. She had a fat stogie. <laughs> <laughs> what? me right in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say, oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> well, She's got a fat ass. Burn me right in my face. I know it's not very pastor-like of me, and I apologize. Fortunately, I don't believe you. Because the coin is burned into your cheek. That's where she burned me. And it was a commemorative coin from the wedding. Really? No, it was from... <laughs> from a limited edition Johnny Walker coming in the <laughs> coin. Posh check. Oh, oh my god. I'm just telling it like it is, Blazer. Don't, and I don't believe you. You don't need to be making... So tell me the damn truth. Because I have no problem putting down a man. Make a resolve influence check. Fuck me. Oh, Ooh, god. I do get edge, though. Ooh! Oh. Alright, alright, come on. Come on. Oh. Eleven. Alright, Blazer. Listen. You caught me on the lie. No shit. I am a werewolf. Okay. Oh. But doesn't mean I did that shit. Prove it. How do you want me to prove it? That's what I was just about to do. Show me where you've clawed something. I ain't calling nothing out here. You let's want, go. Wants to go back in where the wedding's at. I mean, it's gonna cause quite a commotion. Give me your neck. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I can't transform unless it's unless it's a full moon. But you've had to scratch somewhere before. You transform on a regular basis. Only on full moons. Exactly. The full moons happen on a regular basis. And if you check, if you check, those victims did not all die at a full moon. The hard thing is, I can't tell because we buried, because three of them got buried. Alright, this is what I want you to do then. Take me to wherever you transform. Show me there's gotta be scratches somewhere. I know what the ones look like on her neck. I'll make it conspicuous. If you try any shit, I have no problems putting this silver bullet in you. Alright, follow me. I follow him back into the, and I got the, the chapel. And I got the shotgun. Myself. He shows you this kind of like back room that he has. And in it, there's tons of claw marks everywhere. From where he's transformed. Do they look like the ones in from the female? Make an intelligence investigation check. Fuck. So, is uh, is Arabella officiating the wedding now? <laughs> yep, she's just out there like sweating. Yeah. <laughs> Dearly beloved, I'm use it this we're again. gathered here today. <laughs> we can just resign. Nah. <laughs> so I guess uh, marry these two. You look, they look similar enough. You they look close. They they look close enough to where it could be a hundred percent match, or it could be slightly off. Hmm. Where's he at? He's right there in the room in front of you. I assume you probably have his, your gun towards him, and he's kind of like between me and you, distance wise. Oh, no, thank you. Exactly. Listen, does this prove it? Unfortunately, it doesn't. The big reason is it's hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Listen, I don't know what to tell you. I can leave. Just leave me about my way. If I am the one that's causing the murders, you won't see anyone else die. If I'm not the one causing the murders, then you'll know someone else. I'm going to see if he's telling the truth. Okay. Make a wisdom perception. Uh, 14, 19. He's telling the truth. Put my shotgun away. I won't tell anyone. I'll have to tell my crew, of course. But that's it. We're going to do some more investigation. Stay in town. Don't try to run. I won't tell anyone your secrets. But you have to help us out if we need it. Alright. I take the glove off. So deal. Yeah, the silver. Go shake the hand. <laughs> Alright. But that means if you do anything sketchy, you know the first person we're coming to, right? Yeah, just promise me you won't shoot me over something someone else does. Open shotgun, take the silver bullets out, put the whole one bag in. Alright, we got a deal. Let's go to the wedding. It's fine with you, I'd like to stay here. If you leave town, I know the truth. That you do. Alright. Okay, you head out to the wedding. Everyone's having a good time. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> How'd the ceremony go? Well, uh, 
Billy walks up uh, to you. He's like, "Can I have a date?" He's like, "Man, this is uh, this is giving me some feelings. A lot of some feelings. I, I'm having a good time here. What about you?" Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Uh, great. <laughs> he gives you like a side hug. It's like, so, uh, I don't know. What do you think about marriage? Um. I, I think it's a beautiful thing. Of course, I I think marriage is super important <laughs> and beautiful. Brings me like a tear to my eye witnessing this. I mean, like my my brothers, one of them got married and died real soon after, and it was tragic. I walk up. Hey, yeah. Arabelle. Uh, it's Arabella. Arabella. Okay. <laughs> Pronounce her name correctly, sir, please. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? I'm Billy. <laughs> All right, Billy. Thank you, Billy. Yeah, damn, you're Billy. You well. don't know Billy when you see him. He's one of the three Billys. Oh, now Cactus Kid is here, too? I've been here. I've been playing the music. Hard to miss. He's an effing cactus. <laughs> I, mean, I, I reserved my cussing. Thanks to you. <laughs> well, uh, I need to talk to the... I need to well, talk first of all, you can hold on. We haven't done the, uh, we haven't done the cel- uh, celebratory flipping of the coins yet. Everybody gather your asses around. Get to the are, well. I thought y'all already did that uh, while I was done. Shit, gone. darn, I already flipped my coin. <laughs> where'd so you, got another where'd coin? you flip it to, okay. Billy? <laughs> Thank you. You're lucky we made extra. Well, I could use another You're lucky wish. we made extra. I had a bad life. Everybody get wish. your asses around the well now. Now here's what you're going to do. You're all going to wish this is your friend of mine that that their husband of hers good luck and then you're going to flip your coin in the well. I catch any of you some bitches taking that coin anywhere <laughs> other than that well. I will find you. Yeah, I will hurt you. you. Oh, All right, yeah, we got on it. the count of three, and you're going to say thank you. One, two, three. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And everybody <laughs> praise Johnny. Let's go. Praise Johnny. One well, guy says, uh, my bad guy is I ate mine. <laughs> I ate mine. You ate your what? I ate the coin. I was hungry. Now you got about a three-second head start. <laughs> It's okay. I grabbed Cactus Kid. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not actually. <laughs> I'm really hungry, guys. <laughs> well, we have hors d'oeuvres. Oh, oh that's, that'd probably be better than coins. Yeah. It's gonna hurt coming out. It's <laughs> 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 oh, oh. I get these. I'm not in the slot machine. Uh, you go on and go get some real food then. How's that sound? I don't have money. It's free. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see a dust cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. Look, I need to tell you guys something. The preacher, Haynes, he's going to be a werewolf. But talking to him, I don't think he's the one that's killed these people. That's why I said of course, he, shoot of course he killed this Who the fuck are you? Desmond. Desmond, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> this is the crew time. That's my, my husband. Well, your husband needs to go talk to people. Get some money. Get some. He needs to talk to people. Get some money. <sighs> Fine. Do you but mind you don't talking to the No, Shush. Desmond, you stay. You are a part of her life now. That puts you in this investigation. No, it does not. He's not getting paid by... by he doesn't have to get paid to live a happy life. It's, it's fine. We share assets now. Yeah. Well, if, that, if that's true, then you need to go conjure up some more money from all the other people that come to the wedding. I think we're doing just fine. Wedding gifts. Go. Okay. So, you think that he did it because he's a werewolf? Yeah, there's claw marks. He's been proven to be a werewolf before. But we also had Patrick with the pitchfork, and we were pretty sure that was. Here's the problem. I think Patrick killed that Jason guy because it would make sense for the other three were females, young. There's no reason that we would have to see if they have any personal beef with each other, Jason and uh, Patrick. Well, I don't think Patrick's going to tell the truth at this point. Patrick seems pretty reasonable. I mean, other than the fact that he could be a murderer. (laughs) And Jason had no one, no other people as we're aware of. What do you think? I, I feel like you've gotten to see a lot of the people around here. And you have a really good moral compass if you're a priestess. It's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I can't say I'm very smart. Um, but I am pretty wise. None of us in this campaign are very smart. I am. I am. Wait, what are your intelligence? Five. Is that smart according to other worlds? Yeah, it's fine. It's not like yeah. genius, but it's yeah. it's smart. It's smarter than most of the populace here. Okay. <laughs> most people here are kicking around zero to two, maybe. All right, awesome. Except for Desmond. He has all those books. Yeah, Desmond seems like he's very smart. <laughs> um, 
I mean, I think it's worth talking to Patrick, but... I don't know. Have, have we ever considered the possibility that, like, maybe he got set up or something? I, I mean, you know... That, doesn't, that, uh, that uh, uh, Patrick got set up? By who? Well, I don't know. <laughs> the thought train was there and it stopped, didn't it? Patrick does seem pretty nice. I look over at Patrick. How about this? I'll go talk to him. Like, <laughs> yeah, he looks that. <laughs> How about I go talk to Patrick and I'll figure something out. Okay, Dad. Don't call me Dad. <laughs> Alright, you guys meet with Patrick. Hey, uh, it's uh, Blazer, right? Yeah, uh, Patrick, Greg? Yeah. Good to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, too. Uh, I got a couple questions for you, if you don't mind me. You know sure, why, sure. You know why I'm here, right? Do what? You know why I'm here? To uh, for the wedding. Do, well, yeah. well, in general, why, why I'm in town. To, for the wedding? Well, I'm <laughs> investigating those, those deaths of those people. Oh, you're one of the investigators? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I've seen some alligators. I haven't seen many investigators, though. Look pretty different. I, yeah, I, I'd hope so. Uh, I'm not like that cactus kid. I'm not too sure about him still. Yeah, they're both green. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I got a couple questions for you. Uh, you collect uh, weapons of some sort? Uh, not not necessarily just weapons. Mm -hmm. I have a couple, but it's mostly just, you know, relics and things of the past, different cultures and history. Do you clean them? A bit them? of a historian. Okay. Do you clean them or anything? I like to keep them as is. If as I is? Yeah. To keep them, you know, the way that they were. Basically, you just buy them and put them up in the shelves? Most, I mean, I clean a few things if it's dusty and stuff, but, you know, I don't want to, like, try to restore it and mess up the value like of whatever Like if there's rust or stains or something, you want to clean that? Uh, if there's some rust, I mean, it just depends on the item. I mean, some it depends if I can keep within its value. Uh, what was that? You bought something recently from uh, from Desmond, right? Pork shop. Pork shop, yeah. Uh, For what, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, when you yeah, bought yeah. that, did, was there anything else with it? Uh, you know, like, was there any corrosion on it or any uh, anything weird on it when you bought it? Yeah, I mean, there's some blood from its use, but you know. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it probably had killed a few people. I'm gonna roll to see if he's telling the truth on that. Okay. Losing yes. perception. Alright, using my last discipline. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, 11. Um. It could go either way. Fuck. <laughs> Damn. Um, by, did you know a fella, uh, what was his name? Johnson? J, J, he was one of the fellas that unfortunately was killed. Uh, Jason, I think? Oh yeah, Jason Jason Orn. He was the he was the local sheriff here. Yeah, what, yeah. What do you know about him? Well, he was a great man. He he had quite high morals. Uh, he had a lot of character. He believed in in this town, uh, you know, being better and becoming something better for everyone here. And he and he he would check up on people. He would wish them a happy day. Um, he would greet people nicely, and you know he lost his family to some cactus men. They were murdered, but he, he kept his head held high after uh, you know sobbing for a few weeks. But then he, he went right about his days and and wished people good. It's quite understandable. Do you uh, were you there when they buried him? Did you go to the funeral or anything? Yeah, I mean this town's small enough to where we basically go to everyone's funeral when it happens. Do uh, do you remember? You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you remember uh, how he died? Was he slashed, bitten, cactus man? I mean, it looked like he had uh, some slash marks on him. Hmm. I'm not no investigator, though, like you, or or an alligator, but, you know. <laughs> Okay, uh, alright, I just was curious, uh, let me see if he's telling the truth on that last part. That he's not an investigator or alligator? No, not that, I'm sorry, <laughs> the, uh, the, the claw mark. That little like claw marks? Yeah. Okay, I was in perception. Watch, I hit a six on this. Yeah. Okay, ten. We were you gonna Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, go, uh, how about you go get some food? I'm gonna go, uh, you know, talk to some more people. Alright, I, I have to say, I've seen a few weddings here and never seen one this good. I mean, none of them really offers food. This one, 
Woo, wee. I get to finally eat today. It's a desert day miracle. Go on and eat. I'm going to go talk to my pal. Tell me twice. Right. Go on and eat. <laughs> So, I walk back. Is Desmond here? I asked that gentle. Uh, no, he's not. Mm -hmm. he, he went off to take care of some things. So he's still he's still within eyesight, though. I got some bad news. Yeah. Talking to Patrick. The uh, that weapon he got. He said it already had blood on it. No, Desmond told me that it didn't. Unfortunately, I don't think we can believe him because talking to him, seeing the how he likes to preserve history and stuff. He said himself, when he walked out the door, essentially it had blood on it when he bought it. I don't believe that. Unfortunately, I do. My business partner was not like it. But that doesn't mean that the blood wasn't already on there. I do you think it was more likely to be lying, Desmond or Patrick? Or did you think it was more likely to be lying? I mean, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Well, you guys, um... I just want to get. I I, I want to believe her business partner is going to do her well. Yes, my business partner would be. Now, I mean, this guy, his name is Patrick. He's already shifty as hell. <laughs> Patrick, look at him. He could be a murderer. Who buys a weapon called a fork chop? Look at him eating all <laughs> my hors d'oeuvres. I mean, it's a pitchfork, but it's also an axe. I mean, what kind of choices does he make in life if he's making <laughs> those poor ones? Well, unfortunately, he does say he likes to collect uh, historical stuff. Yeah, that could be bodies. They're history. They're no longer alive. <laughs> True. Um, Cactus Kid, you are something the fuck else. I will say that. Arabella? Yeah, I'm a well, cactus. No shit. I, I can't say that I am more doubtful of one over the other. However, um, we have both known... We, we've known both of them for a day. Okay, I guess like a day and a half now. Alright, so... What it feels like I've known him my entire life. But... but have not. <laughs> so, I don't think that we should be overly trusting of either of them. You can be trusting because now you're stuck with him. <laughs> but the, the rest of us, I think, should at least, you know, kind of check check both of them out more carefully. I, I agree. Also, we have so many people here, Ooh. we can't be too sure that, you know, it's like... Why these two else? people? I want to go search Desmond's uh, house. Well, we know none of them are allergic to the silver. And so you want to search Desmond's house while everyone's here? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm, I mean, if you announce that to us, or are you just going to go do it? I'm just, I told you guys, I, I'm going to go back to Desmond's. I'm going to go uh, use the restroom. Okay, so as the wedding that officially happened, That seems a little weird, yeah. considering there's restrooms here. What are you doing? You seen all the people here? Some of them haven't showered, all right? It already stinks out here. What are you doing? Go into the bathroom. I don't believe you. Okay, do you want to follow me? I'm going to check to see if you lie to me. Okay, uh, this will be intelligent silver tongue. This is a wisdom perception. Please block me. What do I have to be? Ten. Mm -hmm. Nine. Fuck! You lying son of a bitch. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you. Don't tell them. I make no promises, but what are you doing? Then follow me. How's that sound? This seems suspicious. What are you doing? I'm going to go Wait, search can I house. hear this? <laughs> Make it up with the perception <laughs> check. <laughs> she's like two. She's like a foot away, but it's just far enough she oh, can't hear. Crap. Oh, uh, well, you should use All this right. one. Six. Uh, well, I can't use it because I'm cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I have twelve. Yeah, you can hear. God, do, do not go to my husband's house. Dad, we've talked about this. I need to let go. Just I've like, grown up now. He's first off, I am married. First off, he's you are he's suspicious as hell, isn't he? First isn't off, he? we have dead. Oh my god. First off, there's dead people. Second, I'm not your father. Dead people Third, is not giving you the excuse Stop to come breaking it in or And the <laughs> <laughs> you see this nose? We don't have the same nose, all right. Third, that, that doesn't matter when you're acting like somebody's parent. She is a strong, independent woman that just married her man. Do not go through his house without his permission. Dear John, do I need to just like... Do you mind if um, my dad needs to go to the bathroom? Do you mind if he needs to He's got the old house? man bladder? <laughs> he really has to go. Well, uh, I normally wouldn't mind, but all of my... Uh, a lot of things... Alright, thanks, everyone. 
Uh, like someone stole a lot of like my cleaning supplies and stuff, and I feel like Blazer's gonna leave a mess. All I'm using uh, is the, the, the toilet. He is kind of old, and he's trying to make a mess. Yeah. All I'm, I'm doing. Sorry, I'm old. I am 26. The town hall bathroom. The town hall. Is this in the wishing well? <laughs> Everyone gets what out here, right? <laughs> Not no more. Fine. <laughs> By the way, do you know who would have stolen that stuff? You know. Any of your friends would have stolen that? I look at Cactus Kid like, because I know, but I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> no, only she knows. Oh, oh yeah. I, I look at you guys, and I can just tell. Like, she has, like, that, like, guilty look where she looks at you, and I just know you at this point, and I'm like... By the way, why is, is, you, is he facing away from me? Like, he's, uh, he's looking at her, right? Yeah. You slowly see, like, the little latch open, and I just, like, dangle, like... Washer, I just like ease it back in. <laughs> he looks back and then just goes. <laughs> I don't know, but I can help you look. I I'm sure it'll show up. And then I'm like, it's pretty rare here too. Later. It can be uh, those those items are worth a little bit more here than most places. Yeah. Um, luckily, like I'm really dollars. good at reverse engineering things, so All I right. can help fix the things in the bathroom later. Um, if, it's, if it makes you feel any better, I can go with him to make sure he gets saved. No! Um, <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, they might be able to find him on the way, so that's probably good. Okay. So we're going to his house? Yep. Good. And, uh, I was like, uh, but I'll join you, you know. I'll, you know, we're kind of wrapping things up here. Well, shouldn't you be hanging out with your wife and thanking the guests? Yeah, that's plus, that's what I've been doing. Plus, I'm gonna go uh, get a, uh, a C and a bottle of uh, very nice liquor over there. I'm gonna get it popped open and ready for you guys to enjoy, so we don't bother you for your honeymoon. Are you gonna wash your hands before you do that? Yes. I'm gonna go <laughs> use the restroom and get this set up for. Him. Yeah, I'm just making sure what order. Yes. Here's the. How, how about this? Here's the bottle. You carry it. Actually, Mary, I don't well, trust do you. Do you mind babysitting them? I just know that they need the extra. Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Now that Arabella is there, so I can trust you guys, and we can trust her. You guys are allowed to go to the house and use the restroom. Fine. But no funny business. <laughs> Absolutely. First thing. Okay. You arrive at his place. All right. So he knows the real reason. All right, Arabella. We gotta search this place, see if there's some sketchy shit. If you'll excuse me before you start searching, I gotta put some things back in the bathroom. Yeah, why the fuck do you steal shit? I don't know. I just feel compelled to. Oh, jeez, sweet Jesus. How oh, sweet Jack Daniels. It's just there, and sweet it's just... Johnny. It's just well, there. Johnny, Jack. It's, it's just there, and, uh, you know, sometimes I just... Alright, you go do that. All right. We're gonna search yeah. this place. Hmm. Do you wanna search... Do you wanna search... Do you wanna... <laughs> do you wanna search upstairs or downstairs? Um, I think downstairs is a business, upstairs is where he yeah. lives. Time is ticking! Okay, I guess I'll search downstairs. I'll just, search upstairs. It feels, I'll search upstairs too. It feels weird, I mean, you like... Feel, you feel more, like, compromised? Yeah. Alright, doing but, this to find right, well, all these people. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, why don't I search downstairs and you can watch, that way you don't feel like you have to conflict your moral compass. Okay, thanks. Alright. What are we looking for? Anything suspicious. Like, murdery? Yes. Murdery. All right. Think of blood, possible, maybe, uh, you know, dirty clothes, like, uh, bloody clothes. Okay, great. And you got that? All, All right. right. Anything that could be a murder weapon that has blood on it? We're in a weapon it? shop. I'm pretty sure most of this constitutes murder weapons. Yes, but if they have blood on it, it's been used. What if it's a gun? Well, we're not looking for guns. We're looking for stuff that would be claw marks. You shoot him with a bullet and they claws him? <laughs> yeah, sure. That's one claw interesting bullet. That's one interesting bullet. All right, well, uh, I'm going to search downstairs then. Okay, and you're searching upstairs? Yes. Okay. So, Cactus Kid, make an intelligence investigation check. Great. It's the best roll. Five. Whoa. That's pretty good. For an intelligence zero, yeah. Uh, Eight. Eight. You don't find anything out of the ordinary. I mean, it's a weapon shop. Yeah, I mean, so you find some weapons and stuff that he has, but it's any, all the stuff he showed you Yeah, earlier. just no blood on it. All right, are there any, like, secret panels? You can't find any, if there is any. 
Can I look in like the crafting section? Just see? Yeah, sure. Uh, you don't see anything there. Is there anything like really shiny? Who's in shiny? No. Still gonna take like a hammer. <laughs> they take a little hammer? Yeah, <laughs> I, just, I just, hammer. just, just, I like, just, just like, just like a small ball bead hammer. Like, okay. Just like I a just small, just, the just, smallest, most inconvenient uh, hammer. Abby, intelligence find. investigation. I just check. yell from upstairs. Put the fucking hammer back. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Oh, but I'm keeping his pills. Seven. Okay. Um, where are you focusing your your that like you're searching? Oh yeah. Hey, Vincent. Do I know what his pills are? There's random like medicine pills. One yeah, of them's well, Viagra. No, I wouldn't know what they he are. Know, anyway, he needs those pills to pull back. It's for the bedroom. Hmm. They're blue, giant blue. I guess kind of towards the front of the store. Uh, it just feels, it feels too weird for me to like search through deeply personal yeah. like stuff. So I'm just kind of hanging around the basics. And what'd you, and what'd you get for your result? Seven. Seven. You don't find anything out of the ordinary. A lot of it, though, you feel like you might could find something more interesting, but it is conflicting with you morally. So it's making it hard for you to like really want to dive deep and try to find anything. I mean, d where are you looking at? Like, you thinking something? Um, I'm just looking towards the front. I... All right, well, just piece, piece, walk me through what your mind's thinking, and maybe I can search for you. <laughs> that that way, you're not like stealing, but you're like assisting somebody. Like you know, when someone's dying, and you gotta put them out of their misery, but you can't pull the trigger, so you pay someone else to. You're not killing that person. I'm not following. <laughs> You're helping them out. All right, we're cutting to Blazer. All right, Blazer, you up top. Where do you want to search? Uh, Intelligence Zero trying to create a moral argument. <laughs> uh, I start with his bedroom. Okay. I uh, see a bed. Uh, make an intelligence investigation check. There's a bookcase. He has a what? Fuck me. He's six. Lamp. You're not finding anything out of the ordinary. Shit. Not even, no weird sex toys? No. Damn. Okay, um, how many rooms are upstairs? Uh, there's just basically like this main, uh, kind of like dining room, kind of like living space. And then kind of like out there? Yeah. And then he has like a bedroom, that's it. And the bathroom is connected yeah. to the bathroom. Yeah. Um, I searched the kitchen then next. Yeah. Oh, what? Fuck <laughs> this guy. <dice. All> right. <laughs> that's one to die. You don't see anything out of the word now. <laughs> Um, like a dead body I on the table. <laughs> 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 like, oh, that's normal. Okay. Uh, You're like, man, this guy needs to move so he's, I can look at me. <laughs> he's like looking at the bed, being like, the sheets are crumpled. Not for my, not for her. This is just. Look at this. She, she's married to a guy who's just wasteful and he doesn't clean up after himself. Like he's dad and out shit. right now. Okay, then I'm search the living room. Let's see what kind of underwear he wears. Oh, briefs? Seven. What Fuck. A, what a, <laughs> yeah, you're not finding anything. Can I go back to the bedroom? Search for round two? No, you, you just can't. You're searching the whole time and can't find anything. I thought you uh, a diary Back to you, somewhere. Edison. What are you doing? Um, I guess I'm just keeping an eye out on everybody. Since we haven't gotten to talk to Atreya yet, mm -hmm. I'm going to go um, talk to her. All right. Well, everyone seems to be having a dashing good old time. Um, you go to speak to Atreya, and, uh, she's like, oh, howdy, I haven't, I haven't, uh, talked to you, but you I are the know. lucky lady tonight, or today. Really, though, I got to, to marry the handsomest guy in town. I'll and say. And it's he, really good for business. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Yes. Uh, he, he is quite handsome, and, uh, he is quite the businessman, so congratulations. And I am quite the businesswoman. I have heard that you are also in the business industry. And I like, am. Clothes are really cool. Yeah. Um. So with all like the like murder stuff that's going on, has that been like really bad for your business? Well, every townsfolk that dies is a customer that dies as well. Um, yeah. So it is pretty bad for business. That being said, I have been doing some investigating of my own. Oh. Because I am hoping to be this town's first female sheriff. That's amazing. Thank you very I much. I've been uh, practicing with my skills, and I think I'm finally getting somewhere. Huh. I've been uh, doing my own research because, you know, if I'm going to move here, I'd also like the murders to stop happening. 
Um, what have you been able to find out? Because I have, you know, some suspects in my head. Well, I've been narrowing down the list of what everyone said it could be. It's definitely not a Danden. Definitely not a Dandrick. Not a Dan... Danden? Yeah, it can't be a cactus, Uh, man. There's no way about that. Okay. Doubt it's a human. A lot of the... Why don't you think it's a human? Because of the claw marks that was on the victims. Uh, they're... They would take a very specific weapon, which we don't really have that style of weapon here. But what if it was um, a, a pitchfork of some sort? A fork chop. It could be. Chop. It definitely could be. Because uh, uh, my husband just recently sold a fork chop a week ago when the last murder. Yeah, happened. but there's also a connection between a lot of it being uh, younger women, and I don't think that some man running around with a with a fork chop would be doing that. Huh. Yeah, I don't. I don't personally think it'd be a human. Um, spirits, banshees—they're all knocked out. Now a lot of people think it'd be crazy to think it'd be a werewolf or vampire, because kind of unheard of. But honestly, there's been a lot of weird stuff happen in these areas. So you think it would be either a werewolf or a vampire? That's what I think. I don't think that there's any vampires around here, though. I I do have a lead about a werewolf, but honestly, I haven't seen any. Yeah, evidence. maybe you should have put some garlic on your food. <gasps> Garlic? Does that actually work? That would have, yeah. If there's a vampire here and they eat garlic, that would mess them up. Mm. I'd be shitting for days. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to see if our orders have any. they burn. <laughs> I think we um have like a pretty well catered table. There might be some garlic in it, so I will check up on that and see how everybody's doing within a week or so. Um, so it was like not a Dandin, and what was the other one that starts with a D? Uh, Dandrick. Uh, Dandrick. I believe your friend I saw you with earlier, you know, he's a Dandrick, so. Oh, okay, so it can't be. Can't be me, I just got here. <laughs> hmm. I guess that really just leads it to either being a werewolf or a vampire, but we'll just have to see how this whole garlic fiasco works. Um, do you. So is there like a specific person that you have in mind that you think could be one? I haven't gotten that far yet. Just been narrowing down the types of creatures it could be. Hmm. What about you? Have you got any tips? Have you narrowed well, it down at all? I've been thinking that it was Patrick because he has the fork chop. He's pretty sketchy. And it had blood look on at it. Him, he's like. <laughs> I just, oh, he's like doing like the very white guy dancing on it. Have you ever gone to his house? He has like a bunch of weapons. Uh, he tried to invite me to his house, but I said oh. no. I said, <laughs> I don't no, like... no, no. He's like, hey, maybe beer and pool on Friday. And you're just like, yeah, I know. He seems like kind of like a basic bro, so I don't really uh, blame you. Oh. <laughs> Not the basic bro. <laughs> bro, you basic. Um. But yeah, I did check, and there's no garlic uh, for the food, because that was something I was looking for. Because I figured if you did serve up garlic on your food, we could pay attention to what people are eating. I wonder, is there like a store around here where you can buy garlic? Yeah, there, there, yeah, there's a food store. Well, where's the food store? Um, just right over yonder, down the way. Be right on your left once you get a couple houses down. Oh, it's in this. T- it's in Samara. Yeah. Yeah. Who's it owned by? Uh, let's see. I can't even see these three bellies. Uh, uh, his name is Brooker. Brooker? Awesome. <laughs> well, I'll go um, check with Brooker and see if he has any garlic, and I will get back to you about if we have any vampires. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, so you go and... Uh, Question. Yep. How many full moons are there a month on this place? Is it one? I got intelligence lore check. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, were these characters? Nope, different world. Yeah. Yeah, there's this Kia, he'd actually probably. Yeah, he would. Well, if it was Anthos, we'd know because Kia uh, made the entire calendar system. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> Nine? Uh, you know that they can have a full moon. Every month or every week? We don't know. Fuck. It's probably not set on a certain, like, every week or every month schedule, though. Yeah, the two suns would probably ship to a degree. I'd say That's one, what I'm thinking, though, because if this thing is I'd say once every, like, 20-something days versus 30. Okay. Well, that would then make this, you know... And, and then occasionally there's two that, are, that does, like, three times a month because well, of how the suns work. I was thinking then that would roll out a werewolf because of the fact of a full moon has to come. A werewolf comes when there's a full moon, right? Right, people? Mm-hmm. I mean, 
Maybe. I don't fucking know. That's why I'm asking. Like it depends on the lore check. Fuck. I mean, it depends on the story. And plus, I mean, he doesn't have to go with the convention. Damn it! All right, great. <laughs> Six. All you know is he gets fuzzy. <laughs> fuzzy, 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 fuzzy. All right, so you want to check out? Oh yeah, uh, go to uh, the grocery and talk to Brooker. Well, howdy. How can I help? Hi. Uh, Your I wedding was... was great, by the way. If you want some food. I'll, 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 it's free today. Really? Yeah. I, I was just thinking that our table is missing garlic. Garlic? There's like, that's like the best flavor. I like garlic. Be. Yeah? Yeah. All Doesn't right. go good with the lack of toothpaste in this town, but I think it's yeah. <laughs> But it's so flavorful. Um, yeah, it's worth it for flavor. Yeah. Also, did you have any toothpaste? Somebody stole my husband's toothpaste. Ah, uh, you can talk with that Billy kid. I can believe he has some. Ah, of course. <laughs> Anyways, I will take this garlic. Um, as always, you can come back to the wedding. I think I'm gonna make like some garlic hummus. That uh, sounds good to me. It, it's I really think I might just have to help treats. myself. Oh yes. He gets up and starts um, walking back with you. <laughs> yeah, and I guess I'm just like making the garlic hummus on the way there. Like grind up some chickpeas that I got at the store as well. All right. So you fix that up. Yeah. You guys want to do anything in particular? Uh, I mean, we pretty much stripped the house as far as I know. You, okay, unless you guys search the house as best you could. Yeah, actually, that'd be smart. All right, yeah, let's swap clothes. Right, you guys are going to be kidding. All right, cactus kid. Searching upstairs. Are you, you searching the bathroom? I mean, it's the <laughs> That's a one. Fuck. Uh, yeah, he doesn't find anything. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, does he go room to room, or does he just do a It's so seat? bad, he doesn't find anything. Fuck. All right, search downstairs. I'll do the discipline. Right. Okay. Okay, no, it's not find anything. Nope, it's a three. Ooh. Does she go upstairs? Five. Don't find anything. Oh. <laughs> Alright, it's uh, investigation. Eight. Fuck. God, my, best, my <laughs> intelligence is so trash. I think Stella and Sebastian got the wrong investigators. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, with that, you guys uh, leave the house because you well, we all told them that at the interview, too. It's yeah, like, we're uh, like, we're not qualified for this. They're like, they have sure a lot of faith in it. <laughs> All right, so you guys left. Uh, anywhere you guys want to go? I'm gonna go talk to the priest again. Should we go like? Do you bring them with you? Yes. All right, you come back and he sees you and he's like, "Oh, hey, uh, Blazer, and uh, friends." Friends. Hi. They know. Uh, you said you weren't gonna I tell anybody. No, I have to tell them because they need to know. So is it weird if I want to pet you now? Like, is that a thing that's socially acceptable? You may ignore him. Do you have to be in dog form to do that? The only reason I told them is because I don't want them to hurt you in case you transform. Oh, he's a good boy. You can hit him, though. Like, are you still a priest when you're a dog? There's a number of Cactus questions Cactus King, will you there. shut the fuck up? <laughs> no, there are a number of questions that need to be asked. All right, ask. Do you have, like, the little, like, priest neck robe thing for your dog form, too? Like, no, I usually bust through my clothes. Oh, so you gotta buy them. For you. That's not why we're here. All right, here's a good question, because this would eliminate you really fast. How many full moons are there here in this town? I don't know. Maybe one every couple of weeks. Maybe uh, maybe three weeks. He's not our guy, though. Why would you believe that? You already eliminated him as a suspect, didn't you? Ish. I didn't believe. I had to ask him that question because I didn't think of it till now. Because if you think about it, a werewolf only becomes a werewolf when there's a full Why would you ask him instead of, like, Patrick? He Plus, I mean, if he's a dog, you could easily find out because he'd dig up the bones, right? Or, I ask the person that turns into a fucking werewolf that hopefully... Yeah, he, could easily, like, he could easily lie. Are you, you lying wanna... to him? I'm going to check. He's not lying, he's telling the truth. That is an honest werewolf. We want you on our side to help, then. How can I help? Use your nose. You can ignore him. I mean, think about it. He could smell better, you could have him smell blood. I already Check told out this you. Nozzle. I already told you, I think Desmond's trying to set me up. I believe so, too. Alright, well then, let's use your sniffer. And find it. You know, find the evidence. I, already, I know I already asked you this. You know where the bodies are buried, right? Yes. Well, let's dig them up. I don't want to do that to the families. I mean, the families aren't the ones that are buried. It's the bodies that are buried. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. All 
All right, Blazer, what are you saying? Look, there's some other stuff that's going on here, obviously. That Desmond doesn't give me any good feeling. Fucking... Edison, Edison, no, fuck off. Edison does, Ed, Edison's blinded by money and love right now. Old man so can't even remember a kid's name, he's just these days. <laughs> so unfortunately so she's the, I think she would be, she might be the next victim. Yeah, I'd be uh, on the lookout for her, I'd watch these out for her for sure. Did these deaths happen on the same day, like, you know, like a Friday or something? Can't say they have. They're consistent for the most part, but they're not at that point. We need your help if we get into a fight with him. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be much help unless it's a full moon. You better hope to God it is on that day. Because <laughs> you got to help. Hope to Johnny. To Johnny. But if we call you upon you, will you help us? <laughs> I mean, at least give me a gun or something. I can do that. Jeez. I'll get you one. All right. Oh, can you pull it with your paw? Do you like you mouth it? Like, All right, have a nice day. Yeah, let's go. Got so many questions. Can I pet him? No. Okay. All right. So you leave there. Uh, you guys have a, a, a joyful day uh, for the remainder of the time. I don't. I'm worried as fuck. Uh, Desmond goes to speak to Edison, and he's like. Uh, so, curiously, one thing we haven't brought up is where to go for our honeymoon. Now, what's tough is there's not many good locations here. I mean, we don't go to the moors and get attacked by spirits and banshees. Over the west, we got a bunch of cactus men that would have fun skewering us. So, what were you thinking? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking on an empty stomach right now. And we should think with a full stomach and a full mind. So I made this hummus. It is super nutritious. Uh, do you want to try some? I, I made it on the way here. Sure. What's it made of? Um, like chickpeas. You haven't had like hummus before? Uh, I haven't actually. Uh, it's yeah, not, here. Take a chip and try I it. They don't really make it from where I'm from. Uh, make uh, a dexterity stealth check. Oh. Dex stealth. Oh no. I'm trying to think like... Should I do this if I think he is? He could be a good man. <laughs> Wait, I look in his eyes. As husband and wife, I try to see if he's a good man. <laughs> uh, what is that? What do I roll to see if my husband is a good man? I think a wisdom perception check. <laughs> wisdom perception. You maybe should have checked before you married him. Wait, wait, you didn't check to see if your husband was a good person? Wow! <laughs> the wow! Boy, I, um, I hope they have, um, I hope they have, what is it called, the take backseat roll for Mary here. <laughs> okay, uh, I have 12. You better hope they are no. I, before I allow him to eat, I look in his eyes, try to think he's a good man. He's not. Um, what, what would you define as good? He doesn't um, want to kill her? Yeah, he's not going to harm me or anybody in this town. Okay, um... You feel... <laughs> Is he gonna you, harm me? You, you, you're looking deep and so believe me. Your new husband's eyes are like, well, shit, I hope he was good. <laughs> oh, oh, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're like big money, no way. He's big money, no way. Uh, <laughs> I will say that you feel... You feel like there is a, some mystique about him. There is some things that could be potentially dangerous about him. Maybe that's partially part of the attraction. Uh, though you do feel safe around him. Desmond, yes. I have to be honest, this does have garlic in it. I don't know if you're allergic to garlic, but that also is in this hummus. Oh, I see. Um, well that's okay. I mean, garlic's not my favorite thing, but like, I'll still eat it. If you made oh, it, it's gonna be good. Okay. Yeah, totally. Let's, let's eat this and then think about where we want to go next. Okay, yeah, and I'll try one. So he takes Cheers. a chip. Cheers. You guys see it? It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm trying. We didn't even have a cake, but this could count as our wedding cake. I Just mean, promise. that's a low calorie solution. Yeah. <laughs> Make a wisdom perception check. Wisdom perception mm -hmm. check. Okay. Oh. Oh. Come 
five. So nine plus seven, sixteen. Okay. You see that his hand is uh, bleeding. There's like blood that's kind of like there's a blood drip from his fingers over here. What's that about? Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. That's weird. He opens up his hand and there's like a cut in his hand and it's like bleeding. It's like I'm sorry about that. That's very embarrassing. He's a fucking vampire. I need to uh, mind if I grab a bandaid real quick. Actually, if you're a vampire, you can tell me. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so, what? <laughs> We're walking up. We hear that. What? <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm not gonna think that you did all these bad things. Make a make a resolve influence check. Oh god. He did it! He's Resolve a fucking murderer! Influ- <laughs> or it can be intelligent silver tongue. I'll let you choose on that one. Oh, you got influence with that plus d6, though. Okay, I'm gonna do a resolve influence, and I get an extra d6. So that's not- that's 10. I, you know, I'm gonna use my discipline to reroll this four. Oh, I'm gonna use my second discipline. <laughs> I'm gonna use my- Third, third, and final. final. Come on, use the life link. Uh, last one. Oh, oh, there you go. Okay, um, so that's eleven. Yeah. So he. Uh, so you asked him, what, what exactly did you say to him? I said, you know, if it's a vampire, it's okay. You can tell me, and I will not think that you did all of these things. Okay, so he leans in and whispers in your ear, and he's like, All right, you got me. I'm a vampire. He's the fucking murderer. I do got you. Don't I? (laughs) You better understand we're gonna kill your husband. You know what we're gonna go out for now? A steak dinner! (laughs) (laughs) But, you know, it doesn't have to be just me. You could be a vampire with me. No! A vampire elf? elf? Like, bro, never age. Like, no cracks, no fades. Uh, how does that work? What's the logistics on this? What's the logistics? <laughs> in business right, together forever, now. and that would be extremely great. We could exactly build a empire, a Fortune so, five hundred um, year company. Like I mean, well, we're good. <laughs> well, Fortune five hundred. Um, it's quite simple. Uh, I'm I'm a rare breed of vampire. Uh, it'd be quite easy to turn you. Um. Some of the drawbacks, though, is of course garlic and uh, some. Uh, uh, the sun can be quite damaging too. Uh, like this is this region is one of the only regions I can live in, and I have to take. Um, I have to drink a certain potion uh, every day to not be disintegrated by the sunlight. But hmm. other than that, it's a pretty sweet deal. Uh... So wait, those pearls I snatch or those is. Uh... Not not sure. <laughs> I, I do have some vampire friends in the city, and they seem to fare pretty well. Why not? I'm in business. What the fuck? <laughs> we shake again. <laughs> um, I, I'm right, looking great. at my business planner again. I think the most efficient time to do that would also be today. I'm very yeah. packed. <laughs> so the way, so the way this transaction overalls. works is you get uh, you get the D, you keep the B. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no. That's. <laughs> oh gosh. I want to kill him. 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 Dad, no! Well, you don't know anything. Yeah. 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 All we know is his apartment is kind of messier. Okay, than so the, the day continues like, my... on, and then, um. What? Oh, you're kicking someone. Yeah. Okay, I was my, like, what the My heck foot's is... on the, uh, the box of the, the stuff. Okay, so you're good. You're on board with turning vampire? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're we're gonna do that before the honeymoon. Okay, so you head back. The suns are going down as the night is encroaching. Uh, you go back to his place. Uh, what are you guys doing? We're um, we should probably be outside chilling now, conspicuously. <laughs> just like lean up, just like... do we see them like, outside <laughs> of Desmond's place? Where are you guys chilling at? Uh, that's a good question. Where are they at? Uh, we're at Desmond's house. Yeah, they're our, our yes. house now. Yeah, we're we we went back from the church to Desmond's. We're just hey, there you guys are. 
Oh, hi. Hey, guys. Howdy. Let's have a private little party in there to congratulate you guys. Well, we, this is kind, kind of, of like our first, yeah. like, married night. Ah, don't worry about it. We can come in and not bug you for too long. Oh, it's 20 minutes. Dad, Dad to make sure that nothing seriously. inappropriately happens. Stop being so obsessed with me. I'm I mean, not a little girl anymore. Like she's married are. now. We yeah. have to give her some space. Yeah. We will. After a minute. We have to talk as a team. You are, like, friend-zoning so hard. <laughs> They're married! Your character is the worst. They're married. <laughs> yes. yes! That's you not keep friend on saying yes. that, and that's true. <laughs> and then you keep they on going, married. yeah, I don't want you to shack up, we need to talk for a minute. made a thing blocker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're blocking Fine, I'll give you guys thing. some time. I'll be upstairs. Just, you guys have a couple minutes, and then... I'll send her up. Sure. Don't have too much fun. Oh, with your blessing? Yeah. (laughs) 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 All right. I'm wearing my good overalls. This better be quick. My good overalls? I'm wearing the country. What did you expect? The dress? (laughs) For a wedding dress? There's a hellscape of a desert we crossed. How is she going to get a bridal dress through that? You got everything else set arranged. That was careful (laughs) planning. None of us know how to cross stitch. There's enough people who make it. Look, that's not the They issue. don't sell tool! Tool? It's a fabric. <laughs> 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 the it's not the priest period now. But there's a bigger issue. There's something that's going on. We need to figure it out So. What is it? Desmond is setting this setting up the preacher up. And he's setting Patrick up. He wouldn't. You're lying. No, I, think she's, I think she's lying. It was oh, the perception. Boy. And then you can make a... Uh, well, I, I feel like I'm not lying. Okay. Yeah. Um, so. Four. Wait, what am I rolling again? For you, it'd be intelligent silver tongue. Oh. Uh, so, nine. Ten. She doesn't seem to be lying. She feels, she feels confident in what she's saying. There's something up with Desmond. I just have a feeling. Tell us the truth. We're your team. That seriously, I am I'm not your father. Up. I well, just wait, don't need you here tonight. Would my investigation have done anything in the research of Desmond's house? Yeah, it gives you edge. Oh shit! <laughs> Are you <laughs> fucking <laughs> serious? I don't, he's not totally, to use it. Yeah, I totally had investigation. Wait, that didn't have you use put it. back all of Desmond's stuff yet? Yes, except for these pills. Okay, go back upstairs and put and the pills away. away. And this tiny hammer. All right, yeah, I, 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 I'll admit, I just stole that one today. Okay, <laughs> just stole that but one. go put that and back. He's so cute to look at. It. It's just it a little tiny. It's a little tiny. I will go How, make what, you a new what one. What do you What do you Smith for? Like it's just like little like it's oh, not for babies. Well, it's like for yeah, rats and that's stuff. That's just more for detailed work, like cactus yeah. and stuff cactus. like that. Okay, don't put the stuff back. I'll make you a new one. All right. Out of the coins from the, the party, I promise. You're gonna make him a silver hand. Yes, he's my favorite. I, yeah, and it's, it's, it's for smiting vampires, or werewolves, or whatever. I hit them with my silver hammer. Okay, so with that, you put the stuff back. While the, you're there, do you want to investigate again? Uh, no, yes. he's, he's up in that. He's up top where you have to go put the stuff back. Yeah. Okay, I'll be like, hey. And you get edge. Hey, I forgot. Hey, so, uh, these, yeah, so, <sighs> Laser has a problem. Hey! The, uh, kind of the problem being that he just finds these things, he picks them up, and he just <laughs> keeps them, and it's just, it's one of those problems. Maybe we should go downstairs and talk to him about not taking your stuff. And, Make an uh, intelligent silver tongue he's, check. He's getting between you and your wife. Can I influence him? No. I mean, you can try, but it's going to be more difficult. I'll take it. I okay. got a D6 of influence. Okay. Uh, what do I add to influence? Your resolve. It's markedly better than the zero intelligence. Uh, Is that a six or one? Uh, it's a one. Oh, if it's short text, it's one. Uh, Twelve. I'll re-roll it up there. It's been my... You spent I one. I did? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so yeah. I appreciate it. Really, I, I'm just ready to... Um, ready to fuck. <laughs> Stop! That's so gross. We're just gonna. Bang, bang. We're just gonna stay here. 
It's all right. It's so, vampires. Uh, are you, so uh, he's not leaving. So are you going to investigate in front of him, or are you just going to put the stuff down and leave? I mean, I'm not intelligent. I'm not stupid. But I do want to... I mean... Idiot. You want me to search your place? I'm good, thank you. Look, at, look, look. It's like, look. This kid look we're we'll looking, see for, morning, we're looking okay? for suspicious stuff. I know you've got things that you've got planned, but... Mm -hmm. I mean... Take I've take got this take kit take that I haven't gotten to use yet. I mean, come on. It'll be fun. You'll help me. You know what? Help, you, help you me find, like help that, me find you, something. You look like someone that likes cactus. And no, I don't. Okay, take this book. It's a picture book. It's a picture book. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't read. It's for you, man. All right, bye. Okay. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, buddy. All right. All right, we walk downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll clear you guys. Nothing suspicious. He just comes out of the cactus. He's a, he's a picture book. Yeah, he's a book board and he gave me a picture book. What the fuck? Why did he give me a picture book? <laughs> because he's amazing. He's yeah. an asshole. I mean, look at this. Look, can I can I look, inspect I, the book and see if there's any? It's illustrated. Yeah. Can I look? At, can I inspect the book and see if there's anything weird? Sure. It holds. Okay. It's in color too. That's expensive. <laughs> yeah, fantastic beats and where to drop them. That's the list of hot DJs right now. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Uh, perception. Intelligence. And that's intelligence investigation. Oh, investigation, right. Ten. Nothing suspicious. Fuck. Damn. It's, a, it's a picture book. <laughs> You're just so suspicious of everything. He wanna, gave me that. Do you want to fingerprint it to make sure you touched it? It's a picture book. I'm trying to think. All right. All right. Okay, you're, you're guys. Blazer. Yeah. All right. Well. Fuck. You know. Beast. I will see I still you guys don't believe that tomorrow. Fucker. All right. Just uh, you know, have fun. Uh, if wear a condom. We'll we'll make sure oh, that he gosh. doesn't interrupt your wonderful night together. Yes. Please keep him far away. We're going to the bar. We're going to handcuff him to something. Poor dad. If I get drunk enough, I ain't going problems. nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you guys head out? And in the night, uh, um, Edison becomes a vampire. Oh, and that's where we're gonna end our do session. Do I get more power? <laughs> we'll pick up on the next. Oh, okay. Time. All right. All right. Now we'll end our session for today. Jeez. God, I know it went on a little long. I was trying to find was, a good spot. That was still so. wonderful, though. Yeah, I, you I, made I, I so thoroughly many, enjoyed it. Like, I read that, and I could not stop laughing the entire time. What was it say? It says, uh, terrible making big decisions. <laughs> oh, try <laughs> my God, follow, it. Followed by the, and I'm trying not to laugh the entire time, because it's married in a day. You're a vampire? Okay, cool. Make me one. I'm just wow. looking at terrible at making bad decisions oh and gosh. losing my mind. I wow. completely Cause, forgot cause I was that, like, that was always she. But that works out for you. It's even better that you did it accidentally because I'm like, if she's doing this on purpose, this is playing her character she brilliantly. She's playing it. I mean, she's playing the way I would. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. no part of me is like. <laughs> these are, character these characters is. are the Idiot. best. <laughs> yeah, I've had fun with this uh, RPG so far. I'm looking forward to continue with the story. And screw the cactus people. Well, holy shit, yes. they do so much damage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, that, that that guy was brutal. It was mostly he had like three crits out of his like two or three rolls. So. Yeah, I just love the fact that like, like I was thinking in my mind, you know, these guys aren't gonna be shit, and this guy's like, whoa, like yeah. almost killed two of the party in like two hits. And we would have known because we were, you know, me and uh. Yeah, we also I did was... like the terrible thing of splitting the party like every chance we got. Uh, no, that's not true. Three of us, us, three of us went to. Uh... Yeah, to go see. The, uh, the, the, the Banshee button. leaving one with the suspected murderer. He is the murderer. We are very lucky none of us died. <laughs> That's right. actually called shoddy. Why yeah. does it have two Y's? Because he's terrible at spelling and he can't <laughs> read. Are you kidding me? I'm lucky I can spell my own name sometimes. There's a Q in there sometimes, I know Zink. that. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the sub earlier. Thank you! Um, we oh, are shit, going to, today? We're gonna come back later uh, playing some Grim Slingers, which is a cooperative Wild West game that we've never played. Uh, actually, we're fantasy. Up for this. Yeah. yeah, and it's gonna fit perfectly, so we're gonna have fun with that. Be sure to join us. If you haven't jumped in our Discord, go ahead and do that. Wow, wow, And West. we'll see you later. Yeah. Stay awesome. Bye. 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 Bye.